Oh my god, what's up guys? Sheesh. I hope you guys have been having a really good day. I can't believe how many people are here early. I mean, you guys get to be here for for making the world. Like, you guys get to name it and things like that, at least. Um, I'm, I'm excited for this. I have, I have a few little rules that I'm going to set up for this live stream. I'm, I'm excited for it. Um, first off, I'm not going to be using shields at all, which is something that I've never done. In all of our craft, except for one time when I was doing the Lego Lost playthrough on stream, but I didn't finish that one. In that one, I was only allowed to use bows. But in this one, can't use shields, and I'm like so used to that. Hey, a sukapi, guys. I need I need all of your guys' help to to make this world. What what is the name gonna be? What's the seed gonna be? We're playing survival, not hardcore. Um, just the first name that I see is pro is gonna be the name of the world. By the way, Scrimbus Bimbus. Oh my goodness, why are you making me do that, Oxy? <laughs> Scrimbus Bimbus. I mean, I said I was going to do it, right? But for the seed, what, what what's the seed going to be, boys? Sheesh. I, I, I'm excited, though, I have to say. um, The wheel, by the way, let me show you guys this wheel really really quickly while, while I decide what the seed's going to be. And this wheel... We're going to spin this like every time I get some new subs on YouTube and something's going to happen. Okay, well, it's a good thing I didn't land on Dungeon Dive, but but that was just a fake roll anyways, right? So what this is going to do is this is going to make me lose my inventory, like slots in my inventory. Inventory slot one, two, three, four, or lose the whole quick bar, tactical die, nothing happens, lose inventory. Hopefully that's that doesn't happen too often because I'm not really mentally prepared for all that yet. But it will be throughout the stream, so we'll 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 see what happens throughout that. All right, let's see. Sixty nine four twenty one 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 one. I see Wiener Daddy Union. Try Shavaxi is God or Shavaxi God. I forgot. And you spawn near village. All right. Well, I'm gonna combine a whole bunch of things I saw. We're gonna do one 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 five 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 sixty nine four twenty, and we're gonna name. We're gonna put Pain, Shavaxi, Shavaxi, Perry. This. All right. All right, let's go. Let, let, let's see where that puts us. I'm excited for this, though, guys. Um, if you guys didn't know, I have been getting um, a lot more experience in RLCraft as well. Like, off stream, there's a lot of things that I know now that I didn't know even in just my last live playthrough. Um, some things that I'm going to do are a, a little bit more interesting than normal, but I'll try to also, like, do interesting things as well. Like, I'm not just going to chop down trees Maniac, thanks for the subscribe. That's the first one. When we reach three, oh my goodness. We're in the water. When we reach three, I'll spin the little wheel. Alright. Well, first off, this thing's not allowed to be out here. <clears throat> Still to this day, it's on my account. I, I don't understand why. Go away. Okay. Um. But I, I'm doing really good, Francesco. I, I've been having a really good day. I hope that you guys have been having a good day too, man. I am excited for this. Right now, what I'm going to do um, right here is I'm just going to grab some gravel, some flint, so that I can make some flint tools. Because I see this beautiful little birch forest, I'm just going to stay out here and cut down trees for a little while, because I think that's going to be fun, because I don't, I don't do that all the time. Right, guys? I definitely don't just cut down birch trees all the time. Um, dragon spawn point? Nope. No, there's no, there's not any dragons in this village because I know the one 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 five 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 sixty nine four twenty seed scrimbus bimbus pain. Uh, I know the seed from heart. Yeah, I played the seed many times before, as you guys could obviously tell. I know there's no dragon around here. Trust. Um, let's make this really quick. Just grab those. Um. It'd be nice if I find a crafting table, but I don't think I'm gonna get that lucky. Fall subscribe number two ASM Ralvart day one. Yeah, I mean, in the past in two point um I don't know why I'm grabbing more cobble uh more gravel. In the past on day one, I have actually beaten the final bosses. My world record for speed run and it's not the world record, but my personal record. I just don't want that crate to aggro me. Is I believe like five hours for beating the entire game back in 2.8. I could be wrong. Might have been faster, might have been slower. All right, let's see if I can... I probably can't kill those, um, those aspids yet, but let's do this. 
Actually, I don't want to waste that yet. Let's get a little bit of string. I want to try to kill these aspids so I can make beast treats later. <clears throat> what shaders am I using? I'm using Silder Shaders version 1.32, if I remember correctly. Um, those shaders are really, really smooth. The only problem with them is I believe they used to give you problems with um, with night vision. But, but, but they haven't been giving me any issues so far. Like the Dragon's Eye night vision, all that works works perfectly fine all right so boom let's make a little axe cut down this tree um night zero epian would go crazy yeah if only there there's no way that i would get that um i would have to oh spriggan how in the world are you going to give me a spriggan on the first tree I cut down, my guy? Well, 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 that's fine. Let's get a stick. Because we got to kill this thing. I mean, maybe we don't have to kill it. I mean, we kind of... We, we probably should, but... I'm going to see if I can... If I can, like, just get around here and leave him be there. It looks like he's trying to follow me even through the tree. Oh, well. Let's just move this way. I wanted to go to the birch forest over there anyways and get some trees. Um, because if you guys don't know why birch birch trees are more important than regular trees is because I'm going to trade with librarians. That's probably one of the things that I'm that I'm surprisingly looking forward to even though I do it all the time. Librarians are some of the most fun things for me to trade with because it's kind of like I I don't I don't feel good admitting this chat, but I'm a bit of a gambling uh, guy on gacha games. I I play a lot of those gacha games like uh, Genshin Impact, Honkai Star Rail. I've been playing a good amount of them, Fire Emblem Heroes on my phone. These gotcha games, I, I like the gambling asset, you know? I can't I can't help it. Gambling is bad, but when it's like in video games, it's kind of fun. When it's just, you're not spending real money, you're just having a good time. Librarians are like gambling. They're a gotcha system. You trade with the librarian, you might get something good, you might get something bad. Usually you get something bad. But sometimes you'll get strength and vitality, advanced protection, supreme sharpness. Oh, that hippogriff looks like a bald eagle. That's pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna kill one of these squids for an ink sack. Because I want to make a uh, atlas. Yeah, I'm not gonna stay in the swamp. The swamp is kind of annoying. Like, I was thinking of killing the aspids, but I realized that I, I really have no reason to go for beast treats right now. It's just gonna take me a while. Um, to get to a comfortable spot anyways. So we're just going to stay inside this birch forest for a bit. Um, maybe we'll find some chickens. Maybe we'll find some cows while we're clearing these woods. But um, I, I want a lot of paper so that when I go to the nearest village, I can just trade with the librarians that are there so I don't have to come back to those librarians later. I love how you compare Genshin to librarians. I mean, it's the exact same thing. They're, they're literally the same thing. Like, are you gonna get Hu Tao from the banner? Are you gonna get Supreme Sharpness from the Librarian? It's tomato, tomato. Um, when is the next live stream gonna be? I plan on going live every Saturday now. Um, there's a very, very slight chance that I would go live on Sundays, but I don't plan on it right now. I just know that I do have some free times in the early on Sundays. But on Saturday, I plan on I plan on going live on all the Saturdays. Yeah, dude, I love our craft too, Tomex. RLCraft has, has actually made me not quit Minecraft. I know that that might seem a little bit crazy, but honestly, I I have not been as into Minecraft as I used to be. Like, I used to play vanilla all the time on stream, but I only keep playing Minecraft now because of RLCraft. Do a flip? How am I... Sp I can't do a flip. What the... What do I look like? Your carrot... Dude, the animations are so sick, dude. Look at my little dude. My little dude. Like, yeah, librarians don't have a pity system, that's true. Dude, imagine... I, I actually suggested this to Shavaxi. Um, and, and he and he didn't... I, I don't... I, I think he actually might have changed the subject or completely ignored me. I might have gotten ratioed. 
Um, I can't remember. It was when I interviewed him, or when he interviewed me, back like a year ago. I was like, uh, I suggested that there should be a pity system for librarians. After you trade with like 50 librarians, you should be able to choose like what enchantment book, like uh, one librarian to have a certain enchantment book. And he's like, I don't, he didn't even know how he was gonna do that. But I did suggest it, you know, I tried. I tried to be the hero. Oh, fun. No! I'm so dumb. I thought that I was gonna get four blocks from those two logs, but I guess that was expecting too much of our old craft. One log equals four planks in vanilla, but one log equals one plank in RL craft. Lovely. Anyways. I had a lot of sticks in my inventory, so I don't know why I went and got more. Sometimes I'm a little bit of a smooth brain with this early with this early game stuff. If you guys did not know, yeah, I guess I haven't told anyone this, but I spent probably over 100 hours in the Lost Cities dimension on my main world well, let, let, let's be real, it was technically a creative mode world, but I did go through the game in survival, and I was just in creative to speed up some things, because I was also doing, like, testing and things like that. But I spent over 100 hours on that world, um, so I'm kind of in the endgame mindset, I'm not gonna lie. Um, Primordial Magic mod? Yeah, actually my friend recommended um, that mod to me and a few other uh, mods to me. There's also, like, an Enchanted Forest mod, but the thing is, is that I, like... I feel like every single mod pack has a little bit of its flair, but our Relcraft is the one that I that I fell for, so it's probably going to be the one that I that I stick with for the, for a while. Um, but there are some like really good mods. Bruh. Or I keep feeling like something's sneaking up on me, like some some ad adventurer PTSD right here. Um. Okay. Well. Anyways. I am kind of screwed right now, not gonna lie. It's been 10 minutes, I don't have a bed. All right. Um, I could just go underground and try to survive the day there, but I don't even have any food. All right. So we, we, we're gonna be in a tough spot right now. Take this in my offhand, it's messing me up. All right, so to survive this night, we're gonna have to probably do things that we're not so used to. All right, we're gonna go on the water. I did get some birch, some birch wood. I guess that's enough to trade with one librarian. I was hoping I was gonna get more, not gonna lie. Taking damage from parasites isn't very good. There's a crate right there. Sorry, my guy. Let's eat the raw squid. Hopefully that'll make me not die for a little bit. Let's get rid of that. I am not in a good spot right now, so I kind of have to focus. So just give me a moment, chat, then I'll take a look at you, but I need to survive here really quickly. Because I am not in a good spot. Um... I guess I'll get my crafting table back. Surely we won't get attacked by something right here, right? Famous last words, yeah. Um. I have a singular pork chop that I'm going to cook. Bruh. This is nice and cozy, right? 
So, so we're not going to sleep tonight. That means we're probably just going to get cobblestone for the next 10 minutes while it becomes daytime. Um, sleeping is important on night one, but also I think the most important thing to do in the early game is to not have any downtime. The most important thing is to have no downtime. Because if you waste any time, your world is going to get older quickly. And if your world gets older, the mobs that you have to fight get stronger. And you don't want that, right? So it's dark in here. That is one. That, that That's probably the scariest part. But as it starts getting... Um, uh, what what's it calls it? As it starts warning you that some things are going bump in the night, that that that's when you gotta be more concerned. Wait, whoops! I have this. Let's put that on. Um, we're just gonna make one more little pickaxe, just so I have a little bit of a better one. I don't really like this wooden pickaxe. Drop that. Let's make a saber. I can't make a shield. Oh, that's going to be crazy. Not making a shield is going to be crazy for me. Um, all right, so let's just pray that, like, a Geonaut does not spawn, because if a Geonaut spawns, I mean we're kind of just boned right here. Oh no. I can't believe that we're freezing. Since we're freezing and we don't have any heat source, we just kind of have to Hope and pray that we can find something out here. Alright. Uh-oh. Yeah, here's hypothermia hitting in. Ah, uh, I just... I, I thought that I was going to have um, more things to cook in my inventory. I guess I could have cooked logs for the furnace. Ah, uh, that, that, that was a noob mistake, chat. That was my bad. That was a new mistake. I could have cooked logs for heat at a furnace. Scarlet Strider over there. Uh-oh. Dude, that's the Scrimbus Bimbus luck. I mean, I will admit, the spawn was not the worst. I just played that wrong. Uh-oh. Ah! Okay, yeah. Well, I, I die here. Let's just, let, let's just... What? you just gonna be like that? I'm gonna die anyways, but I'm taking you with me. Bring it, bring it on. Ooh. That's fine, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, so this is unfortunate Lux. No shields, this is gonna be fun. Dude, I don't think I can even make it to the surface. Ooh, I did, actually. Yeah, no shields is gonna be fun. No natural blocking capabilities is gonna be rough. I gotta spin twice. If I spin twice, maybe Scrimbus Bimbus luck will be better. Um, What I have learned from doing hardcore speedruns is usually your first attempt is the best one. So, unfortunately... We're kind of boned right now. Ooh, a Quetzodractyl? That's cute. <laughs> you think he can get us down here? Oh, no, but he can. Quetzodractyls are probably one of my... F are definitely, um... I would say my third favorite dragon mod. So for nighttime... Since our seed seems to have a lot of ocean, we're probably just going to keep spawning at the ocean. Meaning we're just going to die over and over again for the night. But when it becomes daytime, then we'll be alright. So what is the use for a stone dagger, and isn't the stone axe better for early game? Well, well, yeah, the, the only reason why you make a stone dagger is because you can actually make it in your little hand inventory. Yeah. But unfortunately, like, I might as well just reset. Um... 
since I already lost a full day of progression. Like I can't remember if I finished my thought on this, but as your as your world gets older, the enemies in your world get stronger. So eventually, like if you don't hurry up in the mid game, you're gonna start fighting level three lichenite enemies like before you know it, right? And level three are much stronger than level one lichenite enemies. Yeah, I feel like you should play RL Craft. I feel like watching it is, is really fun too, but everybody needs their own little adventure. Man, imagine if I could have tamed those. Yeah, right, Shivaxi hates us. Dude, flying mounts, like, dude, you can't even use them in the Lost Cities dimension. Like, why why would Shivaxi do that to us? Like, it wouldn't even be too OP. The parasite enemies are just going to absolutely demolish your Maroc anyways. But the fact that we can't actually bring one in there is really, really annoying. Can I do another 100 days? I actually have one um, that I've been thinking about doing where I spawn in the Lost Cities dimension and try to survive for 100 days. Because there are ways to get out of the Lost Cities dimension from zero, so I thought it would be kind of interesting doing 100 days where I literally start in the Lost Cities dimension. But I kind of need some a lot of RNG for that, and I kind of... I like RNG and gambling, but only when it's, like, for fun things. I don't really like RNG when it comes to, like, luck that I'm gonna need out of certain chests, certain buildings that I need to find before certain enemies spawn and kill me through walls, you know? That RNG is, like, not as entertaining for me. I wonder if I should go... Thresher. I don't have any reptile treats right now, my guy. So we're just gonna keep running through the night. Um see if we can find something. I kind of want to grab the crafting table in here. But slowing down and waiting for the mobs to kill me is not a good idea. Fun. The block is locked, so I placed my crafting table. I just keep on moving. It's almost daytime though. We did it, boys. We survive night one with zero deaths. Yeah, 10 months since last stream. Dude, it really does fly by. I don't know how that happened. How does 10 months go by? Uh-oh. I mean, that, that that is the third sub. So I'll spin the wheel. I mean, should, should we save this wheel for when I have a little bit more inventory? Yeah, I'm going to save this wheel. Digit, just remind me that we have an extra wheel that I need to do. Because I literally don't have any inventory, so... I mean, I guess we'll spin it, and then by default I have to drop this crafting table. If you guys want me to drop the crafting table, just let me know, and I'll spin the wheel. And no matter what happens, I'll have to drop it. Unless I draw a death. Do it, or save it. This is the sixth up? Nah, it's the third. I got a wheel twice? Alright, okay, well, I'll just save the, the wheels for later. I'll save the wheels for later. Anyways, let's try to actually, like, find something. When I feel comfortable, that's when we have two wheels to do. I've gotten six subs. Okay, okay. We spin the wheel twice, but not yet, not yet, not yet. Well, I want to I wanna get a little, uh, a little comfortable first before I lose two of my incredibly valuable inventory slots. Because then it will matter more. Because if I lose my inventory slots right now, I'm just going to go, like... You know, it, it wouldn't be losing that much. Can I do 100 days? Definitely thinking of it. But right now I have a video that I that I have the script completely made that I'm going to release first. I'll try to get it out sometime this next week. It's where I talk about the best of literally everything in RLCraft. That, that's going to be fun. Alright. Um, we can try to... Uh, should go on a big adventure to go find all my stuff. This is where I died. Yeah, or like my Lex, my Lex live stream on part two. We're gonna do like a special, a special little. Uh, oh no! Why do Sprickins always have to spawn when I'm vibing? I guess I deserve it. Yeah, the the next live stream we're we're gonna do a special challenge. In this stream, if I die, I die in real life. Yup. No, no, okay, we're, we're not actually gonna do that. I wonder if anybody has done, like, crazy challenges where, like, if I die in this Minecraft game, I have to jump off my local community's pool, high 
diving board. I think that'd be really interesting. All right, let's get into it. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, let's get right into it. In this stream, I'm strapped directly to an electric chair, and if my hearts reach zero, the chair automatically sends a pulse directly to my directly to my temple that's strong enough to down 21 African elephants. I will die instantly. Doesn't that sound like fun? Let's get right into it. <laughs> yeah, let's let's not do that. <laughs> All right. Um I need a little bit more sticks. So we do this. This that In this stream, if I die, the pipe bomb under my desk will detonate. <laughs> Let's get right into it. No, don't worry, guys. I'm, I'm not actually doing that. It's just a, it's just a meme. Uh, played on friend server recently and really use your strats. Yo, dude, that's actually exciting. Dude, I was looking that, like, a lot of the RL Craft creators have, like, a server. I don't have a multiplayer server anymore, but I saw, like, you know, Shavaxi has a server. Some nuts guy has a server. I was thinking about just getting on one of those servers and just, like, maxing out and getting, like geared out the wazoo on the server under like an alias and nobody knew it was me and i'm just like i would just take over the server's economy that could be fun in this stream i make the person regret owning a server gone wrong i use the shock talisman to drop myself from 2000 blocks in the air instantly crashing the server and creating a crater in the ground 100 blocks wide Will I play multiplayer? No, nah, probably not. I tr I'll tr I troll too much. I like I like uh, single player live. I go a lot more chill. Wait, I don't actually need to make a crafting table. All right. Well, what I will do though is wait. I need actually some more cobblestone, unfortunately. So let's go get some cobblestone really quick, and then we're gonna go kill these makas. I really want to get that iron, but my XP too low. So we're going to get cobblestone over here for a little bit. Allcraft is too hard for challenge. Yeah, I mean... I I don't I don't know about that. Our Allcraft dirt certainly has a lot of difficulty to it, but I think adding in little challenges can be fun. Like me, for example, I've played the mod pack so much that doing this no shield challenge I think is actually going to be pretty fun. Because um, I have literally always had a shield in my offhand because it's just objectively like the safest thing to have in your offhand but now that i won't be able to use a shield in my offhand i'll be able to put more interesting things in my offhand like for example i can put a crafting table in my offhand so now i can craft faster isn't that fun that's so exciting now I can craft, like, a mile a minute. Wow. Um, let's get some birch wood. Or I can use two-handed weapons. Hey, actually, that's a really great point, Sim, is I haven't used pikes in a really long time or halberds. That could be that, that could be a really good point. Because before, if you guys didn't know, if you had a two-handed weapon and a shield in your offhand, it nerfed the, the, the two-handed weapon quite a bit. Dual wield nunchucks. Actually, I don't actually I don't know if the nunchucks will do nunchucks will do the rapid fire in the offhand. Yeah, I'd use two handed weapons for fun. Yeah, I I might I might do that, but I'm also thinking that I could just have like blocks in my offhand, and then I can use um like a saber, cause I do like sabers. Yeah, I'm not gonna have blocks in my offhand. Two handed weapons are better. You guys are right. Wait, that's not how you make it. How do you... Oh, this is embarrassing. Oh, wait. I did this. Boom. What the frick? That's interesting. How in the world did I not know that that was a thing? Pull. That is wacky. That is how long I have not used two-handed weapons. I literally have only been using, like, axes for the longest of time. 
And I always have so many things in my inventory, I just I just click to craft, right? And then it would just add the thing directly to my inventory. Like I just have wither bones and just do it automatically. So that's actually really cool to look at that. Can I break this fast with a halberd? Okay, no, it doesn't count as an axe. The more you know, chat, the more you know. We're learning together here. That's literally how little I use two-handed weapons. I can tell this playthrough is going to be a treat. Alright. Alright, let's look how much damage I do to this Maka. I didn't see. Eight damage. Come back, come back, come back. Come on, please. I need food. Halberds do damage, huh? That was good. Like, this is a stone boy. Like, I just, I just heckin' spawned. Uh oh, that's two more subs. Okay, you guys want me to, you guys want me to, to do the rolls yet? Uh oh. I could do torch and offhand, yeah. Early game meta? I don't know, shields are pretty, pretty heckin' good. Eight out of three? Yep, guys, eight out of three. <laughs> don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Get rolled, you little rat. You think you're so cool. Sorry, I have a thing against Reapers. They've ruined a lot of my a lot of my time. Almost triple pulls. Oh man, come on, man. At, le at least let me get level five first. Alright, at nine I do three pulls. I got, I do three pulls. Yeah, I do, I, I do hate reapers. I'm just regret, I just don't want to do the pulls, man. Because if I do the pulls, what if I lose things that are important? Crossbow and offhand? Big brain. Dude, 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 Wait. One flippin' second. No. I need, uh, wool. Uh oh, that's nine. Okay, okay, okay. I'm doing three pulls right now, guys. Or maybe just one, right? Just one? Just one pull, right? Just one pull. Nah, we do one. Come on, I don't I don't wanna do three. No. No! Shut up! No, I'm not doing a dungeon dive, alright. <laughs> oh my god. The next dungeon I find I have to clear it. Oh, guys, I don't want a dungeon dive. Oh my god. Okay, the next dungeon I find, I have to clear it. Let's hope that I don't find a dungeon for like a really long time. Okay, three. Okay, three. Alright, so I have to drop my, my rocks, whatever. That's not that big of a deal. Easy. And I can't, I can't pick up rocks now for a little while. I don't know how long until I can pick up rocks again. So I can't get more cobblestone? I can mine cobblestone, right? Okay, 15. What does that mean? Alright, that's 9, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I have to drop my birch wood? Oh my god. Ugh. Okay, and I'll make a rule like for the next day I can't get more of that resource. So we're gonna be getting oak wood instead of birch wood because now we're all out of birch wood. That's fun. Guys, come on. You're you're busting me right now. Okay, wait. I need I need like flint like right now. Or I'm gonna not survive the night. Come on, come on, come on. Don't worry, don't worry. The next dungeon I find... Oh, we, we won't find a dungeon for a long time, right, chat? Trust. Okay, well, this is, like, the only cobblestone that I can have for, like, the next day. So that's not very good for me. Okay. Okay, how much of this do I need? I need like 36, right? I don't... Okay, I got enough. Whoops, that's not it, chief. I don't know where my crafting table is. Oh, there it is. Now we have two crafting tables. Isn't that fun? <laughs> I forgot to put shaders in the description. 
Ah, uh, true. You guys don't need shaders, right? Dude, me and my two crafting tables are going to take the world by storm. You don't even understand. Wait, is there a... I think he's underground. Oh, never mind. I'm dumb. It is what it is, chat. Sometimes I'm dumb, sometimes I'm dumb. It is what it is. Um, anyways, we have some maca meat that I should cook here for the next day. I can't get more cobblestone, so that's fun because I dropped all my stone. So that, that, that actually really sucks that I can't get cobblestone for the next few days. Um, let, let, let's get a little bit of, um, let's get some, let's get some charcoal. You guys need shaders? Yeah, I mean, Silder Shaders, the, the problem with that site is sometimes there's like, oh, ten? We still, okay, so one, wait, wait, two more subs and we'll do another pull. Um, Silder Shaders, should I just type it in the chat while I'm crafting? Wait, I can't type, I'd have to open up YouTube. I'm not watching my own stream. Who would watch a Relcraft, guys? A Relcraft is so crazy. Um, let me kill these little pigs over here so I can hit level five and choose the crafting route. Hello, Mr. Piggy. Oh, that's what you get for being a pig, I guess. Wait, he gave me three pork chop. These pigs are being really sweet to me right now. Boom. Boom. Oh, no. Ugh. Okay. 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 It's fine. I wasn't even worried. I have obsidian now. Let's go to the nether. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Silder shaders. I'll put it I'll put it in the description. Why not? Give me a moment, chat. So we're gonna pull up. We're gonna do this, go live streaming. Um Shaders. Silder shaders version 1.32. Save. Did that update? I don't actually know if it does. Oh, I, I sound so cringy. Dude, I'm going to upvote my own stream. Because if you don't upvote your own stream, who's going to update it for you? How do I edit video? Silders Shaders version 1.32. Boom! I would put a link to it. Oh no, the PTSD from rolling the dungeon crawl. Don't worry, as long as I don't see the dungeon, we don't have to clear it. So as long as I don't see the dungeon, then we don't have to clear it. Um, can I get mining to four? <gasps> no. It's fine. I'll get a little bit of XP from cooking this, this maca meat then. Actually, let's cook this. Where's my coal? Where's my coal? Yeah, I'll, I'll hit level four with cooking this pork chop, I think. And then I'll be able to mine both the iron deposits here, and I may or may not get killed by a Geonaut in the process. We'll see. What's the goal of our oil craft? So victorious. Let me take you on a little journey. So this is a demon pedestal, a demon soul cube. Do you know what resides within this crazy, crazy thing? It's my big boy, Raho. Raho Varta. This boy is really, really powerful. If you kill him, he drops the ingredients that you need to make this. Aber, uh, uh, aber, uh, uh, yeah, this. Aberrant Soul Cube. Wait, that's three. Guys, do I have to roll again? Uh-oh. Yeah, so what, re what resides within the Aberrant Soul Cube is my boy Asmodeus-y. Asmodeus, then if you defeat him, he drops ingredients to make this undead soul cube. Now this, now this guy is my favorite. His name is Amalga Sussy, and he's very, very powerful. And also there's the Ender Dragon, but nobody cares about him. Okay, so let's roll. Wait, uh-oh, uh-oh, I'm showing browser. Okay, okay, it wasn't too late. Whoa. All right, what is 23? So for the next day, I empty out what 23 is in the inventory. Okay, okay, okay. 
So we, uh, that's 9, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. I have to drop my poles. I don't care about the poles. Nobody likes those poles anyways. All right, I'm not level four, lovely. But at least I have cooked pork chop. What I do need, I think I need a little bit more for the canteen, yeah? Canteen is six. I also want to make a backpack. Yeah, I need one more. Let's go see if we can find some cows and stuff. Okay, I didn't need those poles anyways. Because I, I need to hit... I want to make a canteen so I have clean drinking water. So let's go kill these makas over here. Amalga sussi. Yeah, I can use the pig talon as fuel. Wait, truly? That's actually really cool. I didn't know that. Huh. These things don't even know how to survive. They just get trapped in the ground. Let's push this guy into the woods. All right, okay, so we have enough now. Let's, okay, before my vision gets way too blurry. We need to go to a water source, fill this up really quick. Okay, we got this. <gasps> no, I dropped my birch wood. That's right, you guys made me drop my birch wood. I can't make birch wood for the next day. Tomorrow I can, I can get birch wood again, and then I get clean drinking water, so. That's fun. Thank you, Mr. Wheel. That's annoying. Whoa, wait, I didn't get parasites. Big! Okay, no parasites, no parasites. Easy. Um, well, I'm level four, so I guess I'll go over here and get this iron. I wanted to make charcoal filters so I could have clean drinking water, but no. We don't get clean drinking water in this Minecraft in this Minecraft house. Big deal. Yeah, big deal. I'll just get more birch tomorrow. Alright, um... Anyways, this will be my little escape over here. Oh wait, I can't get any more cobblestone today either. Dude, that wheel kind of be messing me up right now. I'm not even gonna lie. I can dance around this tree. True. Okay. So, if a Geonaut spawns, I dance around this tree, and it'll be great. I'm not even afraid of Geonauts, honestly. I've never, I've never, oh, okay, now I'm a little afraid of Geonauts. No wonder, I felt like this pickaxe was absolute trash, and that's because it is. Broken, 15% attack damage. Now I have a super pickaxe. Yup, graceful quality. <clears throat> Anyways, let's get this iron so that I can hit like level 30 so I can go into the nether. If you guys don't know, iron is like king in the early game. Sticks and stones and iron. That's all you need. And hopefully Geonaut does not spawn. Let's just get in here. Because Geonauts are not fun. Sugarcane for papers? That's big brain, actually. That is true. That is true. I haven't seen any sugarcane nearby. <clears throat> but that is smart. What if I somehow do not get birch I will I will look for some sugarcane around surely there's some nearby anyways I think I got it all let's see I should have 21 I have 20 May maybe maybe 20 is it I can't remember if it's 20 or 21 yes yeah, celestial geonaut incoming don't jinx it <laughs> okay I can't shield I can't dance as easily out here so if a geonaut spawns Ooh, how would I survive a Geonaut encounter if one spawns right here? I think the quick, the, the short answer is I don't. The long answer is I don't. Okay, nice. I'm glad that we're on the same page on that. I can kind of dance around this. Yeah, I can dance around this. Surely. 
Yeah, I, I dance around this. Easy. I'm not scared. Oh yeah, you know what's something underrated that I like never make that I need to make? A shovel. Dude, these things are so, so good. Like literally, literally shovels are, are so good for the early game. Because if I get afraid, I just dig underground. Ah! Uh-oh. I wish I had a shield right now. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, that's a good thing that I danced around this structure. That was so helpful. Give me back my wood. I tried to climb up the hill. I just bumped into the back of the hill, and then I realized, okay, this is bad. It's a good thing Geonauts are pretty weak. The, the main ones I'm worried about is if there's, like, a uh, Russet... A Geonaut or a Celestial Geonaut. I can dance around that. If a Celestial Geonaut spawned, I could have danced around that. But I'm so glad you guys got to hear my super manly scream as well. Wasn't that so manly, the way I screamed? I thought it was pretty manly. Yeah, extra iron from the Geonaut. That's true. It's a good thing it was a basic Geonaut and not like a dangerous one. Give me all that iron. Let's just hope and pray. No bad Geonaut spawns. Alright. Dude, we are so chilling right now. Thought it was a cat screaming. No, no, it was me. It was me. Tell a joke? Ha. Huh. Arelcraft. That, that's the best joke I've got. Am I right? Or am I right? <laughs> Arelcraft is the easiest mod pack in the world, guys. Um, everybody knows that. Um... I'm just gonna drop some things. Maybe I should keep those things in my inventory so that I have more things that I could potentially get dropped in my inventory from the spin wheel. <laughs> LC is a joke. Yup. Everybody knows that. Um, if I were to think of a joke off the top of my head, I don't know. Probably something about gotcha games because I've been playing those a lot. I've actually, I've actually really been enjoying Honkai Star Rail, though. And I even played a little bit of Genshin recently. I don't know if I, if I regret that or not. But Honkai Star Rail, I definitely don't regret. What does Elsie even mean? <laughs> he doesn't get it. No, I actually don't know what it means either. But it, that, that is what it means, Elsie. No! I know, isn't that crazy, Peter? I've been playing Honkai Star Rail. Dude, what is wrong with me? With my precious free time, I wasted on a gotcha game, bro. Isn't that crazy? I should stop playing that game. Well, the problem is, like, the guy that I've been editing for for a really long time plays that game a lot. Same with Genshin Impact. Like, if you guys don't know, I edit videos for gamers. How about Doom Eternal? That's a pretty good game. That's a pretty heckin' good game. Zoom! Hey, don't talk about my anime 2D drawings like that. I'm gonna get really, really mad on Twitter and tell you that my favorite 2D drawing is better than your favorite 2D drawing. And then we're gonna get in a fist fight over it. Except for since we're gamers, we, we wanna, it will just be kind of like slapping each other. Anyways, I think this area is pretty much clear of resources for the most part. I'm gonna cut down a little bit more birch trees as I move, but we need to go find like a village ASAP because we we're kind of good on resources. We need to find village. We could also go cobblestone cobblestoning, but I, I want more wood first. You watch football, CR7 or Messi? Look, guys, I know I know you guys might cringe at this, but I'm, I'm a Messi fan. I like CR7 a lot, too, but I like Messi more. Um, because I actually play on a semi-pro soccer team. I know that's crazy, but I do actually play football. I play on an adult semi-pro team. Some of my teammates, I think, would go which one of them should definitely go pro because he's legitimately up there with some of the foot, foot, futsal players. His skill-wise is, like, almost as good as someone like Neymar. His decision-making is what he needs. That's one thing I'm good at. The only reason why I got recruited for this semi-pro team is for my decision-making and vision on field. If you guys have ever seen, like, Blue Lock, the anime, I have good field vision. I can kind of see where everybody is at the same time. My skill is, is okay. I'm really fast, but... The main thing is my vision. So I actually play semi-pro. The chances of me going pro are so slim, I don't even care. But if my team does somehow make it to nationals, which isn't going to happen because we're like 6-6 six and six right now in the normal season. 
but if we can make it to state tournament, then we could qualify for nationals, and then scouts for the MLS will be there. I don't think that they're going to go to the state tournament, and we're not even going to qualify because my team doesn't take it seriously enough. I don't take it seriously enough. I don't train enough. I train three times a week. You Like CR7 and them, they train every single day, seven times a week for hours, and I train like four hours three times a week. That's not enough for me to be at the top of the top, right? Like, I'm not gonna go pro. But it could be fun. I definitely am insanely skilled though. Like, I, I'm one of those people that can always slot it in the upper 90 from outside the box, consistently. That That's like the bare minimum of a, of a semi-pro player though. Yeah. Is the league uh, uh, UPSL? Um, It's UPSL and I also play on GRSL. So I play on two teams. One of them is UPL, the, the Super League in the area, and then uh, I can't even remember the name of the game, dude. I literally just go out there and play with them because they want me to. I don't take it seriously enough. But yeah, it's it's uh, the semi-pro Florida League that you can play in. It's either UP UPRL, USL, one of those weird things starting with a U. <laughs> Typical jock fashion, not even knowing the name of the league that he's in. Um, what's my favorite animal? I like foxes. I I feel like foxes are just so extra kawaii. Yeah, soccer in real life, yes. I am an athlete. I don't know how I managed to be a gamer and an athlete, but it really do be like that. My opinion on energy drinks? I don't drink them personally, but I think that they're like fine if you want to. But I do not drink energy drinks. Um... My, my friends and other people on the team swear by them. They really like Gatorade, they really like Powerade and stuff like that, but I don't drink energy drinks. I'm a nerd. I don't drink soda, alcohol, I don't do drugs. I'm very, very boring. I just drink water and juice sometimes in the morning. Um, I guess we just cook some of this, yeah? I have I have birch that I can start cooking for some more charcoal. Uh, but, but. Let, let's let's cook some of this. Um, yeah, you quit energy drinks, almost died. Yeah, like Red Bull and things like that. You got to be careful. It it really those things can can really mess with you. Healthy is boring. I know I'm boring. It is what it is. Um, energy drinks are not fine. Well, they're definitely fine if you're like out there burning calories all the time. But if you're not then don't drink energy drinks. It's gonna hurt your, um, what's the word for it? It's gonna hurt your blood pressure. So do be careful, all right? So, so do be, do be careful with that, yeah. Um, wasn't there, like, recently, um, studies shown, like, the negative impacts of energy drinks? I feel like there have been some new studies recently that have shown, like, that energy drinks really can hurt your, your blood pressure, like, severely. Um, I can't, I can't remember if any new ones have came out. Let's drink some water. Do I have pets? I have a pet betta fish. <laughs> I have a pet betta fish named Red, and his brother, who was blue, died, unfortunately, but we do still have a betta fish. Um, we used to have cats for a short time, um, but, but then we ended up having to give them back, uh, to the center because we were not, um... We, we felt like we couldn't take care of care of them to the correct capacity and also my dad is really annoying um, I regret not moving out sooner um, it is what it is what color was the cat oh the beta fish is red the cat was white and orange and then we had uh, an older one that was that was gray that was probably not gonna last very long it was very old um, is this the hardcore config no it is is not the hardcore config <sighs> right anyways in terms of we need to go find some stuff also do i have to spin the wheel i feel like i haven't spin the wheel in a while i'm gonna i'm gonna spin the wheel as a bonus because i don't think i i probably have been missing it all right uh-oh Ooh. okay 27 let's see what that is So that's right here. Okay, so I have to drop my seeds. That's not that big of a deal. Easy. Alright. Let, 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 let's get on our way. 
Um, the next thing that I should do, I have a lot of wood. I kind of don't want to waste this wood, though. Um, but I do need to start doing some things with this wood and my stone. I'm going to drop that because I don't need that. Um, oh, I'm out of stone. Okay, yeah, well, let's go get some stone. I might just, like, not even sleep uh, this night in-game. I think I might just be mining cobblestone all night. So this is really, really going to be a nice, fun section. But you guys are going to see how much absolutely insane amounts of XP I'm going to have after tonight. I'm going to have so much XP just from mining this cobblestone and also from cooking the iron. But I'm going to be right back because I have to take a piss. So one moment. Alright, I've got clean hands, clean dreams, ready to hit a high level in our craft. Well, actually, I don't actually know how high level I'm going to be because I'm going to reserve some of the iron for actual iron armor. But at least I don't have to spend a single iron ingot on an iron shield anymore. Yeah, I muted the mic. Um, Banshee's saw spawned from... From uh, from the soul from uh, what's that called soul sand, yeah. Ban Benchies can spawn from uh, um, cobwebs, soul sand, and minecart rails. Do I know what a gerbil is? Yeah, I had a really adorable gerbil when I was a little kid named uh, Cheap Cheap because it, it would just cheap all the time. That gerbil lived really long. I actually don't think gerbils are supposed to live as long as that one lived. I think it was like three or four years old. Yeah. Am I frying chicken? Yes, sir. This is going to be our little man cave right here. See, even without a village, we can progress. I don't even mind not finding a village yet. Oh, my pickaxe is dead. This is so sad. Boom, boom. While I'm at it, I might as well make a new axe because my axe is on life support. <clears throat> oh, lovely. So let's let's turn these axes into something cool. Thin. That's fine. Man, my inventory is so cluttered right now. Yo, thanks for the subscribe, Smother, my guy. Two more subscribes and I have to lose something in my inventory. Or, I still have the dungeon crawl, by the way, that I have to do. Not looking forward to that. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do to make sure that I don't freeze, because it looks like it might be like fall, hopefully not going into winter. Hopefully it's spring going into summer. Actually, maybe I'm more happy about fall. Whatever. We'll see. Okay, what was I cooking? What was I cooking? That's right. We're going to cook this because we need some torches. I'm going to make some torches in here. I'm going to light them up with a matchbox. Um, so we're going to make a matchbox really quickly. And then we're going to make some torches. But in the meantime, let's keep mining cobblestone. So this is going to be an all-nighter. We're pulling an all-nighter, boys. Hopefully that's... Not something that I end up regretting. Surely not. Surely not. Anyways, let's let's close this in at least, so that the outside world doesn't doesn't bother us. So we are going to pull an all nighter. 
Um, because as I said earlier in the stream, I don't want my world to get old too quickly so that stronger Lycanite enemies will start spawning. And I, am I going to try Dawncraft? I've been thinking about it, but honestly, I don't know. This might be a hot take. I don't mind talking to you guys a little bit about this, but like, I love Minecraft, but I feel like if, I, if I'm going to play Minecraft, I feel like I'm just going to play RLCraft. Because, like, the blocky nature of the world and things like that is not really what draws me to play Minecraft anymore. What draws me to play Minecraft is the adventure and the difficulty. And I like our Rollcraft a lot. Like, I feel like this is a mod pack that I know a lot about. But I could try the other mod packs. I think about it quite a bit. Um, but I feel like if I do, spend, if I do have the, the free time to be playing Minecraft, I'm just going to be on um, our Rollcraft. Thank you for the for the subscribe. Leave the city. Okay, I'm gonna drop that. Let's put one more of these in here. Uh oh, that's three. All right, boys, let's do a roll. Uh oh. Uh oh. Let's hope nothing happens. Naruto fan, thanks for the subscribe. Don't you do this to me. Yes! Oh my god, I was gonna have to clear the next two dungeons I saw. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> okay, so one, I have to drop the top thing in my inventory, which is a pickaxe. Whatever. That's fine. I didn't need that pickaxe anyways. Um, the shader is Silder Shaders. I have it in the description, version 1.32. Um, anyways, let's make some torches. We're gonna do some torches. And where are my torches? They're in my inventory somewhere. Surely there they are. Let's light them up with a matchbox. And now we have light for our little caving escapades. Ooh, let's wall that off. I guess we'll go down then, huh? Um, what do I think about the current economic reality? <laughs> What do you guys think about the current existence that is life, that it is all meaningless? Well, what is the, what are your thoughts on the current existential crisis of the of the of the universe at this state? Let's get philosophical. Um I mean, in terms of economics, I don't know very much about it unfortunately. I just took economics when I was in high school, and I must say that um I when I think about it, I get frustrated. Um, I get mainly frustrated at just how greedy mankind is. But other than that, I don't really understand very much about the economic situation. I just feel like every time I look at it, I feel like money is being wasted for certain things or being spent in the wrong ways. And and I, I try not to think about it too much because it's kind of kind of depressing. Hugo Kunha, thanks for the for the follow. That that means that we have to. Uh, <laughs> We have to roll again. Trout is tasty. That that's what I like thinking about more. Why, why am I not asking like what's my favorite seafood? Okay, eleven. What is this? Uh oh. That is inventory slot. No. Oh, my leather. No. I need my leather for I was gonna make a backpack with that leather bro come on all right so we're gonna need to get more leather chat we need more leather uh -huh. this is so sad reality is often disappointing bro I love that quote it's from um oh, what is that from I just remember fond memories of healing of hearing that I like the challenging stuff so it's fun for me yeah you mean economics? I've heard two gerbils right now. Gerbils live up to two and a half years. I did not know that, actually. My gerbil lived for over three years, so my gerbil was a Jigachad. What can I say? My gerbil was a Jigachad. Um, I think I'm actually going to cook this, this raw maca meat. Um, I don't have a lot of wood left. Can I use this as fuel? I can. I did not know that gerbils lived for, for two and a half years only. I thought they lived for maybe a little bit longer. The more you know. Gerbils are really cute. If you guys don't know what a gerbil is, um, they're like, do you guys know what a guinea pig is or a hamster? They're like really small versions of those. They're like adorable. 
She had a wish to destroy all of humanity? No. Thanos was right, dude. <laughs> Thanos, hot take, but I actually like him. I like Thanos. Some people don't like Thanos, but I think he's pretty cool. Use Talo? Oh yeah, that, that, that's a good idea. The next time I need to melt uh, things down, I'm gonna use Talo. Speaking of... I need to melt down, um... Let's use one of those, and then I'm gonna use Talo. I can't- I don't actually remember ever using Talo as a, as a fire source before. No, two to five years? Oh, okay, so my gerbil wasn't special after all. <laughs> my gerbil was- was an average gerbil. Aw. Now I feel sad. Nah, I, I, I was a good gerbil. It was a good little, good little gerbil. Okay, so Talo doesn't actually last very long as a light source. Okay, we need to get more cobblestone. Half of you guys gotta go, dude. I feel like I would be in the half that 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 was that was purged. I don't know. I feel like like uh, like in terms of intellect, I I'm I'm right up there, but in terms of like base things that make a normal human being, I feel like I'm just too weird. Like, legit. I'm just completely satisfied and have fun staying home, for example. Like, I don't care about parties, right? Like I said earlier in the stream, I don't drink soda. I don't drink alcohol. Like, I don't go out of my way to try to make people like me. Like, when I'm out around, like, let's say, surrounded by women or cool people, I don't try to, like, impress them at all. I'm, like, just quiet, but I'm not, like, nervous. I'm just like weird and uncaring, right? I feel like that just does not make the traits of a normal human being. So I feel like I would be purged. Like the pure essence of a human being, like the natural desire to want to reproduce, the natural desire to want to try to have as much fun as you can with your limited lifespan. Like I feel like I don't have that drive. I'm like satisfied with having a roof over my head, like having the bare minimum like I'm just happy being able to eat the foods that I want like I don't care about having a fancy car a fancy house like I like have this hippie mentality that is not a normal living creature mentality so I feel like I would be purged by Thanos it's like this guy's not weird I mean th this guy's not not realistic this guy's weird he needs to be gone yeah I sound like Yusum is dude I feel like a lot of us online kind of have that mentality like that chill uncaring mentality right so I think we would all be purged <laughs> we would all be purged chat isn't that fun Wow we would be we would be we would be purged I should try the rebirth of the night what is that is that like a game or is it like a mod pack ooh Irene Irion iron in gaudy in giddy dude for the longest time, people said I said I Einjot wrong. Dude, it's Iron Einjot. What can I say? That's how you say it. Iron Einjot. Oh, it's a mod pack. What's it like? Love the vids. I appreciate you, Naruto fan. I'm sorry that I don't upload them more often. I just don't have as much time as I used to when I was a younger lad. But... I do think that I, that I do plan sometime in the future to start making more vids. Like, maybe I'll just stop the work that I'm doing now and just be like, you know what? I'm an internet man now. I only do internet stuff. I honestly see it happening one of these days where I'm just like, you know what? I'm doing it, you know? But that day has not yet come yet. I'm, I, I like exercising. I like I like uh, doing stuff at the YMCA. I like I like doing all that, all that fun jazz, you know? The YMCA is a, such a chill place to work at. I like I like the YMCA. It's fun to stay at the YMCA. What what you, what is your gerbil's name? Has no enemies. I feel like some people are my enemy. Like everyone. Oh dude 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 wait. This is funny. So I had a comment on one of my videos the other day, um, where a guy was basically explaining to me why, um, like fire nunchucks are not as good as the ice nunchucks and he gave me like a massive essay on why i was dumb and i didn't know what i was talking about in my videos and he was saying like i can't even remember the things that he was talking about but he was basically saying like the information that you provide is basic and boring and you don't know what you're talking about 
and well, like, and then he gave the good example that that ice nunchucks are better than fire nunchucks. And let me explain to you right now that fire nunchucks are so much better than the ice nunchucks for a very simple reason, right? So this reason why fire nunchucks are better, and I explained this to him in a response and he just didn't respond. I think he was just lost for words because I responded with a massive response as well. Um, not out of anger, I just schooled him basically. But the fire nunchucks are better because of a single enchantment called Fiery Edge. So what this does is a variant of fire aspect that burns mob for extended periods of time and also gives the user a chance to ignore the invulnerability of an entity when it's on fire. You know what ice nunchucks can't do? Set enemies on fire for an extended period of time. So that does not give you more breaks of the invulnerability of the enemy. Like swifter slashes, fiery edge stacks with swifter slashes on nunchucks and that's what makes the nunchuck go burr. So he was just wrong. And I thought that was funny how he was so passionate about a bad take. So that was funny. <laughs> um, you can put Ashes Sword. Yeah, yeah. Um, but also, like, literally with these nunchucks, you just cannot set enemies on fire with these nunchucks. So you don't get that. You just can't do it. Doesn't it work with ice if you have supreme fire aspect? Only for a single tick of fire damage. So it does do one tick of, di of fire damage, but it doesn't set the enemy on fire. And fiery edge only works if you're hitting an enemy that's on fire. And that's why the fire one is better. Um, anyways, I think it's daytime. We survived the night. I think. Is there anything out there that, that'll want to kill me? Surely not, right? Anyways, we don't actually have a lot of sticks, but we are going to make some levers. Um, okay, we're level 10, Pog. So what are we going to do with our XP at level 10? Um, let's bring our defense up as high as we can to level 5. I mean, I don't mind turning this into, into sticks. Um... But I also like the idea that I can just turn it into paper. Um, anyways. So what's the end game goal? Oh, um, I explained it earlier in the stream, but the end game goal is to beat the final bosses. Like we want to beat Ralvart, then Asmodeus, then Amalgalich, and then I guess we'll kill the Ender Dragon, whatever. I mean, he's there. The Ender Dragon is in the game. It is what it is. Um, you know what's actually really funny? Actually, I don't know how funny this is, but I didn't kill the Ender Dragon on my main world until, like, very recently. Like, I just completely ignored him. I would just go until the end, and then I just flew off. Because I didn't because I didn't want to kill the Ender Dragon. He was too cute. He was just a little flapping his little wings, flying around. Will there be more live streams? Yes, I, I plan on streaming Saturday. Uh, every Saturday until I beat. Uh, until I get, like, maxed out. It might take me a little while, because I'm a little dumb on stream. And we have these, like, you know, I've already had to drop some very important inventory spots. Like, I don't have any leather right now, which I would have almost been able to make a backpack. But, so, so progression may be a little slow, but I do plan on going live um, every Saturday now until I beat this uh, mod pack. Because, if you guys didn't know, yeah, of course I didn't tell you guys this, but the YMCA had a soccer camp, and the camp is now over. Um, so I have more free time. So now I can do this for you. And I thought it was really good lining up with the 30k subs. Like, thank you guys so much for that. Um, I'm just gonna break some of these trees on my way there still. Am I gonna play light? Yeah, yeah, j just every Saturday. I don't think I'm gonna do more often. Are you thinking about streaming IRL crap in the future or other games too, Ryan? Yo, what's up, Ryan? Asu is my IRL friend. This guy is awesome. I, I actually, yeah, I didn't even talk to you about this, Ryan, but um, I do plan on playing IRL craft right now, just until the foreseeable future. Like, there are a lot of other games that I'm that I that I enjoy, but I don't really think I could make content as easily on those games. Um, just for the sole fact that, like, so for example, um, I guess I'll use Honkai Star Rail as an example. 
I know a lot about that game, to the point where I could be a content creator on that game. I could explain to people things that they don't know and things like that, but there are already a good amount of content creators that do that. When I create content, I'm, I'm a little weird. Like, if you guys don't know this about me, I like feeling like what I'm creating is helping people, right? Ooh, there's a dragon over there, or a lava pool, I don't know, something like that. I like feeling like, like, like my content is helping people, and if there's content out there that's already exactly what the content I'm creating is, I feel like I don't need to make it. I, I don't know if that makes sense. Um, and that's why I think, like, music is cool, because music is unique, right? Ooh! Village! Village! Wait, there's a dragon nearby. Is the village okay? Yeah, like, when I make our Elkrab videos... The reason why I've been so hesitant to make like a new bobble tier list and a new structures video is that the old structures video is still valid for the most part. There's only a few things that have changed, right? So then I'm like, I feel like I don't need to make these videos because I feel like you guys already know that stuff, right? Um, I don't know if that makes sense. Look, it's a kitty. He's so cute. Um, and that works out since, since I'm busy as well. Um... That I can't just upload content all the time and since I don't feel like I that I have the need to do it I don't need to make videos constantly wow this has a library and the vineyard well we found our base boys thanks for the subscribe toho jazz mix tohu to tohu all right yeah I don't know if that makes sense but I feel like if my content will help someone, then I'll make the video, right? But then on like Honkai Star Rail, all the things that I know, the little tips that I know, I feel like people have already kind of talked about them, you know? What days do I stream? Just Saturday. Um, just Saturday. All right, I'm going to get a lot of wood from these chests and sticks. And we're going to level up a lot. Are you guys ready for the level up adventure? This should be fun. Uh, I wish I was eight and gathering so I could make a saw. Chopping these manually is such a pain. I remember where I, you used to not need gathering to use a saw, but then Shavaxi was like, nope, saw's too OP, save you too much time. Yeah, I work at the uh, at the YMCA, call me good. Um, would I play Crazy Craft? What, what's Crazy Craft? Um, I sound like Charlie, Moist Critical. Hey guys, I just wanted to tell you that on stream today, I just got completely blasted by this creeper. It was really cool. Let's just remember my RIP to Moist Critical Charlie 64, my Minecraft character. He was really cool while he lasted. We had to make a little gravestone for him, but it is what it is. Dude, I feel like Moist Critical would be hilarious in RL craft. Guys, today I got killed by a lurker. I didn't even know what that was, but apparently those exist now. All right, let's put down these um, these crafting tables. Double the crafting for double the crafting speed. What can I say? Let's drop that. I don't need that. Um, all right, let's see. Sorry, just scamming chat. You can you can use the saw on the crafting grid. Yeah, but I don't have a saw. Wait, really? Wait, wait. You can use this in a crafting grid? Or am I being trolled with? Because I thought I needed eight in gathering to do this. Oh my god! Thank you! You're my hero! Thank you! Dude, that guy's the smartest man I've ever done smarted. He knows all the smart things with his brain being all smart. Boom! Okay, well, now we're level 12. It is what it is. Um... Next up, for my next trick, we're going to hit level 30 by cooking iron. Uh, why don't I have regular coal? Why? I wish I had regular coal. Eh, we don't need regular coal. We use charcoal. We out here making charcoal. Speaking of for Nazis... I cannot believe I did not know that you could just use a saw. That is actually hilarious. Where is my saw at?
<laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I was looking for it. Thank you, Nick Nick. <laughs> Casually get taught? Dude, dude, you guys have taught me, like, everything in this game. I make the videos because you guys tell me about this stuff. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows that. Um, anyways, I should probably sleep so that I don't die. The sleeping bag is too far away. <laughs> Your mom too far away. Haha. <laughs> Got him. RL Craft streamer makes joke about his mom gets banned on Twitter. Gone wrong. Uh oh. All right. So what we're gonna do next is I don't need these levers anymore. Um, should we do a a, a spin? I think I feel like I feel like we haven't done one in a little while. We spinning. Uh, low fog. We're using Silder Shaders 1.32. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. No. Uh... All right, chat. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out, 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 hear me out. You know, sometimes <laughs> you have to understand that sometimes things are just going too good. It's a tactical, it's a tactical suicide. It, it's tactical, it's tactical, you know. Nah, I, I would do one tactif tactical fully, but then it wouldn't be a punishment. So we're doing one. Uh, have you tried not dying? I try all the time. And the game tells me, Oh, Cass, you have to die because you are a stupid brain. <laughs> That's all I hear. Every... I'm trapped. I'm trapped. I, I'm in the maze of the vineyard. What can I say, guys? It was nice streaming for you guys today, but I got trapped in a vineyard. I don't know where I am. Well, well, well. I guess that wasn't too bad, because fortunately we were in a village. If we weren't in a village and we had our spawn set elsewhere, then that punishment is a lot worse. Okay. <laughs> I'm very lucky I found this village, because... Yeah, no, it's not actually a tactical suicide. I just didn't want to put the word suicide in the wheel. Because um, of YouTube's algorithm. You can't actually, like, put that word. It's a bad word. You can say it. I don't think it's going to pick it up in the algorithm, but... You don't want to, like, have it on screen or the algorithm's like, you're banned. <laughs> you know? Yeah, change my health display. That's actually not the worst idea, but I kind of like... Uh, if you guys don't know how... I'll at least show you guys how to do that, right? So you go to mod options, you go to first aid, and then you go to the config and you can change some of the things in here. The overlay, display mode, player model. I mean... I kind of like the, the player model. Bottom right, display mode true. If you want it on one or zero, I think it just always shows. I could be wrong. I, I can't remember. I just know putting it. Oh, wait, maybe it's negative one. I think it's negative one, right? I think it's negative one. It's negative one, right? Yeah, now it always shows it in the bottom right. Yeah, it's a negative one. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Um, So now you, I can just kind of always see it. I kind of want to put it bottom left, because bottom right is going to make me lose my lose my mind. Um, display mode. I don't want numbers. I want hearts. And we're going to do bottom left. I like this one a lot more because this is just kind of look at it isn't it cute look at them little hearts if you put the numbers it's a little bit more accurate I guess or easy to track but you know it is what it is okay so we're still cooking our Eero now see um, what is my daily tip um, my daily tip let's see I'm trying to think of something good my little brain is stonking. My brain is stonking. We're gonna say... Okay! Make a fish nursery so you have lots of whale meat. <laughs> if you want to know how to make a fish nursery, I think some nuts guy has a video on it. But basically what you need to do 
is you make this item a, di a, a diamond fish tracker. You right click the water that you're aiming at and it will tell you every fish that's in that pond. If you crouch right click the water, it will tell you how many fish of each fish is in a pond. If you do that at the ocean, it'll show you that there's only one whale in the water. If you're in creative mode, it'll show you the number. If you are in survival mode, it'll just show that there's a meager quantity. Meager means there's only one in that area. So if you fish everything out of that water, except for the whale, like if you hook a, a whale on the line, just put the whale quickly in a bucket, right, to save it for later, then fish everything out of that ocean chunk, and then you dump the whale back into the water, and then you go elsewhere, catch another whale, then dump that whale into the water, put a bait box in the water, put this bait box in the water, fill it up with red grouper or salmon, red grouper, so you catch a bunch of these in the ocean anyways, put the red grouper um, in the bait box, right, and then those whales will begin to reproduce, right, and then it's going to take a long time, but after they reproduce enough, you're going to have a little whale farm, and then you can just go in there and fish up, and you'll only fish up whales so that you can have lots of juicy whale meat. That's my tip for the day. Boom! Okay, I, I wanted to think of something that I hadn't talked about in my videos, and uh, I don't know if I've actually ever talked about hatcheries in my videos before. Hopefully, that's some interesting information for you guys. There's whale. Yeah, so the reason why you want cooked whale meat is when you have a gluttony pendant, you eat the whale meat, then it gives you sinful six, which is the best offensive buff in the game. With sinful six, you then can drink wine to extend the buff of the sinful six forever, so you just have this sinful six buff on as long as you keep drinking wine and it's like really really good buff really really good buff um yes sir oh you mean a tip for real life i would say don't overthink things it's okay if you make mistakes you know if you if you just want to like try something either be at school or with a certain job and it doesn't work out there's no harm no foul on that people are not going to hold that against you Right, if you start working at a job and it doesn't work out, it's okay to leave it, right? You're trying something, see what what is fun for you to do, right? Don't stress out too much, don't think too much. If and and number one, ask yourself what your priority is. If you want to make a lot of money, then you don't care how much fun you're having, right? Obviously because you care about making money, but then if you care about how much fun you're having but still want to live a sustainable life, then you want to ask yourself then what what could you do to meet those criteria, right? You gotta ask yourself what your priority is and it's okay to fall on your face and make mistakes but you know do the necessities don't be afraid to make mistakes those are those are that that's a nice little life tip i guess um potion sickness will reduce your buff up to 12 that is true you can only have 12 buffs but you don't need to have even 12 buffs you can just have you know with silver armor you've got cure on that's one and you have fire resistance with your dragon's eye, that's two. You got resistance from your shield of honor, that's three, right? But then you just only need, like, you know, flight, simple six, you know, you can put strength up, you can use, you can have, uh, you know, speed up and things like that, but you really do not need 12 buffs. You really do not need 12. The most important ones, there's like eight important ones, and the other ones are just fillers so that it looks more impressive. Yeah. Are ice villagers changed? There's one that sells one fish and one sapphire. Yeah, ice villagers are actually pretty good. Um, you, you get sapphires from ice villagers. If you want to make dragon treats, ice villagers are probably the best way to get those. Um, because you you're, you want to make dragon treats eventually, right? These dragon treats right here. You, you're going to want to make these eventually so that you can tame a cockatrice, which is like my favorite mount in the game. Maybe it's not the best, but it's, I think it's the best, right? Um, Ark Survival Evolved? Dude, I've thought about it. Ark looks really, really fun. Will I upload this later? Yeah, yeah, th this stream is being uploaded to my YouTube channel. Dude, stream- YouTube did this really awesome thing, by the way, that now your streams are, like, separate from your regular videos, so it doesn't cluster up one's feed, right? So if you go to the channel, you can see all the live streams, if you're looking for them, and they'll still be recommended when they're new and recent to people to watch, but they won't be saved as the recent 
like on the newest uploads on the channel so you'll have to find them in the stream uploads not the normal uploads and i kind of like that um so that it doesn't clutter one's upload feed so you can see okay this is the edited content this is stream content which i think is pretty cool yeah maroc's better yeah the, the maroc is is arguably better um more agile can fit into smaller spaces hits harder but the cockatrice is a bigger boy more hp and he paralyzes enemies and he's a little chicken he goes cluck 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 isn't that cool um yeah yeah no i mean i think they made it easier to fight on that bot on the mob but yeah marocs are definitely good but i like cockatrice boar chad maroc versus virgin cockatrice guys come on man no chad maroc versus chad cockatrice versus virgin regular rock these are dumb these are poopy brains Sven, Gr I cannot say that last name, but thank you for the subscribe, Sven. I think that's three. All right, well, let's not die. Ah, my ears. Okay. Don't lose inventory, please. Dude, the worst one is losing inventory, by far. I think losing inventory is by far the worst. If I roll this one, it's just so bad. Okay, 19. Organize it. Got yeah, 18. Oh, my torches. My torches. Come on. I wanted my torches. How do you get rubies in this game? Um. No, no. You you mean Scarlight. I'm like, what is a ruby? Um, yeah, so you get Scarlights from uh, the Defiled Lands biome. You mine them underground. Every single diamond that would have spawned normally is Scarlight, but the easiest way to get Scarlight is to get a diamond block and then right click it with Scarlight Powder. What, what's it called? Powder. Where is it? Defilement Powder. You find these from these little um, screw knots in the Defiled Lands, and then you right click a diamond block that's placed, and it turns it into a Scarlight block. And that that's the easiest way to get um, Scarlight. You can apply that logic to literally every other aspect of RL craft true and facts would i play arc survival i've thought about it i think arc is pretty cool but i don't think i will i don't think i will if i do then i would play it off stream and i would just tell you guys how i'd like it but i know i'm gonna like it because i love skyrim and arc is just kind of like more intense um skyrim plus like monster hunter and all this dude arc is just a great game um yeah have i played the the RTG realistic world generation? No, I have not. I actually have not played a whole bunch of games, by the way. I have not actually uh, played a whole bunch of video games. Um, Steven Dona, thanks for the subscribe. Okay, anyway, sorry that it took so long for this iron to cook. We were waiting for it, but now it is finally cooked. I honestly feel like I could just keep chain armor. I don't even need to make iron armor. Um, but I feel, I feel like I should, because I don't have a shield, so I need as much protection as possible. It just sucks, because iron is, like, such an amazing resource, you know, that it just feels so weird making, um, you know, armor. Thick! Aw, I don't want to be slow. Speed is king. This is so sad. Anyways, we don't need this iron, right? So now we're going to do something really fun with this iron. Or I think it's fun. Let's get a little bit more cobblestone so this isn't as mind-numbingly painful as it, as it needs to be. Out of the way, pony. I might even, I might even grab a little pony so I can uh, have a chest on its back and run off into the sunset. On my trusty steed. We'll see, we'll see. A backpack is more important. And I need leather. So maybe I should just kill these horses for their leather. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we a little a little la punny. I'm gonna catch a Pokemon in our Elcraft, guys. It's the La Punny. Uh let's drop the dirtus. And crafting at double speed because two crafting tables go crazy. Alright. Are there more wood in here? 
Oh my god, there is. I knew I needed to get more cobblestone. Ugh. Silly little mistakes, man. Silly little mistakes. Oh man. Oh jeez, Rick. I just made a big mistake. All right. Um. Where should my house be? Should I just live in here? What do you guys think? Collecting these furnaces, because this is my living room. Not the furnace room. Wow, what a lovely little house that we have now. Need to put a little crafting table there. And now we're going to make... Some beautiful dark oak chests. And this is where I'm gonna store some stuff. We finally have storage chat. I'm the quickest, most efficient RL craft player that has ever RL craft. What can I say? We are so incredibly efficient right now. Anyways, I should go get some more cobblestone. <coughs> but I don't know if I'm gonna. Ooh, look at that tower over there. Is this two villages combined, or is this village just absolutely massive? I don't know. Anyways. Yeah, let's take this. We're gonna make some more, um... Yeah, we're gonna make some more coal really quickly. Um, will this VOD be posted? Yes, the VOD will be posted. So if you do have to leave at any point, don't worry. You can, you can catch up and watch this later, for sure. It's just, th this stream should be pretty chill because it's the early game. We're just doing the early progression. We're going to get out of iron gear. Um, hopefully we're, we're going to go mining and get a bunch of diamonds, but I do need to make more torches because the stupid spin wheel made me drop my torches. So we're going to have to make some new ones. Um, is a new type of generation on Railcraft that's made this world look so good and it's better to run in your opinion? That is interesting. What do I think about the current advancements in AI? Ooh... That's a fun one. Um, I actually, this is kind of a hot take, but I actually kind of like artificial intelligence. I just don't want it to get too smart. I, I think AI helps us a whole bunch and makes our lives easier, but the moment that we start making like androids from Nier Automata, that's when things have gone too far. That's when things have gone too far, in my opinion. I think that we shouldn't create AI that's like self-thinking um, I, like, I understand the whole idea that, that they're not gonna, like, think too much, and, like, you know, cause human beings, right, like, human beings also think a whole bunch and get existential, but, you know, I understand that they're gonna think that the AI are not gonna do that, but I think that they are, cause if human beings do that, like, there are some human beings that are psycho, so there will be some AI that are psycho, the only difference is that the AI is gonna be smarter, so it will actually be more dangerous, you know? Because, like, for example, let's say you take some guy who, like, really wants to go commit crime. Like, a really evil guy, right? The only reason why that guy can't do more bad things is because he's limited by his intellect. But if an AI goes off the deep end, it doesn't have that problem because it's very intelligent, right? So it's a little scary. So I think that we probably should try not to make the AI too intelligent to the point where if they wanted to, they could, like, uproot the government. Even though there are problems in the government that could be uprooted, but I think a human should do that, not a robot. Do I think the AI will rule us? Only if we let it get too smart. I don't think we're going to do that, because believe it or not, I know that this might be hard to understand, but I think human beings are actually really smart. Vinay Vikram Singh, thanks for the subscribe. I actually think human beings are really smart, guys. I think that we will understand that there are things that we should or shouldn't do. Um... So I have faith. I have faith, right? Yeah, two out of three. Thank you, coffee. I'm a little worried. Um, yeah, I want my anime waifu IRL. Yeah, but as long as you just make her average intelligence, don't make her, like, too smart, right? Like, if you do have, like, I want to be in real life, I'm on board with that, right? That I think that that would be really cool having, like, AI robot, like, assistants and things like that. But only make their, like, memory banks capable of holding so much information. Like, don't make them capable of, like, you know, hacking into supercomputers and, like, things like that. Um, 
Anyways, let's start melting down this stuff before I get even further sidetracked. So I have my coal. This is my, my, my heat source. And let's start um, turning the iron into XP, right? So we turn it into nuggets, and then we turn it into chain mail. And I'm just going to probably go through this rotation a singular time so I have a little bit of iron left over. I don't really know what I'm going to use that iron for, but I know that there's always uses for iron. But I will get more when I go mining. Um, I know that I will have more iron when I go mining. Anyways, so let's create some... Whoops. Oh, I'm not doing good with this right now. Boom. Alright, so we're gonna get some XP this way. You're gonna be surprised how much XP this gives me. Even though it's just 34 iron, it's gonna get us a good amount of XP. Um, and then I think I'll probably just turn the output back into iron. Because I do want to have some iron left over. I don't want to just burn through it right now. Um, hardcore playthrough win. I'm probably not going to do a hardcore playthrough live, actually. Um, because I, I, I like the idea of um, being able to get my stuff back if I die. Because I've been there, done that. I did a lot of hardcore uh, streams in the past. So I'm just going to try to get a maxed out world. Because I, when I'm thinking about it realistically, most people who play this game don't play on hardcore. Um, like, the people who are, like, really hardcore are definitely the minority. Um, are definitely the minority. So, I tr I'm trying to, uh, you know, just, just get a normal max world and show that it's possible. Because, like, honestly, right now, even when you're maxed out and go into the Lost Cities dimension, you can still potentially get killed. Like, even with, like, a wonderful broken heart bobble and and all this stuff equipped, you could still get killed in the Lost Cities dimension. So it's like, why would I just make my progression so much slower and more stressed out on hardcore, not being able to take risks when I could just play on normal? Because, like, when you die and lose all your stuff, it's basically a full reset anyways. I feel like when you die, it's worse dying on a normal survival mode because now you know that you have to do all that hard work and get it all back again. Right on hardcore, it's like, okay, well, I just go, I get to go chill in the, in the early game for a little bit longer, right? Like, I think a normal playthrough where if you die is more painful than if you die because in, like, a hardcore, because then you know, okay, we'll just reset, go again, right? Yeah. How to add that little thing on the left? You got to go to mod options, go to first aid, and then, and then do stuff from there. Um, I showed it earlier in the stream. All right. Anyways, we we did this. We're level 14. It's pretty good. And now we need to go mining again because I want to get uh, potentially diamonds. And I want to get more iron that I can use to potentially get 16 in defense so that we can wear diamond armor. In order to do that, we also get a lot of cobblestone so that we can cook, uh, so that we can make more uh, levers. So we're going to go do that. Where is my bed? Okay, it's right there. Sorry, let me just make a little axe really quick before I forget. Boom, boom. Okay, let's pick up these. Let's pick up these. Let's go set our... Let's go set our sleeping bag in our house. I mean, we could do some tactical suicide resets, but I don't know if I want to do that. Let's sleep up on floor two. Actually, I need to take this with me anyways. What would be the point of me doing that? Of me, of me not taking it, I mean. Ooh, let's take this wheat. All right. Bread! You know what we do with the bread? Full work burgers, baby. Whoops. That's awkward. Alright, so let's leave some stuff in here that we're not gonna need. Um, 
I guess we will put two furnaces here really quick. Because we need to melt these down. We have lots of wood and coal. Thanks for the subscribe, water pump. Oh, wait, is that a pull? Oh, no. No. Okay, 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 okay. Don't lose my inventory. Okay, okay, what's 18? Surely I won't miss 18, whatever that is. Surely I won't miss 18. Aww. My chainmail plate. Well, we just toss it. That's unfortunate. And I can't make chainmail plate for the next day, so I have to store this. Unfortunate. Well, I, I just can't make chainmail plate with it, but I can um, turn it into iron. It's not bad. My chainmail plate. You're evil. Whoever just subscribed, I hope you're happy. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thank you for the subscribe. Um, I'm going to use a crafting table as a resource because I'm chaotic evil. What you said about dying in normal survival, I agree with. Died late game to cinders inside a college of evil in the witch spawner room out of all places. I had no idea cinders were so dangerous. Dude, and not only that, trying to get your stuff back is just like... It's, it's literally hell. If you don't have backup gear and you just make a grave scroll, like, even if you do that, you're in a college of evil. You're surrounded by so many enemies. Like, getting your stuff back is going to be next to impossible. But you're going to try to, and you're going to fail, and it's stressful. Nick and Kick, thanks for the subscribe, my guy. That's one out of three. Uh-oh. Okay, so we're going to go into the underground. IOR3B, thanks for the sub. Uh-oh. Do not keep subscribing. Do not keep subscribing. I do not want to lose my inventory. Guys, come on. Guys, come on. Don't do this to me. Okay, 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 okay. Uh-oh. No tactical die. I don't want to do that again. I'm level 14 too, so it would stop, suck because I would have to drop everything and I would lose my, four, my 14 levels. Thanks for the number 16... Burger King, so that's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh my god, my iron! No! That sucks. <laughs> I need to go get more. Actually, I need to leave that there so the vineyards... Ah, no, I don't, I don't, I don't need to do anything. I'm just gonna go cry. Uh -huh. It's fine, it's okay. I'm not a baby, I'm not crying. I'm not, I didn't even need iron. Who needs iron? I can't I can't get iron for the next day, which sucks because I'm going mining right now, but it is what it is. All right, so let's go mining. Oh, oh wait, let, let me leave my obsidian. I, I don't want that. I want as much inventory space as possible. And I would have had a backpack if I didn't have to drop my leather earlier, so thank you guys for subscribing. I don't have any more leather. Um, oh yeah, I got an idea. Oh wait, I don't have iron. I was going to make an iron canteen. Oh my god. Okay, it's fine. I, I don't need iron. I don't need iron. I, nobody needs iron ever. It's fine. Iron is bad for my health. Um, yeah, let's leave the saw. I don't, I don't want to risk losing it. It's important iron. Let's leave my bone. I need my bone for later. What else is important that I don't want to lose? I mean, I kind of don't want to lose anything, but... I do need sticks for torches. That's right. I have to make more torches. Absolutely lovely. All right. Let's make just a little bit. Uh, I need to make a matchbox really quickly. So I can... Actually, do I have flint and steel instead? No, I don't have iron. That's right. Lovely. Okay, we've got torches. Let's go on a mining escapade. Do we have food? Yeah, we have food. We have water. We're chilling. And we even have charcoal filters. Yep. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're ready to go mining. Um, let's make our mine right inside our little house. Yeah, let's go. So the reason why I'm going mining right now, chat, is because mining is a really chill thing for me to do on stream. Because I get to, like, read chat, talk, and that it's also incredibly productive because I need diamonds. 
and I also am really afraid to go adventuring. If you guys do not, did not know, if you've gotten to the stream a little bit later, the, the next dungeon that I see, I have to clear, by the way. The next dungeon that I see, I have to clear. So I'm afraid to go adventuring because I'm afraid that I'm going to see a dungeon. Right? So I'm really afraid to go adventuring. <laughs> the next dungeon I see, I have to clear. Um, yeah, so not looking forward to that. Not going to lie. Yeah, I know you guys want me to go adventuring because you want to see me clear a dungeon in iron armor and get killed by, like, a stupid darkling. But I am going to go mining. I hope that I do not stumble upon an underground mine because I will definitely die. But, you know, maybe not. Maybe I'll come out on top. I have ways that I can cheese dungeons, all right? I, I think I can cheese dungeons. I don't want to have to do it because it's going to take a while, but I think if I find a dungeon, I might actually be able to clear it. Well, not clear it, but I will die trying, and I will die valiantly. You haven't played much of 2.9.2? You should. It's so much better than 2.9.1. It's, it's not even close. Honestly, a lot of the things are pretty similar, but, but there is something, a very important change is that the broken heart bobble actually works. Yeah, I know. You should always go mining in a mountain. It's just better. You, you'll you find emeralds and and trolls and stuff, but I, I'm in a forest biome right now, so I could still find trolls, you know? But yeah, no. Definitely mining in a mountain biome is better. Um, I don't think it increases the chances of, of diamonds, though. Pretty certain. Could be wrong. Dude, if mining in a mountain biome increases your chances of diamonds, my mind would just be blown. Undershirt now works as intended? Yes, undershirt also works as intended in 2.9.2. But I don't have 16 in defense or 12 in agility. Um, speaking of agility... I could get to 2. I need 4 in agility for the dodge? Man, I don't need that yet. What else do I need? I mean, I need to level up my mining to 8, right? Yeah. Oh my goodness, that was exactly my XP. Look at my XP bar. <laughs> mining away. Oh. Dumb ways to die. Okay, so let's not die. Let's go this way. Um, can I send you a link for the Optifine I use? Um, I just knew, I just use the normal, um, like, old Optifine. I just keep bringing it over. Do you not have, it like, an older save of RLCraft? Like, an older world? Because you can literally just move that Optifine over. Like, the same Optifine that has worked for 2.6 RLCraft, I think, still works for 2.9. Or at least I know the 2.8.2 one still works for 2.9. Um... So if you have any like old um, Optifine in your older saves, you can just port, you can just copy paste that one over, and then it will work. Because you do need Optifine for shaders. If you guys did not know that, you need Optifine, or the shader will not show up for you. Yeah. Yeah. Latest one point twelve. Yeah. Yeah. Toasty. Best part uh was the flare being re-enabled. Re yeah, flares are cool, dude. I I I played Sons of the Forest recently. I don't know if you guys know that game. That's a good little game. That's a good a good little game right there. I will say good game. And I liked the regular forest too. Like the original forest was really good. Um Yeah, me and uh that 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 three-armed chick, uh, I think Virginia. Yeah. Me and her are kind of a thing. It is what it is. <laughs> If you guys didn't know, there's, like, this three-armed mutant girl in the game that follows you around but is, like, friendly to you. And you can eventually get her to fight for you if you don't kill her and are nice to her. But that's a horror game. and a, like a, So if you don't like horror games, don't, don't play that game. 
Scarlight Reaver is the best mid-game weapon. Change my mind. I'm not going to try to change your mind, because that is true. But they did nerf it in 2.9.2, because Shavaxi hates everything that is good in this world. Nah, don't worry. Please don't be mad at me, Shavaxi. I'm not actually mad. It's okay. Scarlight Reaver was really strong. Um, in 2.9.2, unlike 2.9.1, the Scarlight Reaver now gives you a leech effect, which is still really good. But before, it used to give you a vampirism lifesteal effect. But now it gives you not that. Now it gives you leech. Which is still still really good. Do I feel like getting down to Y11 takes a little out of me. Ooh. Gold! I need gold. I need gold. I need gold. I need to level up magic, I think, to get this. No! It's okay. Because guess what I can do? What's this? Not that. Don't don't do what I just did. All right, we need a little bit more levers. I need to hit level two. I need an iron pickaxe, anyways. I'm so stupid. It's whatever. Anyways. I need a iron pickaxe. It is what it is. That's what, wait. I have eight in mining. I just need iron. I can't get iron. I have iron ore, but I can't actually make iron until the end of this day, though, because I lost it from my inventory, which is very unfortunate, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Trust. Anyways, let's make, I, also, I know mining, just a heads up, guys. Mining might be a little boring. Um, but it's really important for me to do this. Let me drop that. Let me drink some wool. Ah. Oops, I'm dumb, but it is what it is. So now we have this. Let's do that. Now we have more purified water. We have some flint. We've got iron, but I can't cook it yet. And we're going to make... Let's make two pickaxes. Alright, let's see. It is more efficient to mine for iron instead of just going out and finding it now? Um, not really. I would say going out and finding it is probably more efficient. Maybe. It depends on how lucky you are. Obviously, finding those, like, iron, like, little small mounds in the world gives you 20 iron ore. And they're really easy to find. But I don't want to go out into the world, Lauren, because if I find a dungeon, I have to clear it. <laughs> and mining is not that much less efficient anyways. Um, it's not that bad. So I'm just going to mine because I have to clear the next dungeon that I find because we rolled it on the card. I don't know how that happened, but I'm unlucky, I guess. Okay, let's hope that a Scarlight Geonaut doesn't spawn. Or a Celestial Geonaut would be even worse, I guess, than a Scarlet one. Um, I, I really want to cook this iron to make an iron pickaxe, but there's a Chupacabra around here somewhere, actually. I'm kind of worried to mine. And I like Chupacabras a lot. Did you know Chupacabras are probably my favorite pet in the game? <clears throat> They're so good. Like, the meat that they give you gives you leech. But more importantly, chupacabras are just kind of cute. Like, look at that face. Them little chupacabras, man. I don't know why I'm mining this coal. Mining coal is just such high risk, high reward. A high risk, low reward. Oh, it's lapis. Wow, this is a lot of little, a lot of little stuff in here, huh? I'm gonna mine that. Just give me a un momentito. Let's put this in my offhand so I don't die as easily. Because I can't use a shield because because I don't know why I decided that that would be fun. So I want iron. 
No, G not please, no G. Wait, did I just hear a, a villager? I swear I thought I heard him. Oh, 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 oh. Well, that iron is gone forever. Speaking of zooming in, whoa. I really like that Optifine has that zoom in feature. I need to use it a little bit more, like when I'm looking off into the distance. Look, oh, I see some bloody iron right there. Some iron in its natural environment. All right, this is some good iron that we're getting right now. Let's go a little bit deeper. I can't wait to strip mine. Also, do you guys... Ooh, I think that's Y11. Surely that has to be Y11. I've been mining down so much. Anyways. Um. I wonder if I should do the one-by-one one mining. Do you think that's funny? I think I should do that. Uh-oh. It's really hot right here. Oops. Well, that iron's gone forever. Um, oh, <laughs> stupid, stupid enemies. Anyways, let's wall that off. I think I'm around Y11, but I'm going to actually go a little deeper and I need to get away from this heat before I like die of heat. There's a Scarlet Cephingus. turn here. I need to go just a little bit lower. Just to double check that I'm at Y11, because I might not be. I feel like I'm at Y11 right now, though. No, not my legendary stone pickaxe. Just join the stream? Oh, well, you're in for a treat. I am doing strip mining, which is one of the most interesting things in all of RL craft. No, this is not hardcore. Um, but I don't think that hardcore needs to be done right now. I have a lot more fun in regular. But not only that, like I said a little bit earlier in the stream, I think losing your stuff is so more heartbreaking sometimes than losing your entire world because losing your entire world is just kind of like i mean whatever i'll just go again hardcore is hardcore but when you lose your stuff and you try to go back and get it the mental anguish that you get not being able to get it back and trying so hard to get it back that's an experience that you just can't get in hardcore hardcore is kind of like all right you just have to play like a little baby and then you might get unlucky and die. But. Ooh. Oh. Oy, oy, oy. But in this. Dude, I love how weak Geonauts are. Like the regular ones. If that was a Scarlet one, what I would have done really quickly was after I knocked him back once, I would have bam bam. Right? But since it's a normal one, I know I can kill those boys. We just gotta hope that, like, one of those sapphire-colored ones don't spawn. Um, hardcore turns into a game into a roguelike. Yeah, hardcore make, it makes it a little bit like a roguelike. And I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of roguelikes. Not, not even gonna lie. I know that might make some people sad to hear. But I don't, I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of roguelikes. 
There is one really good roguelike that I've played before, though. I think it, um, what was it called? Ooh. Okay, this is a killable one. Hey! Come over here, little rat. Hey! Hey! God, I wish I had a... It's alright, I can, I can close the distance. I think it was the, the death of Isaac or something? What, what was it called? I think it was something is really good. You can have an infinite medikit? I mean, I know that you can put advanced mending and unbreaking four on a medikit, and then it's like really, really good. Yeah, the binding of Isaac. Yeah, that was a good game. Yeah, the binding of Isaac. Yeah, that, that one's a pretty good game. I liked it. And there was another one that I saw my friend playing that looked really cool. That was something about being like the son of the demon lord or the son of Satan or something. He looked that that game looked pretty cool too, but I never actually played it. Um, digging is OP with fortune three shovel. You can get diamonds. Yeah, yeah, that is actually true. I was thinking of talking about that in one of the videos with the treasure hunting. Um, I was thinking about it. Thinking about it. Um, I have food, right? Yes. Um, breaking three and normal mending is enough. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. You know what I sh I need to get actually. I need to go back up to the surface and make a. Yeah, hopefully I don't push my luck here. I need to go back up to the surface and get some, like, wool. Yeah. And maybe it's daytime, too, so I can cook my iron. Because, well, if it's daytime, I can cook my iron. Oh, a verdant Vulcan. That's scary. What makes a game a roguelike? Oh, a roguelike. So, a roguelike is, like, how you progress through the game and you get stronger and if you die you have to restart that's basically um kind of like a roguelike but roguelikes can also be considered to have a bunch of different areas and zones so our roguecraft isn't really a roguelike right obviously on hardcore it's not a roguelike because it doesn't have like different zones like i guess you could say the the big dimensions could be zones like the nether the void right but it's like you go through these different areas, these different rooms. Yeah, it is the time. Okay, cool. So I can cook my um I can cook my Irene four five. While that's cooking, let's go out and let's pick up all these these uh grapes really quickly. Yeah, so so that's kind of how roguelikes are. You have to go through different areas, and if you and you get stronger the further you go on, and if you die, you have to restart from the beginning. Is it bad cooking stuff at night? No, no, no. It's just I'm not allowed. I I wasn't allowed to to get iron because I rolled it on the spin wheel. Like it, it's it's just a self. A self uh, rule if I lose an item from my inventory for the next day I can't get more of that item just to make it a little bit more painful to lose certain items but now I can get iron again because it's been a day hey thanks for the subscribe Charles Perdue <laughs> Charles Perdue I feel like that's the name out of one of my history textbooks Um, do I recommend sabers, rapiers, or spears? In the end game, I actually recommend um, I actually recommend rapiers, which is kind of funny. If you max out melee damage, its attack speed is basically instant with swift or slash, so you can just spam left click as fast as you can, and you'll get full damage swings. And 
Um, like, nunchucks will do more DPS damage, right? But when it, when you mean endgame, I assume you mean the Lost Cities. So I would recommend a maxed out Rapier. Um, especially if you're going to use, like, the Ring of the Titans to just fly around and melee things. If you want a, a melee weapon for the endgame, you either want a Pike, if you want to be safe and fight from a distance, or a Rapier, if you want the highest DPS you can do, while there's still being some safety, because... If you guys didn't know, the main thing that's good about the rapier is not even just the damage absorption of 25%, but it's the fact that it takes weapon durability instead of armor durability. This allows you to actually survive some of the things that would one-shot your armor. Instead, it makes your armor really low with your rapier taking some of the damage instead of your armor. And that's why the rapier can be really good in the endgame. Matthias, thanks for the subscribe. Uh-oh, that's two out of three. Uh-oh. All right. Um, I think this is a decent amount of, of grapes. I need to go get some wool before I go back mining, though. Let's go get some wool. There's wool in this house, but I don't want to take that wool, so I'm going to take the wool over here. Oh, wait, there's wool in that house over there. 39. Please don't be locked. Please don't be locked. Please don't be a locked chest. 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 Boom! Okay, we're good. Ooh. Wait, that's big. Iron! Iron, iron! Ironing away. I don't know what to iron. I'll iron it anyway. Alright, I wonder if there's any crates around here. Let's get up on this house so I can look around a little bit easier. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, there is! Right in here. Look at that. Boom. Inventory plus. Cleon number one. Uh-oh. Thanks for the subscribe, my guy. Okay. Please. I have, like, a full inventory right now. Let's not lose something important. Renchon, thanks for the subscribe. Oh, my God. Please don't make me lose my inventory. All right. 21. Sheesh. Okay, what's 21 in my inventory? 19. Ha! I don't need that crafting table. But I can't make a new one for the next day, and I can't... I can't grab a new one for the next day. That's actually kind of awkward. Surely I won't need to make a new crafting table for the next day. There, There's crafting tables that are already placed around the village, right? Trust. I think I have one in my house. So that's not that big of a deal. Big! Huge mungus. Um, actually, since I can make iron and I can get redstone and I can get literally everything that I need right now. Ah, uh, the yeah. Okay, I'm going over there. I know what I'm doing, chat. I'm gonna go make an atlas. Sorry. Just in case there's no book and quill in this tower, even though I think there's, like, always one. Oh, wait. Do I not have my squid ink anymore? That's right. I don't have it. Surely I'll go find another squid if there's not a book and quill in here, right? Oh, there is one. Easy. Okay. I don't need that anymore. Paper. Whoever threw that paper. I'm angry about it. That's the original line. Let's see. Whoa, 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 whoa! Don't come over here. I am concerned. Surely he won't come over here, though, right? Surely. I can use one, yeah. I just can't. I just can't get another one in my inventory. A shrieky. Thanks for the subscribe. So I just cannot, I, so I can use the crafting table, I just can't put one in my inventory for the next day. 
I like how coffee you're like reminding people to inflict pain upon me by subscribing so I spin the wheel. I like that. All right. Ooh, it's it just cooked everything in time. That's actually lovely. Let's fill this box. We're going to melt down some of this stuff. I think I'm even going to melt down. Oh, <gasps> masterful pants, the chain leggings of champions. Okay, let's see. Is this better? I'm going to do the calcs. One extra armor for 13. That's 14. We have armor toughness, which is 2. It's 15. Yes, this is one armor protection better than this. And it gives me jump height, so that's better. I can even melt that down. Oh, wait, but this is tough, which is 16. But now I don't get the jump height. Do I want jump height? Is jump height worth one in armor? These are the questions I ask myself. I ask myself every day. Two protective armor for thirteen. Wow, this is actually more protection. Let me put that on then. These are the important questions that we asked ourselves. What the? Who made that noise? Sorry. So there was a villager walking around my base. I thought it was a zombie. Yeah. Jump is supreme, you think so? Alright, alright. We get the Gucci pants. We get the Gucci pants. We smelt them down. We're smelting it all down. The toughness is cool. 0.5 jump is just awkward. I like the way you think. I definitely didn't just want an excuse to wear the armor with more protection. <laughs> um, what structure is the best to find recall potions? Probably like in dungeons. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Somebody's trying to get in my house! Hey. Get out of my house. Surrogate? Wait, I gotta do a pull now. No. Okay, okay, okay. Let me let me do the pull. Heartbreaker forever. That sounds like a song lyric. Alright, guys. Please do not lose my inventory. Anything but lose my inventory. I'm Oh you Oh! 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 I'm so angry. Oh my god, I... I'm laughing. Because I'm so angry right now. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I'm not I'm not angry. I'm not actually angry. I've never been angry before in my life. I, I don't even care. Alright, let's salvage what we have in here. Get out of my house! I'm not angry. Let's go. Okay. Well, it's the next day so I can use my crafting table again. <laughs> oh my god. Get out of my house, Squidward. I'm not in the mood right now. I just lost all my inventory. It's okay. At least I'm not, like, far in the game, right? At least I'm not, like, too far in the game. Right? <laughs> Anything but lose inventory. And I actually got lose inventory. This is so sad. Okay, um, anyways. So, well, first off, I need to think about the essentials that I lost. So, let's go get a little bit more cobblestone from our mine. So I can make some stone tools again, just because that's kind of, like, important. I don't want to go all the way down, so let's just, um, get a little bit of, uh, stern here. Burn my stuff? I'm not gonna burn it, I'm just gonna let it rot and disappear into the abyss in my second floor of my definitely not stolen house. You know what's funny? I think that, that, that armor guy is probably the guy who actually lives in that house. Is what he wants you to think. I'm the one who lives in that house. <laughs> oh man okay let's turn this into wheat let's turn this into bread let's make some more I have a single bulwark burger that's fine easy now that that's that's nice right that's nice it's not too bad what can I say um anyways let's Okay, we got a pickaxe. What else are we missing? We're missing a shovel. I'm missing a... Oh no, I lost all my wool. Oh, I gotta get more wool. 
Man, I lost all my... Wait, did I take my iron? Please tell me I didn't take my iron out of my furnace. I think I did. Oh my god, did I take my iron out of my furnace? <gasps> no, I didn't! Let's go! Okay. It's fine. I have at least... I lost like half of my iron, but at least I didn't lose all of it. That's actually so big. Um, let's go. Sorry, I'm trying. I'm just trying to think. What are the priorities for me to do now that I have no food? So I need to go get food. I was about to make an atlas. I don't have any redstone. I, I lost the redstone. Maybe there's more in that tower over there. I don't know. I could go kill another chicken. I mean, I guess I don't need an atlas right now. As long as I don't, like, have to leave the village for any reason, I don't really need an atlas right now. Hmm. I'm still afraid to leave the village because I don't want to have to clear a dungeon right now. Alright, so let's just get some of this wool. And I know I could get the red wool, too. But the red wool gets to stay there. Like bloody ribs, I guess. I don't know what this actually looks like. kind of looks like the ribs of like a big ancient whale. If you think about it. Kind of. I don't know. Okay, so I need to go get some more food before I go down into the mines again. I came up here for wool because I needed bandages. That was the whole reason why I came back up to the surface was just for some wool. Okay, let's leave some more stuff in here that I'm not going to need right this absolute second. In terms of wool, I don't actually know. Oh, I have a worthless shovel. That's always fun to see. Let's leave that. I need more. Oh, man. I don't have any torches either. I have to make more torches. I lost all my... I lost all my coal. Okay. We cook, we cook, we cook. Easy! Not even worried about it. I already knew that everything was going to be fine. Because I know everything for sure. Alright. Um, let's just make some more coal so I can make a little bit more torches when I go back down there. Because I'm going to need some torches. Yeah, I got to make those crappy bandages back at the beginning, man. You don't see those bandages except for the beginning, though. They're kind of wholesome, man. Got to love it. So what's wrong with the grapes? Oh, no, no, no. The, no, the grapes are awesome. But I kind of want to save them for the end game. I don't. I don't want to have to waste my grapes. Although, I guess it's not like the end of the world if I eat some, right? I'm just like, you know, feels so weird munching on grapes. This is like an, this is an end game thing. I guess yeah, I'll munch on grapes and to make up for it, I'll just grab some more grapes over here. They grow so fast from this vineyard, anyways. Yeah, that was a good comment. I'll just eat the grapes. It's so funny how I how I like forget that the grapes are actually like a nice food source and source of water. But it's like because I just think of them as like a way to make alcoholic beverages in the game that make you just break a lot of the mechanics in our craft. Even though it's been nerfed, wine is still like really strong. By the way, it's definitely something that I'm gonna be doing in this playthrough. Definitely gonna do some wine stuff in this playthrough. I need to find a brewing barrel at, like, a uh, Dark Oak Oasis village. I think it's called a Friendly Outpost in the mod files. If I find a Friendly Outpost, we can get some barrels. I can't break the barrels without being 18 and building, actually. Oh, I lost so much cobblestone that I was going to use for XP. This is so sad. All that cobblestone I mined is gone, by the way. But... Actually, I don't know if all of it's gone. Maybe some of it isn't. Let's see. Oh, don't worry. I have six left over. That's good. I'm glad I didn't lose all of it. <laughs> um, in terms of bandages, we got that. The only thing I'm missing now that I needed wool for is we need to make... Uh, these nice I actually have this cobblestone's actually gonna come in handy like immediately give me that hmm what is it good 
Clumsy. Let's go. That's what I was hoping it was going to be. Um, all right, let's go down into the mines again. We're going to keep on trugging away. I'm going to bring 64 grapes with me. I am going to bring... Um, let's cook one of uh, two of these really quickly, and then the rest I'll turn into uh, coal so that I can make torches. Yeah. Let's see, the hardest part of the Scar Scarlet Darger is the Black Heart. Well, I feel like those those weird mobs are actually pretty common in the um, in the biome. Yeah, I guess that is kind of the only hard part, I guess, because. Like, if you look at the recipe, like, this is just diamonds. Umbrian is so easy to get. Yeah, I guess the black heart is the only hard part, now that I think about it. You're, you're absolutely right. Those mobs, at least, are pretty common in the biome. Especially if you're, like, down mining. I feel like they're just in the caves everywhere. But on the surface at night, they're, they're out there, too. This is a great, great little weapon, by the way. Even though it got nerfed, it's still a great weapon. Absolutely great weapon. Right. Oh, that's right. I don't have a water source anymore. I don't have a water bucket either. Oh, man. I really lost everything. This hurts my soul. Um, there's got to be a water source higher up. I don't want to go down there. It's cringe. Rage quit? I'm not rage quitting. I've never raged quit before. Just don't watch any of my previous hardcore uh, speedrun streams. Don't skip to the end of those streams and watch me rage quit. Because I never rage quit. I never rage quit. Alright, well let's try to get a lot of XP. Or at least spend some of my XP. I want to get 4 in magic for mining lapis lazuli. I'm going to want to get 8 in attack eventually, but I also want to get 16 in defense eventually. I'm also going to need building to 8. I'm going to need I'm, I'm going to need to level up everything eventually, but let's start leveling up attack to 8 so I can at least get an iron halberd because this one's pretty bad. Yeah. I rage quit last stream. I actually did rage quit last stream, I think. The one like 10 months ago or so. Yeah. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Alright, let's see. Um, But I never rage quit, so that last stream didn't happen. Um, Yeah, so let, let's turn all this iron... Yeah, let, let, let's just turn all of this iron into XP right now. All of it. Every single bit of it is turning into XP right now. I need another... Oh, I lost my paper so I have to make some more. Dude, he's gonna try to come into my house. Actually, I should probably sleep and make it daytime. So that all the villagers in this village don't die. Okay. Just leave those in there. I think I need to go kill those horses for some leather. I really didn't want to have to do it, but I'm so low on leather, on like everything. Yeah, after we cook this stuff, we'll, we'll go out there. Is there a certain order that you should level up your skills? That is a good question. Um, I would always recommend the priority being defense, magic, and attack. Mining is pretty good if you want to go mining as well. And then after that, you should level up building. Um, Though, though, though those are my priorities. Defense is always first for me, at least. I always level up defense first. Um, just because 
literally the difference that this makes is pretty crazy. If you're if you're naked with no armor on, you get one shot by just about everything. But with this armor on, you'll get two to three shot by some things, which is very important to keep in mind. This might sound weird, but your voice is so relaxing to listen to. No, 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 that doesn't sound weird. I, I really appreciate that. I'm glad my voice is not raspy. Um, I think it can make a little bit of a difference when someone's voice is a little annoying. But then again, I have a friend and their uh, their voice is really, really high pitched and annoying, but I think it kind of gives their, their content some character. I don't know. I think agility and farming too will be the first since they let you use a bow. I mean, a, if you have a, access to a bow, definitely agility so you can use the bow first. Like that's really, really useful. Um, so we're gonna turn all this back into more of this and we're gonna make more chest plates with the leftover iron Wait, that was a masterful chest plate should I should I wear that yeah that's actually better I melt that down for some iron I don't know oh what to mine all mine it anyway today is a day to go mining trying to go mining but it's like and then I guess I'll just save the rest of this iron even though I did say I was gonna use all of it look what level we are we're level 16 Surely we won't have to lose our inventory again, right? So I can just keep everything in our inventory. All of our bad all of our bad luck has already passed, so I can just keep everything in my inventory, right? Surely. 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 Alright. What are what are you doing with the chainmail armor and furnaces? Oh, I'm getting XP. We're getting XP. Now we're level 16, and we got a we got a we got a s level eight in attack. Boom. Okay. Um. Yeah. So we're we're doing that little iron smelting method where you turn our iron into gold, and the gold being XP. Iron is so incredibly good for XP source. You must do it. Very important. Okay. Where's my? Uh... Okay. There they are. Let's leave this matchbox. I don't think we're gonna need more torches, right? Surely not. I mean, we might. Hmm. Okay, where's my thing? Do I want a halberd or do I want a saber? What do you guys think? Um, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll wait for you guys to respond. You guys want me to get a saber or a halberd? I feel like halberds are kind of, kind of cool. I could even make a pike, but halberds are very cool. Sabers are definitely better, but... Okay, let's see. Saber, saber. We have two people want saber, two people want halberd, three people who want halberd, three people who want that. Boomerang, four people want five, six, halberd. Okay, okay. It looks like it's like eight to five. It was pretty close. So what? we'll use a halberd. Sabers are definitely safer but halberds are something that I like never use, so they're kind of cool. But let's compare it to a pike to see if I want to make a pike. But but halberds are definitely more like Giga Shed. So pikes are eight. You have reach two, eight attack damage. But then the halberd brid has um, ten point five. It has reach one and shield breach. It has two-handed two on it. Reach one, shield breach 1.2. The pike has faster attack speed. It's 1.4 attack speed. And it has reach two. Warhammers are really cool too. I think I'm actually going to keep a pike because I have like... Yeah. I think I'm actually going to make a pike. Pikes are pretty cool. Um, 
And I, like, almost never use pikes. Ooh, it's a vicious pike that has no reach distance. Well, that sucks. Whatever. The whole point of a pike is that it has reach 2. It's the only weapon in the game that has reach 2 that lets it hit one block further than the other ones. That's Or half a block further than the other ones. And that's, like, cool. And now it loses that half a block. So this basically has the same reach as a halberd. Oh, well. It is what it is. Okay, let's go into the mines. Let's make sure my, my quick bar is set up. We got torches, we got water bucket, we got everything that we need. Now let's go get killed in the mines. Mining away. Actually, will I die of thirst down here? The grapes won't keep me very, very full of thirst. Pony. God, he gives like one leather. That's not good. We need six. Hmm. Time to brainstorm, time to brainstorm. That was strange and random. I guess my village is not really the safest village, huh? Yeah, this village's format is all wonky. I want to meet the architect who designed this village because I have a, nas a nasty worded letter to send to him. You're free and you're gonna just go get killed immediately, aren't you, Mr. Depth Strider Villager? That even is your real name. See if these have anything good in them. Power one, sharpness one. Yeah, I can put sharpness one on a weapon, why not? I can see why you were locked in. Your house sucks. I can see why you were angry about being locked in, at least. But you know. Goodbye. <laughs> that guy just got rolled. He was so close to being free. He shouldn't have gone back into his house. That was his fault. Or why is this weird villager looking at me like I committed some crime? All I did was lock this guy into his house forever. Don't haunt me. Haunt you. Five string is great. Five string is pretty great. I'm surprised that that's all he owns, though. Kind of wish he had like six string. Then he would be rolling in the dough. But five string's not enough. What are you gonna do with five string? You can't even make anything with five string. Bro, look at those chickens up there. Let me up. Let me up. Hello, chicken. Boom! Thanks for the fall for the subscribe, Sambitsuhu. Alright, so what we need to do now... I'm trying to think if there's any way to fully make an atlas right now. I feel like there isn't. Because I need um, a redstone. And I just do not have a redstone. Hmm. And I don't have enough leather for a canteen, and I don't have access to sand. Oh, man. I'm beer back. I gotta take another pee.
Dude, that was like the weirdest piss I've ever had because like as I was peeing, I was also drinking water at the same time and it almost felt like I was peeing out immediately the water that I was drinking. Obviously I wasn't, but that was that was crazy. Ace, you turn on donations, you owe me wing money. Ryan, you do not have to pay me money for the wings that we ate. But the donations are on already. So you could just send it through. But you don't have to give me money for the wings, Ryan. It's alright. That was fun, though. Like, if you guys don't know, wings are, like, one of my favorite foods. I feel like I eat them, like, kind of too much. But it's okay, because they're, like, the best, the best ever. All the vegetarians are cringing right now. But that's fine. You subbed? Wait, do I need to spin? Uh-oh. Okay. Let's... I just emptied out a lot of my inventory too, so I'm probably going to lose something important that I don't want to lose right now. It's all I eat? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. No, I'm not. I do not want to lose my inventory again. Guys, this is... What is this luck, dude? Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. I have nothing. I have nothing. <laughs> and will always have nothing. I will always have nothing. I don't... I... I. You know, man, I'm not even surprised. I was... It took me like a full day just to get ready to go mining again. L plus Rosa plus ratio. Guys, this, this, you can't even make this stuff up, man. This is the second time I lost my inventory. People are gonna think I'm a noob. It's like, Kaz, you've been live for like, for like a long time. Why are you still in this armor? You need food. I ate food. You did? Yeah, I, I had breakfast. Thank you, though. Hey, my, my mom just walked, dude, my mom is so precious. She just walked into here, right? And she had two bowls of fruit. Oh, my mom is so awesome. She did not have to do that. I, I ate breakfast, though. I had a really big breakfast. I had two bananas, a breakfast bar, vitamin gummies. But I guess that's not that big of a breakfast. Two bananas is big, though. Yeah. I'm good, I'm good. I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Let me, uh, take this iron up. Oh! I'm lost! It's dark and I'm scared! <laughs> okay, I'm fine. Oh! I just mined the stair because I'm dumb. But one of... Yeah. You left for 40 mins and where did my stuff go? Um, <laughs> I rolled lose inventory twice. <laughs> so all my inventory here was here and all my stuff is over there So yeah, I just don't have an inventory and I'm never gonna have an inventory because I'm the unluckiest man alive There's 31 options on the on the Oh, sorry. I'm I'm frustrated. It's okay. I'm not frustrated. I'm not I know anger This is where we take deep breaths. We breathe in and we breathe out. I know I just had a nice Oh, I want to pick up that stuff so bad well, I guess we're going to use our really crappy old stone halberd again. We have a singular torch. And we have a regular torch. We have some grapes. I'm going to cook this horse meat. Uh, yeah, do I have... I don't have any coal anymore. All my coal is gone. <laughs> oh, I love World Warcraft. Why did I stop reading? I'm reading, I think. Did I read Carl Weezer? I'm reading. Um, have pick it off your torch, uh, so it's not in your inventory. Have pick in off... Wait, I don't know what that, what that is. Take the matchbox from the chest. Oh yeah, that's not a bad idea, that's good. Thank you. They don't stack though. Um, let's see, what else can I bring? I mean, I guess I'll just keep these grapes. I have a single cooked maca meat. That's not bad. Oh, actually, I have some iron nuggets right here. That's actually really big. Yeah, that, yeah. wait, that, that's big. I can make another pike. Let, let me do that really quick. I need to go get some more wool, though. Yeah, see, we're fine, right, Copium? We're fine. My poor little brain is, like, 
having to reset so many times. I'm like planning ahead to do cool things and it's like, well now you have nothing. Make a spare a stone pickaxe in the chest? It's probably not a bad idea. Nah, surely I'm not gonna- no, 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 look. Chat, you gotta understand. Surely I'm not gonna lose my inventory a third time, right? Surely not. Surely I'm not gonna lose my inventory a third time. That, that would just be- that, that would be wacky. That would be too crazy. There's no way I'm that unlucky. I'm going all in. I'm keeping all the important things in my inventory that I need because I'm not gonna lose my inventory a third time. Surely not. Surely clueless. Not surely not. Wanna bet? Dude, dude, you would lose that bet. There's 31 options on the wheel. The fact that I lost my inventory twice is outrageous. There's no way it's happening again. Unless the wheel is literally cheating. Unless the- oh, watch this. Two minutes later, I lost my inventory again. And the last shred of sanity I had left. Oh, look, it's all disappearing. Lovely. Look at that big stack of iron. I don't actually know how much iron's in there. I, I, I don't think there was that much iron. I'm fortunate that I did not, that I already used up all the iron. Anyways, so we need to make another pole of uh, the, the, this stuff. Wait, actually, just turn this all into wool. Um, we need sticks, which I do have. I do not have that many sticks. This is all I have left. I have a lot of wood, though, still, that I can um, do. All right, so let's make a pike. Broken. I love broken pikes. Vicious. Okay. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Reset, reset, reset. Long! A long pike! This thing hits from from miles away. Look look at this. Look at this. Look how far away that is. Look look at that. That's if there was a zombie standing there, he would get he would get hit from here. That's crazy. That's crazy. Can't wait to lose that in like a minute. <laughs> Broken is very good reforge. Wow. Yeah, I know. I don't know how I get so lucky sometimes. Like, I'm just, like, built of luck. All right. I do really want to go mining. I'm not sure if I'm ready for it. I mean, I know I'm not. And I lost... I lost my leather for the third time in a row. So I don't have a canteen. But what I do do is... What I do have is determination and fire to... And the will to succeed. So we're going to go down into this mine with... Uh, I don't have any cobblestone, so I can't make a shovel. Okay, that's fine. We go. I think. Can I drink grapes? No, I can't. I'm done. That's unfortunate. Maybe I shouldn't go down. Uh, but if I explore, I might find a dungeon. I need to get a water source. A clean water source. Hmm. That is tricky. A clean water source right now. I don't have access to that. I don't even have a water bucket, so I can't even bring water down into the mine with me. I feel like I have no choice but to explore. Okay. Yeah, I'll walk around the village a little bit more and hope that I can find something useful. Um... Because I know that I have not fully looted this village. There is a potential... Oh yeah, I, I know one thing I can do in the meantime. I can get, um... Oh yeah, what I could do is I could just go get some more iron when mining. And then I can make a, uh... I can just make a water bucket with that. Or I can just go... Ooh, a compass. Wait, that's actually kind of big. If I have a compass, that means I can make an atlas. Big. 
Five string, man. Notorious. Wait, what did you say? You spoke English. That's not real. That guy's not real. Take this bookshelf. That's how I feel about you speaking English. Um, let's see. There's some stuff over there. Let's go over there. Make grape juice. Oh, yeah. I forgot. You can do that, can't you? It's not a bad idea. I would need to make a crushing tub, though, yeah? Yeah, I need to make a crushing tub. I can do that. I, I don't mind making a crushing tub. No, but I can't make bottles because I don't have sand. A saddle. A sadly. Don't harm me. These villagers think they're so cool. Just because they won't be friends with me. The villagers are bullying me. Okay, um... So I'm just trying to basically, uh, like... Salvage as much resources as I kind of can right now. Out of this village. Because I have nothing, you know, I lost it. I lost it all. Gold! That's actually so big. You know what I can do with that? I can actually do cool things with that. Gold is like such an incredible resource. Yeah, let's sleep and make it daytime. Um, librarians trade glass. Oh wait, that's true. Oh, wait. Look what I have. Shoosh. That is so nice. I love, love atlases. I would say atlases are your best friend in the early game. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go down. Well, somebody should ask the uh, watch the 2.9 guide. Yeah, sorry that I'm missing a lot of the questions. I'm only scanning at the chat. I'm trying to focus more on trying to get some progression in right now. Because I kind of hit a wall since I lost everything. Um. Okay, okay, okay. So we're going to make a crafting table right here. Um, and what we're going to make at this crafting table, my little brain was cooking something, but then I stopped. Oh yeah, that's right. I remember. I'm going to make some of these just in case I get, um, parasites because I feel like that's bound to happen considering my luck is pretty bad right now. Oh, <gasps> no parasites. Sheesh. That's really good. Also, do you guys know if I'm three out of three on, um, oh yeah, you use the resource pack. Wait, that's a good idea. Oh. <laughs> That's a good idea. See, coffee knows the, the important things. You guys think beating the final bosses is important. You guys think being able to survive in the Lost City is important. No. What is important in RLCraft is the Leviosa pack. Oh, how do I show the HP parts of the body? Yeah, I, I don't mind showing that again. I showed it earlier in the stream, but that was a while ago. Um, so you go... Right, so so you go here, you go to Mod Options, you type in First Aid. Click that. Oops, don't, don't press Done. First Aid. Go to Config down here at the bottom left. Then you see this overlay right here. You have the Display Modes. You can choose a lot of different Display Modes, Numbers, if you just want the Numbers, right? And then when you click the display mode, change this to negative one. It's normally at 100. And now it shows the numbers in the bottom left corner. But since I don't really like the numbers as much, I'm going to go back to first aid really, really quickly. Config, overlay, go to hearts. And now we have the hearts in the bottom left. And more importantly, what's more importantly about that is that 
I changed the Leviosa pack on, so now they sound like, oh, oh, sorry, I just, oh. I like how they uh, make the funny haha -ha noise from the funny, um, funny haha -ha video. Will I ever do RLCraft 2.9 hardcore config playthrough? Um, probably not live, no. Maybe, though. Like, I don't want to say that I'm not going to do something and I might do it. Um, because I am enjoying streaming right now, like, um, uh, but I, I do want to try to complete this playthrough. Like, I want this world to be really nice and com and complete. Right now, I, it's kind of hard to get some progression in when I lose the inventory, but... I will do uh, librarian trading to try to get all the enchantments in the game and things like that because I want to try to get a maxed out world. Um, but yeah, at, even just as you guys have already been able to see just throughout this little bit of stream, like the things that I've been doing, like you can level up your stats fairly simply by just being passive, you know, like just being in here. Uh, th thanks for the subscribe, James McLean. Like, literally just very passively, you can just go around, get these books, trade it with librarian villagers, you can cook the iron, you can uh, make the levers, which is something that I do want to do, but I need to go mining to get the iron and the stone first. And I need diamonds, and I'm still afraid to explore out in the overworld because I'm going to find a dungeon, and then I'm going to have to clear it, but I'm not going to successfully clear it because I'm not equipped for it. Yeah. <laughs> uh-oh, uh-oh. But yeah, so I'm getting these books, if you guys don't know, because I want to trade with a librarian so that I can get some XP. I'm going to place this down. Oh, I don't have cobblestone. I guess I can use an axe, like a wooden axe. It just kind of feels sacrilege to do that. Wait, there's cobblestone in the walls. There's cobblestone in the walls. My brain is so inefficient on stream. It's funny. Potential god to your villagers? There's more than one reason. Dude, there's so many reasons to, uh, to be in a village early on. Oh, when am I going to go mining? I want to go mining ASAP, but the problem is I don't really have a water source right now. So after I get these books, I'm planning on going mining, but I need to try to get like a water source, which I do not have right now because I don't have leather. And I do not have access to sand, which is unfortunate. Oh, leather. Wait, wait, wait. This is so massive. Please give me leather. Okay, let's go around looking for a little bit more leather. And pray that we do not locate a, a dungeon. Because if we locate a dungeon, I have to clear it because I rolled that card earlier in the stream. And I do have an atlas at least so I can find my way back to the village if I'm in the area. I just need to find some simple stuff. All I need is a little bit of leather. There's a cold biome over there. That is not good. All right. What am I going to mine for? I'm mining for stone and iron. Because that's just ways to get XP. Stone, iron, and diamonds. Because diamonds will be great for um, a lot of stuff. 
I need iron though, mainly for the diamonds. Just get a little bit more cobblestone. Let's eat the horse meat. But yeah, because if you don't know, the iron smelting method is really good for XP. Cobblestone making levers is great for XP. Whoa, dragon over here. Running away. But in order to go mining, I need to kind of have a water source. hoping there would be like some more cows just frolicking about doing cow things yeah I literally have no water source well look at that over there it's a pretty neat little place to be I definitely don't want to go over there though cool little place though Yeah, no, I don't want to go say hi to a Medusa right now. Neat little place. I remember when Medusa, when Gorgon heads actually used to be good, too. I'm so disappointed that they're not good anymore. Ooh, a pony. Wow, you did not give me any leather. I'm going to have to go risk it with parasites soon. Horse on that tree. It's not even worth it. There's no way that he's gonna give me like three. We got the gobble gobbles. Where is this boy? Oh, he's on this tree. Don't gobble at me, you little, little little things. You know what? Yeah. Wait, he gave me multiple leather? Five leather! Oh my god, I need one more leather. I just need one more leather, boys. I'm just so afraid that I'm gonna see a little dungeon. It's fine, I shouldn't be a baby. I'm not afraid of anything. I've never been afraid of anything before in my life. I just find like another horse, a little cow or something, and go from there. Ooh, okay, okay, we good. At least I think we're good. None of those guys dropped any leather yet. Let's go. Okay, we're good. Let's go back to the village. All right, we're good. Now we have a canteen. <clears throat> now we can go mining. Because I want to go for an extended time. How'd I get dark so heckin' fast? I have two crafting tables. Let's go. Double the crafting speed. It's not what I wanted to do at all, actually. Pike? Yes, sir. We're using an iron pike. And I definitely did not lose two wool just now. I am the most uh, resource-efficient man you've ever seen. And I definitely do not have extra crafting tables that I don't need. my GPU 
Um, I think you can see it on the screen, right? You know what's funny? I've had this computer for a while, but I still don't like have all of its specs memorized. I'm not big on that kind of stuff. I just made sure that I got a Black Friday sale on a good gaming PC that could do everything that I needed it to do. Didn't even make it from scratch either. Did that before with the help of uh, guides. And the PC just felt like a pre-built was cheaper. Especially since I made this PC back when like graphics cards spiked up in worth because of Bitcoin going crazy so everybody wanted to like mine Bitcoin. So like the cost of graphics cards just went through the, the roof. Like this PC, like all the components, if I wanted to buy the components one by one was like gonna be two, like over two grand, but I ended up getting the computer for like 1100 just as a pre-built. Sometimes it's better to do pre-built. People try to tell you otherwise, but pre-built is definitely cheaper. At least the last time I checked. Um, because of how expensive some of the components are. Unnecessarily expensive, mind you. It's a shame how expensive some of it is. Because making PCs used to be like, you know, a bonding experience with you and your PC it was when you made it, you know? Um, what do I do with the first diamonds? I'm gonna just, uh, probably make armor with it, to be completely honest. Um, just to be completely honest. I'm trying to think what would be the best use for the gold right now. You know, a redstone charge. I'm probably gonna use it for a backpack. But I know you can also use it for a bubble. Yeah, you can make belt pouches, potion rings, gold buttons. Yeah, golden fish charger. And old rings. Cool. This is important, but I don't have the leather to waste on making a backpack, unfortunately. Because I need to make a, uh, a canteen. And with the iron that I don't have, I need to go get some more iron. Iron. I know there's a little bit of iron outside, but I think I'm just gonna go mining. Yeah, do I have charcoal filters? I think I have to make some more, yeah? Yeah, I lost more paper. Just take all that paper. Save it for later. Wait, I can, um... Charcoal, charcoal, charcoal. I need to make more. I'm finally getting more to a, sustain a uh, sustainable spot before I lost my inventory again. Am I mining for XP? Um, XP and diamonds, yeah. That's all I'm doing. Because I want to I wanna just try to get some, some XP for diamond armor. Because if I get like base diamond armor, I will probably feel safe enough to tackle a dungeon. So then I can go out and explore again. Because... The only reason why I'm like I'm focusing so much on mining is because I can't explore because if I see a dungeon I have to clear it. So it's like we're we're adapting to our situations, you know. Cause I, I can't go explore because if I see a dungeon I have to clear it because you know. Remember we 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 did this card. We we, we rolled the the um the dungeon dive card over here. <laughs> So the soon the next dungeon I see I have no choice but to clear. There's an open backpack keybind. Yes, there is actually an open backpack keybind. So when you're playing multiplayer, you can um, loot your little friend's backpack. It's really really cool actually. Oh, don't want to do that. Imagine while mining you run into a dungeon. Yeah, I'm kind of worried about that. <laughs> a little worried about that. But hopefully not. Yeah, like that, that, that that's something that I would be worried about. Yeah, yeah, no, don't don't worry, Puff. I, I know it is a glitch. That that's a weird um YouTube thing. I don't know why that happens. Yeah, it's a common glitch. How can you add more to the wheel? Oh 
I mean, we haven't we haven't spun in a while. I'll give you guys a free spin. I'll give you guys a free spin because we haven't spun in a while. I I don't know why I'm so chaotic with it, but I like spinning the wheel. Okay, good. Whew. Just the normal one. It's all good. It's all good. Why not? Okay, nine. What is that? It's just because we hadn't rolled it for a while, so I thought, why not? Nine is... Hmm. Huh. Well, uh, that's the fourth time this run I've lost leather. But at least it was only two leather, right? Copium. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> that's the fourth time this run I've lost my, my, my leather. <laughs> that's so sad, actually. That's so sad. See, even the even the villagers are like, oh, oh. Anyways, I know, I know. That's that's simply ridiculous. It's okay. I'm not mad. It's only two. It's only two copium. It's only two leather. All right. So let's turn these into that. Let's take, uh, I can make another one, yeah? Three, and one, two, three. Another matchbox. Okay, we got that. Raw beef, I think I can just cook this for, um, I don't really have a lot of... I hate wasting all this wood. Yeah, I don't want to waste all that wood. Give me four more coal. Got one... Two, yeah, okay, whatever. Mm -hmm. Please mine already. I know I want to mine. Trust me, dude. But I need to, uh, you know, be a gamer. I really want to go mining. But I'm just going to make sure that I'm completely ready for it. And I'm almost completely ready for it. The only thing that I need to do is get four of these charcoals, put them in, put this meat cooking. And then... I think that's everything, yeah. And then I'm ready. Oh... You still owe me that 1v1 in Hypixel duels? I don't know if I want to do high pixel duels right now. That could be fun sometime though. I used to play a lot of high pixel. The main game mode that I liked was Zombie Survivors and Vampire Survivor. Those were my favorite ones for sure. Yeah. Um, anyways, we're going to cook these four. And then we're going to put that in there. We have three regular torches, 32 non-regular torches. We have 12 of this. We have charcoal that is being made. Let's just take like, yeah, I guess I have a single one of these that I'm just gonna turn into a quick little charcoal filters. Here, leave this. Steak, that, I'm gonna leave that. And we're gonna leave that, that on the quick bar. We've got this, we've got that. Okay, I've got everything. Oh, only thing I need to make now is a shovel. That's right, I don't wanna forget about that. Let's go fill up our water. Then let's go mining. Should we mine through the night? Or are we worried about our villagers dying? Our villagers are stinky, right? Surely villagers are stinky. There's also a zombies mode on high pixel. Yeah. I like the regular zombie the zombies mode. It is really good. Where you survive upgrade weapons and prevent zombies from entering the map through windows. Yeah, Andromeda. I, I I'm pretty sure that that's the one that I'm thinking about. I, I remember the zombies just kind of spawn all over the place as well. Maybe I'm thinking of a different zombie mode in a, on high pixel. But it was definitely on high pixel. Anyways, let's go down into the mine. Just gotta double check. Water canteen. Check. Food. Check. Head. Check. Crafting table. Check. Sticks. Check. Cobblestone. Check. 
Let's go. Okay. I can let the villagers die. What have they ever done for me? Oh. Alright. Yeah, you played that one one day? Dude, it was fun, man. There's also Blocking Dead. The Blocking Dead on the Hypixel with a custom resource pack. I remember there being just a lot of really fun ones on Hypixel. Hypixel is just really fun, I don't know. It's it's probably one of the things on vanilla that I actually enjoy doing. I can mine this, but I need an iron pickaxe. That's right, that's one thing I forgot to do. I need an iron pickaxe for that. I'm not gonna mine. Should I mine coal? No. I don't need coal. No, we did not get very far, huh? Oh yeah, because I, I got damaged by a Geonaut and then I was a baby and I wanted to go heal, so I needed wool. That's right. Yeah, I have tried Hypixel Skyblock. I was pretty good at it back in the day. I feel like everybody was kind of good at Skyblock. Because honestly, I felt like a lot of like... A lot of like kids play that mode so like if you are a grown intelligent human being you can usually do pretty good in that mode until you encounter another grown human being in their PewDiePie gaming chair sitting across the way and then they just dive forever forward and break your little bed while your four-year-old teammates don't know what to do sorry I liked Blitz a lot as well. Blitz was like super chill, but but I, what I will say, Blitz was really annoying that some people had better loadouts than me, because they they had been playing for a while and they unlocked all these fancy schmancy loadouts and all of a sudden they're starting with like an a a freaking cannon on their back, a bazooka in Spartan armor, and I have to start with leather armor. How come they get to start in netherite armor and I start in leather armor, huh? That's not fair. Blitz has become trash. You got your 13B profile wiped by giving someone a potato hoe? Yeah, don't give people a potato hoe. They don't like potato hoes there. Calvin versus casualty? Shush. Like aimbot Calvin from Overwatch? Dude, that guy's awesome. He's cool, man. I like his lifestyle choice and his mindset. He's cool. He's just a very chill, hippie guy. Yeah, I know, but I can't mine the heart crystals because I don't have an iron pickaxe. I can make an iron pickaxe, but I have to find iron first. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm going to do? I'm, I'm going to do that funny haha -ha thing. Watch this, guys. I'm going to do funny haha. -ha. I wonder if they still let you do it. They might not let you do it anymore because they think it's OP. We'll see. Probably they probably don't allow you to do this because Shavaxi doesn't like you having anything fun It's like ooh, is that fun? Oh, well you can't do that anymore because that's too fun <laughs> Yeah, no you can't do it anymore. That's unfortunate It is what it is. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah, you'll, you'll speak to Shavaxi. I could speak about it too, but he's like, no, you can't strip mine. That's too OP. Strip mining with only one block? No, that's too OP. Um, I guess keeping a torch in your offhand would be kind of cool, but then I wouldn't know how dark it is. You know. I'm surprised I have not found any iron yet. Let's go a little bit lower. I feel like I'm at Y11. But let's just like double check, fact check us. Let's make a second one, why not? I will just organize it, whatever. Uh, what should be an offhand?
We go deeper. I must have not been at Y11. No wonder I wasn't finding- Oh, maybe I was. So, if that's not the deepest point. The deepest point would be... I'd say that's like four, five, seven. Yeah, see, it's like I don't even know that I'm in complete darkness right here. And I need to light this up. Seven, eight. Nine. There's water nearby, apparently. Ten. Eleven. All right. Oh, yep, yeah, there's water, all right. Oh, no. Oh, no, I'm gonna die. Oh, my goodness, man. Oh, I wish I had a shield. If I had a shield, that would have been so easy. Oh, my God. I hate not being able to use a shield, chat. That's right. We'll just go back down there. We'll just go back down there and get our stuff back. Am I... Are you serious right now, bro? Imagine not having a shield. Yeah. Yeah, no shield allowed. Oh, that would have been so easy. Now I think I know why. I, yeah, now I think I, I, I remember why I always use a shield. You literally can, especially in RLCraft 2.9 with a timed block feature, you just send that thing like back and you stun it with a timed block and he can't do anything. Ugh, it's fine. It's fine, I'm not even mad. I'm just gonna get my stuff back, it's all good. Uh, this is the right side of the village? Dude, they're all Ron Weasley hawing on me. Oh. But yeah, see, it's a lot more fun now. Now I gotta get the stuff back. Get out of my house! Okay, I'm going in there. Are you guys ready? The epic bushland adventure, Morty. Um, I don't need anything else, right? Actually, I actually I have an idea. We're gonna take a little bit of blocks oh. with us. Just a little bit of blocks. Oh. Just a little bit of blocks. How many years? Um, how you mean? How old am I? How many years into this thing we called life am I? I am 25. Ronald Weasley. You can get one more heart. True. I'm gonna miss that. The extra undying quality of the Ankh shield is gonna be crazy. Can you believe it? Exactly. Me, dead soul floated right into my body. Can you believe it? I'm so proud of you, Ryan. Let's go, Asu. Let's go, let's go kill this thing. Where are you, where are you at? Where's this thing at? He thinks he's so funny. He doesn't even want to fight me. He's a baby. He just kills me and runs away. What a baby. He couldn't handle the heat. Let's drop these. You think I should do a... I think I'm going to roll for that. I, I, I deserve to do a roll because I died to a thing. Even though... I, I, I don't know if there's much I could do about that. Because I think the Grooves can go through walls. I missed the part where that's my problem. <laughs> Yeah, I think I deserve a roll for that, yeah. Alright, five. Let's see what I lose. I definitely deserve a roll. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, let, let's roll again. That That's just losing that pickaxe. Nah, that doesn't count. I don't have a problem. I'm not enjoying this wheel, actually. <laughs> I'm not... I don't enjoy gambling. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. 
Okay, 24. So grooves can't go through walls? Maybe not. Okay, 24. Nice. I'll take it, I'll take it. So we do 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Hmm. That's kind of a big deal. <laughs> okay, let me go grab some some meat really quickly out of my chest. I did that to myself. I, I definitely deserve to lose something. I mean, I died, so. I lost my 21 steak. That sucks. I'll go... Actually, I think I have 21 steak again in my furnace, right? I'll just go grab that next steak. Yeah, it's good. They can go through walls. What do you mean? I feel like they can go through walls. Grooves were changed. If you guys didn't know, Grooves were, like, heavily buffed. Banshees can go through walls. And I am not sure if Grooves can go through walls. I know that they can go completely invisible, though. The Groo might still be down there, by the way. I might just not be able to see it. He could just be a little bit down those stairs. I know that they got buffed and, go and can go invisible. I just don't know if they can go through walls. I know Reapers can go through walls. Banshees can go through walls. I don't think specters can go through walls. It would make sense if they could, though. Alright. Um, anyways. Let's just put this stuff back on my quick bar. Let's put this back in there. We've got the shovel. We got this. Atlas. Torches. Let's leave that. Alright, let's go back down. Yeah, specters can't go through walls, right? Yeah. It would make sense if they could, but it's a shame that they can't. Like, specter is literally like a word for, like, spirit. It's like a ghost. But then it's like, nah, he can't go through walls. Hi, Nam. Thanks for the subscribe. Hopefully we don't have to pull very soon, because it seems that the game likes taking good things from me. You've convinced me to start your own world? Hey, I'm glad, man. Start your world. Go have some fun with it, man. The early game is fun. I feel like once I get, like, super maxed out in the end game, it's like the overworld doesn't even become, like, a challenge anymore. Now it's like, if I'm dumb, I can die. Isn't that fun? In this stream, if I die, I die in real life. I've strapped a pipe bomb under my desk, and if my hearts hit zero, it detonates instantly. The pipe bomb is strong enough to down 14 great white sharks. Isn't that fun? Let's get right into it. Sorry, I, I love I love that that joke. Oh my goodness. Isn't this how I died? I died because there's water over there and I'm dumb. All right, so this is 7 8 9 10 11. Yeah. Go this way. That's not a fact. I wish I knew. <laughs> no, don't worry. It's a joke. I, I don't. I won't actually do that. Spooky flow. Thanks for the subscribe. I appreciate that. Even though I'm gonna lose an inventory slot pretty soon. Let's see. Um, let's let's light this up so I don't get like eaten by the demons in my head. Or, in other words, probably like a Gru. Time for spin. Is it two out of three or three out of three? I'll do a spin, though. I'll do I'll do a spin right now. Say I won't. For two out of three instead of three out of three, say I won't. I'll do one. I don't have a problem with gambling. You have a problem with gambling. Dude, I feel like I set up that wheel because I just think it's fun. Yeah, like a hundred days on an Arlcraft server and kept dying and losing all your progress to things like dragons. Yeah, that sounds like a multiplayer experience. I feel like on multiplayer, like, our luck to dying is just, like, worse than normal. I don't know. Even though I did really good on the multiplayer server. Do you guys remember? I, like, I was, like, geared out the wazoo as a minotaur. And that was, like, my real gear that I just completely got in survival. And I was just a super goaded-ass gamer in that, in that maze. I'm, like... The only thing that, that we had was we had keep inventory on for that battle royale tournament because or else people would be would be sad. And I still think one person's complete set of dragon armor still broke 
But that was their fault for letting them get hit over and over and over again. That was a fun little PvP event. I handcrafted an entire dungeon, 200 blocks by 200 blocks, with the help of two people on the server. I gave them creative mode access for just building this with me. Gave them a bunch of bedrock, right? And we were in creative mode, and we just built this gigantic 200 block maze. And we just had this big fight inside this gigantic maze. It's really fun. But everybody was just little fairies. That was back when the fairy ring was OP. So for the second round, we weren't allowed to be fairies. Yeah, yeah, Laura, you did help with that. I appreciated that. Sheesh. Oh, there's a verdant salamander right through this wall. Uh-oh. That was a very, very fun time. Yeah, you stayed up way later. Dude, I remember you talking about that. That was hilarious. I was, like, so... I was so into building that maze. I don't know if you remember, Lauren, but I stayed up, I think, like, 10 hours straight building that maze. I had no business doing that, but I just wanted to put on a fun little event for you guys. Alright, I need, like, a new pickaxe. What the? That's not how you make a pickaxe. That's not right at all. I should make a second pickaxe while I have this out. Alright, let's go. This way. Ah, oh, it was nice when I used to have more free time. Oh! Okay. We'll go this way. Go to Y10 for a little bit. We'll go back up to Y11 eventually. Oh. Okay, let's let's get let's put this in our off hands. Surely there has to be some diamonds around here somewhere. Surely, right? And I forgot how peaceful mining is. What if I can kill him from here? Oh, take that. Oh, take that. It didn't work. <laughs> what pickaxe is that under the the broken heart bobble? Oh, what do you mean? Yeah, you lose your zone out while mining. Dude, I could like watch a podcast and mine for so long. You guys have no idea. I can literally just tune everything out and just mine. That's how like back when I used to play on the back on like old multiplayer servers with my friends. How I would always have like the most stuff is because I legit would just play so much but it's like it would be so easy for me to play a lot because I just zone out time would just fly by I used to level up by mining quartz in the nether you guys remember when people used to do that I used to level up by mining quartz in the nether ah good old days vanilla minecraft and now the nether is like weird it's like got jungles in the nether. Why am I not reading your message in the stream? If I die, nuclear missile gets launched to the near, to the nearby make a wish <laughs> shelter and child hospital. Not only that, if I die, as well, and everything in a 15 mile radius gets exploded. That's right, guys. In this stream, if I die, I have to set off the nuclear launch codes at the Pentagon using this nice hack tool that I bought off of Wish. Using it, I hire my good friend that is a professional hacker to hack into the Pentagon and nuke Oklahoma. Isn't that fun? Let's get right into it. I hope I don't die. Yeah, no, I, I think... <laughs> I think that, um... That those fun little, like, insane conditions for death is, like, fun. But I don't think we should 
we should release the nuclear launch codes just because I die in our L craft. But that is what's going to happen, so it is what it is. I wrote the rules, uh, you know. I didn't write the rules, I just wrote the rules, you know what I'm saying? I didn't make the rules, I just, I just wrote them. Now, where are my diamonds? That's the main question I'm looking for. Where are my diamonds? I feel like our Relcraft, may, maybe Shavaxi, wouldn't it be funny if Shavaxi just pulled a fast one and just like decreased all the chances of diamonds? Because I feel, I feel like diamonds do be kind of rare. You know the rules, and so do I. Uh-oh. Don't put on that song. Am I not on... What? I feel like I'm, like, below Y11. Okay, let's see. Dude, I wonder if Rick Astley plays our Rollcraft. I bet he does. He just doesn't want to admit it. I know Rick Astley plays our Rollcraft. Oh. Oh. Fine, we're turning this way. People in World of Warcraft would leak classified military documents to make the game more realistic. Dude. I actually saw a video about that. That there was like classified military documents that was talking something about. Oh, I wish I remembered more details. It was a really good video I watched. But yeah, there was like thinking that people were like leaking secrets in World of Warcraft chat rooms or something. And I think that people might have actually been doing it. That's what's funny. People used to like use these like chat rooms because they're like secure chat rooms. They're like, think about it. Think about it. These game chat rooms are not being monitored by the government. Like, when you are on your phone um, or on the internet, technically anyone at any time, if they really wanted to, could access your logs, your history, or anything like that, or tap into your phone call, right? Because, like, we're all connected, so people could do it if you want. But video game chat rooms are a little bit more encrypted to the point where yes okay people can access that but only the people who work for the company can access that and everybody knows that everybody works at blizzard is lazy they're not going to look up your chat logs the people at blizzard are not going to be keeping tabs of like this one gamer nerds chat room talking to his friends about you know minecraft right think about it it's more secure than just in a normal phone call to somebody being in a World of Warcraft chat room. It's funny. Um, anyways, let's go over here and make a nice little something. Yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a Farnasi. And then we're gonna put a single one of these in. A single one of those in. And I'm just gonna make a little uh, iron pickaxe so I can uh, iron away. World of Warcraft equals Silk Road 2.0. Oh my goodness. Silk Road. That's quite that's quite a throwback. Um, you like War Thunder or War World of Tanks? World of Tanks, I've seen some good ads for it. I think PewDiePie advertised it too. I've never tried it, but it looks kind of interesting. I will admit. Alright, let's make an iron pickaxe, which I can use. Let's go. It's kind of trash, but that's okay. Um, let's keep on mining away. Grab that. Because I... You know why I drop those those pickaxes when they're low? Is because I don't want to get, like, jump scared when the pickaxe breaks. Have you guys ever been mining at, like, I don't know, 3 a.m. or something? And, or maybe not that late. Don't do that. It's bad to be up that late, especially if you have, like, university in the morning. But, like, let's say you're mining at, like, midnight and you're really tired. And then all of a sudden, 
all, all of a sudden, your pickaxe breaks, and you feel like you're being attacked by a specter. It's like, ding! And you're, you're just like, your entire body stiffens up. That's that's happened to me many times. The, the pickaxe jump scare happens to me so many times. It's crazy. Yeah, exactly. See? Kitty Cat knows. They know. Um, your room smells like rotting corpses. Sheesh, get this man some Febreze. I hear a Gru. And not the good kind of Gru from that one movie with minions. We're talking about the bad kind of Gru. Like the blonde Gru. Wasn't he like Gru's brother or something? <laughs> yeah, even when I expect it, it, it like shakes my very core. I don't know how to explain it. So I, I like dropping those pickaxes. <laughs> yeah, the tool break. It is a full on flashbang. Alright. Can I break this? I think I can. Ooh. Sheesh. Okay. When I run out of torches, we go back up to the surfossi. Or as some people call it, the surface. Ugh. I say things correct. I feel like ever since people have been correcting my pronunciation, I've just slowly devolved into pronouncing everything as absolutely dumb as possible. I can't help it. Dude, yeah. Like the event sound effect? Like, um... You mean like for the random mob event? Yeah, my heart also drops when that happens. Especially if it's like the Hell's Fury. Man, it's sometimes crazy though to think that like, this world that I'm on right now, it's hard to imagine that this world eventually is going to be, like my character eventually is going to be powerful enough to slay God himself. It's crazy to think about that as I'm just down here chopping at this little cobblestone this is the beginning of creating a monster, an invincible tank. And I'm just down here chilling. If you're speed running, there's a lot more efficient things that you can do. But I don't want to find a dungeon because I'll blow up. Oh! Diamonds! 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 And before one of those, um... Well, what are they called? Diamonds. We have five diamonds. Surely it's not a five vein, right? Surely it's a six vein. No. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Trust. Uh, <laughs> that stupid sound. <laughs> okay. This sound's gonna make me re. Alright. Let's make some more pickaxes. Pixis. Pixarus. Short! You trying to say something? They're trying to call me short. I'll have you know I'm six foot two. Dude, it's crazy though. Even though I'm six foot two, I have this friend in school who's six foot nine and he always made me feel like I was short. <gasps> uh... This is so sad. I do have my ex. Dude, being tall is overrated, by the way. I just want you guys to know that. I said it. Being tall is overrated. I don't know what is this fascination with people wanting to be tall. I feel like if I was like four inches shorter at a crisp 5'10", I would be like an absolute giga chad. But the fact that I'm 6'2", it just feels like I got unnecessarily stretched out for like no reason. I wish I was like 5'11". That would be perfect. But the coolest guy I know is five foot six. And that's moist critical. 
And also, my uh, best friend's older brother's five foot six. And that guy's really cool. Being tall is overrated. Look down at your pants. I think they're referring to that. What the? What is that weird sound I'm hearing through the walls? Huh, I don't know. I don't even know if you can hear it, but it sounds like a it's probably just some demon, whatever. <laughs> Try reaching up to the top cabinet when you're five three. Ah, uh, you know, you just gotta, you just gotta jump. You just gotta jump like Michael Jordan. Or, you know what's actually really funny? My mom is five three, and we used to have really tall cabinets, so we had this like little step up. Uh, thing in the kitchen um, So that that she would use to reach the top shelves and this was when I was little when we were little We had this because of course I would help my mom reach the top cabinet. You know, I'm, I'm a gentleman What can I say guys? I wouldn't watch her struggle. I would help obviously But when I was a wee lad a wee little infant child at the nice crisp height of one foot three There's not very much I can do Dude, you're gonna be tall, Doom Slayer. You're gonna be tall. My friend was 6'9? Yeah, that's tall Paul. He played on the he played goalkeeper for our soccer team. Being tall is so bad. The world just isn't made for us. Exactly! I'd be hitting my head on stuff, and I'm just 6'2. I can imagine if you're like taller. The world was not crafted for us. It was not minecrafted for tall people. It was crafted for the nice, uh, like, you know, five foot eights of the world. Five foot eights are chillin'. And you know what's crazy? Now, this is a hot take. This is a hot take. Maybe it's because I'm 6'2 that I can say this. But I feel like everybody is pretty tall. Like, now, hear me out on this. I know this is such a weird thing to conceptualize, but when I'm around my friend who's five foot four, he doesn't seem short to me. He seems like a normal human being, right? Maybe it's because I'm 6'2 that I can say that, but also my friend, his sister is like 5'7, but I feel like she's as tall as me. Like she feels like a normal human height, right? When I when somebody's like 5'6, I sometimes think they're taller than me, even though I'm obviously taller than them, right? Like I'm 8 inches above them. But when I see them from afar, they seem like they're the same height as me. They seem like just a normal human being. And my friend's sister, she's 5'7. She seems like the same height as me. Sometimes she seems taller than me when I see her from far away. Right? I don't know. Maybe it's a six foot. Maybe it's a six foot two thing. I'm not making any sense. But that's how it seems. I don't know. I don't see height. I see like everybody seems the same to me. I don't even see height. But maybe that's because I'm tall. I don't know. Maybe if I was short, I would be like, oh my god, everyone's just the monsters. But I don't know. What about having large feet? Large feet is normal, I think. I mean, if somebody has large feet, it is what it is. I I wear a crisp ten and a half shoe, so I've always felt like I have you know above average size shoes. But when somebody has like, like uh, like when they have a solid like size eighteen shoe, I feel like I feel like that 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 is a little large. But I don't even know I don't even notice that like when I when I go to see basketball games live and the athletes have like you know size 24 I feel like they're just they're just large human beings big shoes it is what it is big shoes a hey, you guys know what they say about big shoes big feet and you know what they say about big feet big socks and you know what they say about big socks you might not be able to find the socks when you're shopping. You know what they say about people who can't find their things when they're shopping? Skill issue. Yep. Tall people have skill issue. You heard it here, folks. 13 double wide. Dude, that that's a normal size shoe, probably. I don't actually know. I don't, I don't think I've met anybody who has a 13 double wide. But I have met somebody who had a size 16 shoe. Tall Paul from school. He wore 16, the six foot nine guy. He's a large boy. If you're six foot nine, I will say that you are rather a large boy. 
You are a large boy. Well, isn't it nice mining without dying? Mining with zero deaths, which I always have. I think it's crazy how I haven't died once this stream, right, chat? Alright, I have a full inventory. I think it's about time we roll the wheel. What are you saying? I don't have a problem. You have a problem. I want to roll the wheel. Okay, 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 okay. Game and gambling time. Game and gambling time. Game and gambling time. Oh shucks. I wanted to lose my whole inventory again. Okay, four. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> Sorry, I, I don't know why I enjoy that so much. Number three. I just lose a stack of cobblestone. It is what it is. Unfortunate. Oh yeah, wait, let's keep on going. Do I recommend mining? Oh yeah, definitely. My mining is awesome in this game. In in our Rellcraft 2.9, mining is actually really good. I'll show you why. When we get up to the surface, you're going to see that I, you know, I'm level 8 right now, but we're going to, I mean, I did just lose a full stack of cobblestone, but that was my own fault. I deserved that, right? Because I, I wanted to roll. I wanted to gamba. Like, I don't know why I'm like, I don't know why I want to get, why I want to roll that wheel. Like, all it does is hurt me. But yeah, so the more cobblestone you have, the more levers you can make. And if you choose the crafting route, more levers equals more XP. And also, all the iron that you get equals XP as well. I really wish I had more um, diamonds, though. I really need more diamonds. Uh, levers, as in stone plus stick. Yes, stone plus stick. More, le more, more cobblestone equals more levers. You craft levers, you get XP. So it's a really good thing to go mining. Um... But then more importantly, the iron, when you smelt the iron, uh, first you turn the iron into nuggets, then you turn the nuggets into chain mail, then you turn the chain mail plate into chain chest plates, and then you cook the chain chest plates at a furnace, and that gives you nice little XP. Okay, we're on to our last torch. Last torch, last torch. Why do levers give XP? Because you have to craft them. And crafting gives XP. Yeah. But not everything gives XP. Shavaxi definitely doesn't want levers to get XP. So he's probably going to change it. So let's hurry up and take advantage of it while we can. <gasps> Shavaxi's going to patch it. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Um. But yeah, no. Um. Let's just grab all these rocks. Don't want to leave any rocks. Oh, I have full inventory. See, that's why. Okay. Don't want to lose any cobblestone. Shavax equals L. Yeah. Even though Shavax is the incredibly brilliant man who brought us Fortnite, he's L because he doesn't let us do broken things. And that's true, though. In complete honesty, man, why why doesn't he let us break the game, man? Come on. I remember back... I mean, th this was something that I actually wanted to get rid of, so I'm glad that they removed it. But remember when you used to be able to get um, a duplication glitch, right? So you brought out your little pet. You opened up its inventory. You put a bunch of diamond blocks in it or whatever. <laughs> and then you just... Let the and then you set the pet on fire with lava and let it die while you're looting its. In Wait, what was that? What? What are you doing here? Wait. If you spawned here, I can't see through the walls. If you spawned here, then what? How did that happen? Is there an underground village here? Yeah, he did that bug on an anarchy server and got banned. Yeah, I mean, you probably shouldn't. <laughs> you probably shouldn't do that bug. But yeah, so like you killed the, the thing and then it just duplicated your little boy's inventory. Anarchy is ridiculous, though. Because anarchy, you're supposed to be able to do literally anything. That's the whole point. Anarchy is there's no rules. 
So it is a little weird that they banned you for that. Did, did they, like, tell that you could do it? Yeah, yeah, exactly, copy, right? On Anarchy, you can do whatever you want. So it is kind of ridiculous. But... Did you, like, tell them that you did it or something? Like, why, why did they ban you? Because you could always just keep it hush-hush, a little secret, you know? You could just not tell them. People were flying with Arlcroft's hacks and you got banned for duping? Yeah, that's ridiculous. They did that, that flying glitch thing. Those poo-poo brains. You can't do that stuff anymore, though. Wait, did they literally bring in hacking programs? I feel like some people do that. Like, people were literally bringing in their, like, game shark. They're, they're bringing in their action replay. And then they get banned. But then they don't get banned for the action replay. But then you get banned for doing something that's in-game. You did keep... I did keep quiet, but server owner came to your base to reforge stuff. Oh, and then he saw that... Saw your chest full of shulker chests and nether stars. Ah. And he's like, how did you get this stuff? You could just tell him that you cleared a lot of wither dungeons. Just lie. Nah, lying is bad. Don't lie, guys. Don't, don't do that. Unless it's for a good cause. Alright, let's get this gold. Gold. Gold! That's actually really good, all this gold that I just got. Alright, we are cooking. We're chilling. Absolutely vibing. And now we're done mining. I mean, I need to kind of go back mining. If you guys are willing to let me keep mining, I mean, it's just exponential growth. growth. But watch this. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn all this iron into XP. Oh, I hear the ahs. Mining stream, let's go! All we do is mine. Who's in my house? Oh, oh, uh, uh, that's how you sound. Mining stream! No use iron to make gear? We already have our gear. We have our iron weapon, we're not allowed to make shields, and we have our iron armor. Except for this stuff is masterful and protective, so it's better than iron, so... So we don't need that. And we're gonna make diamond gear. We're, we're not gonna need this iron gear anymore. We're, we're going straight to diamond, baby. We're going far. We're going we're going places over here. Alright, let's uh, move this stuff over this chest. This is gonna be our, our next little chest. Let's do a little bit of reorganization. Let's put all the cobblestone in there. Let's move all the books over. This <laughs> sound effect pack is a resource path because it's too much. Let's put all the books in here. I'm not going to do a whole bunch of sorting because sorting is kind of cringe, but... We're going to put a lot of items. Misc items in here. Oh, I should have been, um, cooking things while I was sorting. Okay, we actually have some coal, which is kind of nice. Let's put two coal in here to cook this. Let's put one coal in here to cook this. Let's put another furnace on top of this one. And... I guess we'll go get a little bit more coal. Let's not be babies. Let, let's go, let's go be brave. Let's go be brave. Hot sauce, thanks for the subscribe, man. You finished our craft today. Thank you so much for the guide. Hey, dude, congrats on finishing the mod pack, dude. That's amazing, dude. Actually, quite the accomplishment. Wait, what's making that noise? It may or may not be the monsters inside your head, but it's probably the monsters inside of mine. Mining away. 
All right, where is this uh, coal? I'm looking for it. I'm looking for it. Fun fact, if you shear chicken, it'll give you a feather. No need to, to kill them. I forgot you could do that. Can't you also shear... Um, you can shear some interesting things. Yeah, there's actually quite a bit of things that you can shear. I want to shear cows for a leather. <laughs> it's not going to let you do that, but that would be funny. The cows wouldn't like it very much, though. Well, we don't care what they want. Get all that coal. Nice, 10 coal. That'll, that'll make, that'll last me at least for like the next five minutes or so. Remember when we used to have a lot of coal, but then we drew that lost inventory card? I remember that. Our all craft 2 win. Dude, I don't know guys, Overwatch 2 is not really working out, so I think we're going to have to bring out Overwatch 3. You see, in Overwatch 3, it's going to be Overwatch, but VR, guys, it's, and we're going to have this really cool VR mode where everybody gets to, like, actually, um, you know, hang out with the real Overwatch characters, and you can do whatever you want to Mercy and D.Va and Tracer, and it's just going to be the best experience ever, guys. Everybody's going to have so much fun in Overwatch. You get to go. You get to go bowling with Reinhardt. You get to go. You know, play hockey with Brigitta in our new VR Overwatch 3 experience. Three months later, hey guys, Overwatch team here. I hate to break it to you, but remember when we said that we were gonna do that thing? We're not doing that thing anymore. I'm sorry, guys, but I do want you to know that we have a new battle pass that's coming out, and you can get some cosmetics on that battle pass. Um, I'll see you guys in the next developer update. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Fun fact. Overwatch is not exist. I really like Overwatch too, so it was a shame that we're not getting the PvE. I even bought the early access pack, so I got the- I bought the PvE, guys. Like, I was one of those people who bought the early access pack that says, when the PvE comes out, you already bought it. So I already bought the PvE, guys. When it comes out, I have it. But it's not coming out. So they better give me back my money. I bought the PvE already, bro. This is so sad. Um, anyways. In next week's news. Pig gets speared by an angry, angry gamer. Now that, don't you guys want to hear about that? No more Overwatch, guys. Take that out of the news. Um, anyways, so I have all this coal. Let's make this a little bit faster. Make this a little bit faster. We have a singular more coal uh, here. I think I might have to put a second one. That's fine. Let's put the rest of this in here. We have gold. Let, let's, let's use our gold, actually. Wait, we don't have leather because I've thrown out my leather four times this stream. Okay, fun. In that case... I guess we'll make baubles? I mean, do I even have... Oh, I don't have lapis lazuli. Let's go make... Hey, let's go get the potion rings. Let, let, let's go make some potion rings really quick. I guess I could make a quiver. Yeah, since I can't even make a backpack, I might as well make a quiver. It's an empty canteen. It's fun. We're going to add some of the things we said we'd add, but slowly. And not enough to make them worth using. And remember when we, like, told you guys that we were going to, like, make this really awesome thing and that's the main focus of Overwatch 2? Yeah, so that was a lie. <laughs> I used to play Halo Infinite when it came out. I actually had a lot of fun with it. I had a lot of fun playing Halo Infinite. Not even gonna lie. I'm so glad that these things are why do I hear these these aguses? Do you guys hear that? Dude, I hate that Shabaxi took away F3 plus A. There's probably something really cool right around here. Oh. <laughs> Chupacabra.
Wasn't well, there more lapis around here somewhere? There's coal. How much lapis do I have? 18. I guess that's all I need, right? Yeah. It's raining, no! Actually, wait, that's good. Can't I drink the rain? Nora Ma, thanks for the subscribe. Alright, guys, that's three. I've been keeping track. You didn't think I was keeping track, huh? Okay. Please. Anything but lose inventory or dungeon dive, because I don't want to have to clear the next two dungeons, I see. Not lose quick bar. Let's go. Okay, easy. Six. What's that? What's that? What is numero seis? Oh. Okay. Well. <laughs> F me, I guess. So, uh, that thing about making those potion rings, by the way. Uh. News update. News update. Can't make them anymore. Oh, man. When you see Savaxi, can you tell him to make a resource pack where Aegis Sound and Metal Pipe falling so villagers would be chaos with the Leviosa pack? <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Oh, man. I needed that gold. This is so sad. It's so hard to progress. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. All that means is that I need to go mining more. More mining stream. I need more gold. Please check your Discord DMs when I can. After stream, I'll check them. Surely. Surely. Water, water, water. Alright, let's drink this. Oh, it was two out of three because I did that random roll? Oh. Well, it still counts. I don't get my gold anymore. Man, that really sucks, though. This is so sad. I can't even, like, get mad about that. I'm just sad. That was 14 gold. Do you guys have any idea how valuable that is? That's so valuable. I better put this stuff away before I lose it. Oh, I still have two gold! That's nice. Alright, anyways, let's turn all this iron into, like, XP, because I need XP. I need something positive out of this mining adventure so far. Um, let's make uh, another charcoal, some more charcoal filters, too. Are there other mod packs that are as good as RLCraft? Yeah, th there are some really good mod packs out there. None of them have as many downloads as RLCraft, though. Deforestation for six for levers, that is pretty important, but we have a lot of stuff already. Well, well, watch this. I think we actually have more sticks than cobblestone. Watch this. I could be wrong. Uh, all the sticks are in here, aren't they? I guess we don't have as many sticks as I thought, huh? We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, that's a lot. Alright guys, watch this. We're level 15. The goal is let's try to get our defense to like 16. I don't I don't think this is gonna be enough. Maybe with maybe with the help of the um iron. Level 20. Not bad. Okay. Levers. We leave those in there. Okay. Let's add that to there. Alright, now let's do the... Uh, now let's do the fun little... Wait, did I put my uh, coal up? I did, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, I... 
I'm dumb. Here's some more sticks. I kind of want to leave those. Uh, keep these sticks. I'm going to need them probably. I am pretty blind, though. Alright, let's go. So what we got to do is do this. I need some Cincinnati forges, bro. I need some Cincinnati forges. Cincinnati. XP, XP, XP. I need XP, XP, XP before I lose my iron. <laughs> go, 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 go. Locks in the offhand. Yeah, I, I have more XP that I can use, but I'm, I'm not going to do it just yet because I want to see how close I am with just the iron that I have on my hand. Okay, level 20 again. Okay, 14 in defense. Uh, it's not going to be enough to get 16 in defense, I think. So we're going to have to go mining some more. Isn't that fun? We're going to go have fun in the mines. And we're going to go get more coal. We'll just do these two furnaces. Press R in my inventory. R. This is the recipe. Oh. Oh, oh, he means to find the reasons for it. Yeah, 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 sorry. It's, I'm so bad at only reading, like, some of the things at the bottom when I have the passive time word. Sentient bow or sentient cleaver? Definitely the bow. Definitely the bow. The bow is just, like, so awesome. Let's see. Do I have, um... Congrats on, by the way, surviving to farm that, though. It's not easy to make a sentient weapon. That's that's quite the grind. That That's gonna be some of the hardest things that we're gonna be doing in this playthrough. Um... But that's far off in the future. Well, actually, probably not even that far. We'll see how long it takes. We do need XP. We need hard crystal shards. We need strength and vitality. We need silver armor. We need to level up our sneaking. This shouldn't take too long. We'll see. Um, Alright, so before I go back into the mines, way back in the mines, to get our pickaxe swinging from side to side, we are going to make more torches and then i think i think that's all we need yeah just torches i only have two coal there's a zombie outside <laughs> sleep 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 there are monsters nearby maybe if i climb up higher Haha! -ha. Didn't think you didn't think I'd figure that out, huh? Game. That's actually really bad that I broke that sleeping bag. I don't care. Cause now if I die, I'm not gonna spawn in the village. I don't think I'll spawn in the village, yeah. Is summoning staff good or bad? It's not bad at all, but the mobs, for one, they don't scale with your main weapons damage anymore, and number two. The mobs are really hard to get knowledge rank 2 to use them. So once you make a summoning staff, you'll be pleasantly unsurprised, or pleasantly... You're not going to be happy to see that you can't summon anything, because you need knowledge rank 2 of it. Of things to summon it. 
right, so let's make a little... It's been a while, so let's make a, uh, a water bucket. Make a water bucket. check is everything as clear from the inventory as I thought it was gonna be <gasps> oh I lost my that's right I don't have my uh, my crates I had a crate for extra storage but I had to drop my inventory so I lost it oh that's lovely so not another one around here you think probably not Probably, yeah, there's probably not a second crate in this village. Let's be realistic here. Don't hurt me. Oh, whatever. We mine. Hey, Shavaxi still mad? Shavaxi's always mad. Shavaxi has been mad for the, since the beginning of time, and that's why we love him. Shavaxi is angry! Is there maybe anything in this house up here? Come on. Ah! Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. <laughs> okay, I do not have a shield. I do not have a shield. And a couple banshees over here. Okay. Dude, it is impossible to fight without a shield. Oh my god. You have to do time blocks to give yourself air to breathe. Why did I think this was going to be a fun playthrough idea? Okay. Don't worry. Banshee Schmancy. It's impossible to fight without a shield, chat. I've literally been playing Aurelcraft my entire life while using a shield. This is going to be so painful. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Trust. Okay, so I died over there. We have five minutes of our stuff being loaded in. Come on, let's go kill this thing. I was level 11. <sighs> Can't believe this happened to me. See, this is why I'm not playing on hardcore though. This would be too difficult for my little brain on hardcore because I would have to be just playing so carefully it wouldn't even be more difficult I would just like literally just have to run away from everything all the time like I tried to fight that banshee I decided to face tank it if I was smart I would have just ran but I'm not a baby I'm a grown boy a big strong boy who runs from no man okay let's go about let's go up here and hope that we can find uh that banshee so we can get our revenge who lives in here is it a banshee I guess I've already been up here huh stupid banshee let's see what they got for me oh my goodness there's a lot of bounties I need to kill two creepers Tor Tambu Tuna, Abyssal Lurker, Ender Biotite, 18 cents in a site. Dude, look at all these rewards for this. Fungi, Catfish, Neck Kills, Strider Kills, Zombie Head, Diamond Lance, Orsar Kills. Dude, we have to give this a Magikarp and Wendango Kills, and look at this. <laughs> look at all the stuff these things give you, man. This is insane.
Dude, this epic one is insane. Anyways. Bounties are cool. But you're cooler. Yup. Alright, let's go down into the mines. The only thing I'm missing is torches, which I can bring down with me. And we're gonna bring this for our new torches that we make. Yeah, we could trade with villagers right now to get up to 16 in defense, I think. We could do that now. But I still don't have diamonds. That That's the thing, right? Shields are really good, yeah. Shields literally let you just fight the banshees. Alright, um, anyways. We need to find our librarian. If I remember correctly, there is a librarian in this village somewhere. First... need some paper I hear me out what if yeah my first tactics for bosses we just do only arrows yeah I know it takes a long time if you only use a bow but it works I mean the bosses are not supposed to die quickly I wonder if all the villagers are dead No, they're not. But I thought I saw something on the wall here. Yeah, look at these iron chest plates. That's actually really good iron. Day 18. Sheesh. We are absolutely boned. juice. Yummy. Oh. <laughs> Let's blow up the TNT chest. <laughs> These chests don't even have anything in them, do they? No. I just always find it funny that, that these chests don't have anything. I feel like sometimes there's a chest that, that's linked to TNT in those houses that does have loot. It has been a while, Julian. Gotta try to find this librarian villager. Hmm, that guy's not having fun. Didn't I lock the librarian villager in his house, like, next to the water? That's right, okay, now I remember. He's over here. I locked him in the house because I didn't want him to die. I think he's in here, yeah? I swear he was in here. I wonder what killed him. Something must have killed him then. Uh-oh. Yeah, something must have killed the librarian. Oh well. Deserved. He was stinky. He was the only librarian in the village, so no use looking for another one. I hope all the other villagers die now. Let's drink this. Bob6968, thank you for the sub. Yeah, RIP librarian. I hope that he's in a better place. Or she. I don't know what gender these villagers are. They sound masculine. But I could be incorrect. I have no idea. Uh, what else do I need for the mining? I think that's just about everything, right? We're gonna make more torches when we get down there. We're bringing our thing about bobber jigger with us. We don't have a backpack because that would be too convenient. Yeah. 
to go down. Yeah, don't misgender villagers or I'm gonna ban you from Reddit. Nigugin Furandui, thank you for the subscribe. What's the name of the shader? Silder Shaders version 1.32. Anyways, let's go down into these mines so we can mine away. We are pretty close on defense. We were we need to just get a little bit more iron. I would say all we need is like maybe one more stack of... No, not even one more stack of iron. Probably less. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Um, I get some XP for mining redstone, but I just don't know if it's... I, I don't think it's worth it. The risk of a Neville spawning or whatever, a Vapala spawning, is not worth it. Okay, this is what I do need. I need I need this coal. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. So glad you're back. Uh, love your content. Yeah, I appreciate that on Dead Man Walking. I'm really sorry that I haven't been uploading videos a lot. Um, I do have a video completely written that I plan on trying to upload within this next week, though. I think it'll be a pretty good video. Um, at least the script seems pretty cool. It's it's a video that's about the best of literally everything in RLCraft. It's a little wacky. It's different than, than some of the things I do. But it's not that wacky. There's a lot of good information in it. Let's not die. Worth because you killed a spawn monster, you get more XP? Maybe. But what if it's like a really OP Vapula? What if it's a really OP Vapula? Well, this is kind of a good spot to, to down one. Also, remember, I don't have a shield. Yeah, do keep in mind, I can't use shields. Which is a little spooky. Yeah, it, it's gonna be a fun little vid. It's the best of everything. But, it, you know, it's not going to be, like, in-depth as if I'm talking about an entire category. Like, if I talk about all the equipment forge parts or all the baubles, instead I'm just going to, like, talk about the best bauble, then I'm going to move on to the best armor, and then the best weapon, the best rune, the best structure, the best this, the best that, you know, all that stuff. All that stuff. Because that's what was for uh, voted in the Discord. I'm glad that that one was voted. Because, like, making another bobble tier list or another stru top structures video is good. And I'm probably still going to make at least the top structures one again. But... Dude, that jump scares me, like, every time. scares me every time I swear I'm going to punch my monitor I swear <laughs> all right let's go we're gonna boom 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 Wow, we really went a long way, huh? Let's do that. Hmm, dropped.
Jump, 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 How did you escape my gaze? Oh, there we go. We did it. We're at the end of the road. This is where we create new uh, road. Um, yeah. You know what's also a pretty interesting thing that you guys can keep in mind is somebody told me that if you go the mining route in the L menu that you can like place the the iron or over and over again and mine it over and over again for infinite XP but the amount of XP you get is so slow that it's kind of like cringe and eventually the iron ore will spawn a geonaut uh, so you gotta be always on your toes but somebody told me that it works I haven't actually tested it though because I'm like that's cringe oh I'm not even gonna test that but I thought I'd tell you guys can you let us see the sentient bow enchantments from the from the bookmark enchants? Yeah, sure. So this has split shot four, curse of position, advanced punch two, pushing, advanced power five, advanced mending, rapid fire two, supreme flame, upgraded potentials, infinity, range unbreaking four, room arrow piercing four. I'm pretty sure I didn't miss anything on that. If I did, then I just don't have the villager for it on that world. But I'm... I'm, I don't think you can put multi-shot on it as well. I don't think it stacks, yeah. Nah, I don't think so. Yeah, then, then this this one's too long. I show I show off a lot of those in the, um, in the video I'm making with the best of everything in the game because I think that's the best the best bow in the game. In terms of like the best um, other ranged weapons, I'm not looking forward to having to make those, but I know I've got the villagers for it. And I can always just do it in creative mode if I get bored and lazy. But I, I want to have them on the main world because I want to have everything on the main world. Alright. Let's um, take these d -d 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 diamonds. Diamonds. Boom! That's a lot of iron down there. We're down at the uh, bedrock. Uh oh. I always get kind of. I know this is like kind of an irrational fear, but hear me out. I always get afraid that I'm, like, gonna fall through the cracks in between the bedrock into, like, the endless void at the bottom. Like, when I'm down there, it's like I don't like standing on bedrock because I feel like I'm close to the edge. Don't push me because I am close to the edge. I know it's an irrational fear, but it is one that I possess. Diamonds. Diamonds! Exactly. Why is there water? Uh oh. My PC pooping. Why it poop? Spin to win. Yup. Man. Why? What's with this weird water source? I don't know what's, what it's doing here. But I don't like it. Uh, why is cobblestone prioritized over drinking canteen? Should I go in here and try to get this water source? I'm going for it. I don't want to go up to the surface. That's boring. Watch this. 
I'm just gonna get this wa this this water source. It's gonna be all fine. Everything's gonna be fine. There may or may not be a chupacabra. He's dying. Okay, never mind. There's a Gru in there. I. Th this is why we listen. This is why we listen. I don't need water. I'll go up to the surface when I need water. I'm not going up. I'm bored. I'm bored of the walking. We're going this way. And if I go up to the surface, I'm just going to get distracted by something and not come back down here for like a long time. Now the worst case scenario is if a Geonaut spawns here, breaks this wall, and the Gru comes and attacks me. Especially if it's a Celestial Geonaut. But that would never happen, right? Trust. Kalulus. So what am I mining for? purpose I'm mining for divine in, in intervention why why do we really do anything I wonder no sorry I'm, I'm mining for XP <laughs> I want cobblestone and iron um if I get iron I can oh that was loud if I get iron then that's XP if I get cobblestone, that's XP. So I'm excited. Either whatever I get is exciting. Ooh. I'm close to getting... Uh... Wait, did I have to drop my heart crystal shards when I lost my inventory due to that spin spin? The spin to win spin. Spin, spin, spin. Wait, do I have to spin spin yet? Am I spinning? Uh-oh. Coffee, do I have to spin? Uh-oh, 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 no! 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 No, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. I have so much good stuff in my inventory right now. I have so so much good stuff. Okay, I don't have to spin. Okay, okay, okay. Hurry up. We need to get like a whole bunch of rocks in our inventory right now. <laughs> because I don't want to lose anything good. I need to decrease the chance. I mean, obviously, if it still rolls the good slot, I still lose the good thing. But I have 10 diamonds in my inventory. I have 27 iron. I have good things. In my I have heart crystal shards. Food is also overrated. That's what I'm saying. So I don't have to spin. Oh, I have five crystals in total, and I'm two out of three on spins. Now I understand. Ah, words are like music to my words. <laughs> Everyone who has ever drunk water has died. That's literally what I was thinking about just the other day. Like... Have you ever thought that, like, every single time you hear of somebody who's drunk water... Oh, wait, no, you've never heard that because they don't exist, because water isn't real. I'm glad we're on the same page. Samogus. Bro, that's kind of sus. Remember when I... You guys remember when I did that Among Us stream? Ah, uh, sure you don't. Nobody remembers that. But that was the best heckin' stream that I've ever done heckin' been hecked. Dude, I was the best, bro. I went into these random lobbies and just bullied everybody in the lobbies. I was the best. I never died. I was the best. I even have, like, a, I think a one-minute Among Us video that's absolute, like, gold. It is literal gold. Yeah, you remember? Dude, that... That Among Us video that I made when I'm playing with, all with like, a whole bunch of my friends was hilarious. What's the best way to explore for loot in the early game? Which structures to explore? Uh, definitely the, um, the, oh, I'm trying to think of the name of it. Port City. That's right. Port City is the best. You get emeralds. You get, dude. Oh my god. Port cities are insane. I, ooh, I wish I could explore for a port city right now, but I can't because if I find a dungeon, I have to clear it and then I'm going to die. 
and lose everything. But a port city has 13 emerald blocks, 50 iron blocks, which we've already been over. Like, one stack of iron is just an absolutely insane amount of XP. 50 iron blocks is an absurd amount of XP. There's also gold blocks at the structures. So many villagers to trade with. Librarian villagers, cartographers, you know, you name it. There's everything that you could ever need. But imagine if you find a palace of Erevith. A palace of Erevith. 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 Uh, words. Uh, it's a really good structure. And it's in my top. I think it's number four on the top structures vid that I made. That structure. If you can find one of those. It has like... 300 and something like gold blocks and oh wait do, are we three out of three? Oh no Joe Sumi, thanks for okay 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 guys everybody stay calm we're not gonna lose anything good out of everything in our inventory we're gonna lose the dirt we're not gonna lose the diamonds we're not gonna lose the heart crystal shards we're not gonna lose anything important we're not gonna lose anything important trust okay 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 I'm glad we're all on the same page with this right now. I don't want to increase. There's two here. How can I make? Yeah, I, I don't mind losing some of this stuff. Let, 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 let's put this stuff here just to increase the chances of me losing something that doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Everybody... It's fine. I'm not losing anything good. Trust. Trust, trust, trust. Oh my god. <laughs> I almost lost the whole inventory. <laughs> okay, okay. Number 21. 19. I lose my bucket. Cringe. But that's not bad. That's not bad. Okay, okay. I'm happy that I didn't lose anything bad. Okay. Let's go. See, I wasn't I wasn't even worried. I wasn't even worried. I wasn't even worried. I'll just make a new bucket, but I can't make a new bucket for the next day. Because that's the rule. So I can't have another bucket for a day. But I didn't need a bucket. Who, who needs a bucket? I almost lost the entire inventory a third time, by the way. I've lost that. I've rolled that same one two times already this stream and it is painful <laughs> okay we're not we didn't we, we've never lost anything good before bro lost a bucket bro my bucket bro not my bucket my bucket <laughs> okay anyways i'm happy that i didn't lose anything important oh Thought a Geonaut stunned. Okay, anyways, let's get this iron over here. We're already one out of three to the next one. Dude, I have a feeling that you guys were right and that I will roll that lose inventory card again. I am not looking forward to that. Stupid bucket. I didn't need you anyways. Is golem armor better than dragon armor? Yes. So the reason why is because armor toughness is actually incredibly like strong of a stat. Yujiro Gonzalez, thank you for the subscribe. You are hastening my demise, but I do appreciate the subscribe. Um, so basically, armor toughness is a lot stronger than you think it is. It's basically a eh, rough translation. One armor toughness is two regular armor. That, that's a nice way to look at it. Um, so when you're calculating armor, so let's say you're looking at dragon armor, right? So this has got 21 locational armor on the chest and two armor toughness. So this has like 25 armor strength, right? 25 armor strength is what I like to look at. But then the golem armor right here is 19 locational armor, but four armor toughness. For 19 plus four times two is eight. So 19 plus eight is 27. So you think of this golem chest plate as about having 27 points of protection. Um, so all of this armor is is better, and the golem armor was uh, is good. 
yeah, it's just it's overall highest highest total. So it is the best in the game. But silver armor, although it has low protection, gives you cure, which is just in absolutely insane. So silver armor, I, I still choose silver armor in the end game over all everything else. Just me personally, but the extra protection can save you. And if you're using a natural blocking th uh, a natural blocking two shield plus like a rapier plus golem armor as a titan you can actually face tank even the hardest of the mobs but it will eventually break your armor if you're not careful so do make sure to keep killing things so that you can repair your armor with advanced mending on it faster than the mobs can do damage to you which is still very very difficult by the way like but being a big boy the titan ring if you guys didn't know it gives you like a bunch of armor toughness and stuff right yeah, never mind. The dragon ring is what gives you armor toughness. Whatever. It gives you a lot of hearts. It's good. It's good for brawling. Let's, let's get 15 in defense. Yeah, we can definitely get to 16, 16 in defense. Um... And we have 10 plus 15 diamonds. So we almost have full diamond gear. Can you believe it? And we've just been messing around. You guys have been... A lot of you have been here for a while. You see, like, I literally am not doing anything crazy right now. This is this is called grinding. We grinding. Anyways. D diamonds. Diamonds! I do love me some diamonds. Hopefully I don't get killed. Aero Gaming, thanks for the subscribe. Wait. Okay. Okay. Surely we don't lose anything important. Right? Let's put this stuff that I'm not afraid to lose up on my quick bar. What of this stuff am I not afraid to lose? I'm not afraid to lose this. Um Yeah, but I can't I can't cheat. I, I need to probably keep this stuff on my quick bar, or else it feels like I'm cheating. Because these are like essentials. Like, all the essentials to keep on the quick bar are these. Um, essential, essential. Alright, uh, let, let's pull from this. You guys ready? Uh-oh. Okay. So, my diamonds. If I lose my diamonds, or lose my inventory, or if I... I, I don't know. There's a lot of things that I don't want to miss. Okay. What, what is the second thing in my inventory? Or is it third? It's my third. What's my third thing in my inventory? A stack of cobblestone. Dude, we're getting lucky! Sheesh! Okay, I wasn't stressed. I've never been afraid of anything before in my life. If you guys, you know, at school they called me Fearless Fernando. That was my name. Wait, I can't pick up the cobblestone. That sucks, man. Dude, the cobblestone is such a big little chunk of XP. Like, you guys don't realize, like, literally you make... You make these levers and it gives you good XP, so I'm just dropping XP basically. But at least that's not nearly as bad as losing my diamonds. That's not nearly as bad. Thank you guys for the subscribes. And thank you, RNG, for not making me lose my entire inventory. Dude, I was having fun with the wheel earlier and now I'm like, okay, let's just hope I don't have to spin anymore. Skill issue. Also, regular metting is better than advanced metting on armor because it's prioritized the most damaging. I think that Shavaxi made it so that advanced mending also prioritizes the most damage piece now. Or maybe he only made it so mending does that. It could... You could be telling the... It, it, you could be right, but I thought advanced mending was changed to do that as well. I could be wrong. Bruh. Because I thought advanced mending now does that in 2.9. He didn't change it? Oh, that sucks. Yeah, so, so regular mending can be better on armor. The thing is, is that if your armor is like really low HP, I usually am not fighting anyways, and advanced mending does heal your armor's durability much more than regular mending. Well, not much more, but a little bit more. A good amount to make it worth it in my opinion so i always still try to go for advanced mending but that is a very good point that mending i thought advanced mending did it too but if not 
Mending prioritizes the lowest durability item when he, when repairing it, which is really, really good. Um, I thought Advanced Mending did that too. That's a shame that it doesn't. Um, still, I feel like even even with any mending, if your armor is low, you should like be very careful anyways and back up. But it is nice not having to think about it. I will admit, it is nice not having to think about it. Did I take the last diamond? Oh, did I not? I thought I did. Oh, I didn't. You saved a diamond. Thank you. You just saved that little diamond's life. The little diamond that got saved by the chatter. Thank you, man. How did I forget that? I'm poopy brain. These diamonds are important. I need these so I can be the best that no one ever was. Just like Ash Ketchum. Ash Ketchum from Pokemon. He's my MVP. Or maybe he's from Yu-Gi-Oh, I can't remember. Mm. Sorry, just drinking some water. Some water. Oh, that's silver. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I was being so bloody careful. Alright, in terms of XP, we can definitely equip diamond armor now if we go back up to the surface. But I'm going to continue on forward a little bit longer because I want to try to ideally get enough to equip a full set of armor. I know that's being a little, a little ambitious. Considering how unlucky we have been so far. Well, actually, we've been kind of luckier lately. Like, that was a big silver ore vein. gonna need to make a new iron pickaxe pretty soon unfortunately what item is used for reforging golem armor it used to be obsidian but now it's um steel yeah yeah it's steel johan sumi is right it is steel Uh, it was so nice when it was obsidian. But steel is, like, super easy to get, honestly. Well, once you reach, like, the, the mid-game, steel is, like, super easy to get. Just go into the nether. And you already have fire resistance, so just, like, a big fiery area, which is pretty cool. Oh, I hear a specter. Let's not try to tangle with him. Especially without a shield. Another reason why I'm mining rather than adventuring is not only because I have to clear the next dungeon that I find, because we rolled that, but because I don't have a shield, and I am not used to playing Aralcraft without a shield. I have always used a shield in Aralcraft because it's just such a good resource. It's like the Aralcrafter's best friend. I'm gonna get this heart crystal shard. Just get a little bit. Whoa, is there light at the end of the tunnel? Chat, did I die? Am I dead? Wow! Anyways. Just a visual glitch with the shader pack, probably. Unless we're being hunted by an angel. The angels are scary. In some shows, they're depicted as like these crazy, evil, scary scaries, you know? Getting haunted by an angel. Yeah, heart crystal shards do look cool. They're, like, shining on the wall. I hope that we can find more of them. Right now, we do have one, though. Don't you like the Reach 2 of the Pike for Endgame? Yeah, I do like the Reach 2 for Pike in, in the Endgame. Um, rapiers are also really, really good because they take away some of the durability of your armor that your armor would have taken, um, which is good in the Lost Cities. Because, honestly... Maybe this is a weird thing for me to say, but I think of, like, 
like, post-game RL craft as being kind of, like, I don't know. If you're, if you're prepared for that, then you're prepared for everything, right? So when I think about if something's efficient or not, I think about can it help you in the Lost Cities dimension. Because honestly, you can have so much fun in RL craft, like, in the overworld, doing just about anything you want. Like, as long as you have, like, advanced protection armor and some extra hearts, you can pretty much play however you'd like. Like, you can just go the full throwing weapons route, you can just zip around with the web launcher hook, like, the, the web hook launcher, right? Like, you can just use ender pearls for transformation, for, for, like, just jumping around wherever you want. Like, you can just, I know those are, like, weird, weird, random, random examples, but you can do whatever you want in regular RL craft, basically, in the overworld. But once you reach, like, the Lost Cities dimension, your options become more limiting. Which is unfortunate. Like a pike, a rapier, and nunchucks, or like... I mean, you could use like halberds and stuff like that too. They're still pretty good. But like the best ones I'd say is pike, rapier, and nunchucks is always like the highest damage. But sometimes it can be a little risky with the nunchucks that I found from extensive testing. That nunchucks do not have very good reach and they don't offer you any secondary benefits of using them. So you got to be careful if you do choose to use nunchucks in the Lost Cities Dimension. Um, especially if you're fighting like the ender dragons, the, those assimilated ender dragons are insane. They just decimate your armor if you get too close to them. I think like a strengthened dragon bone bow is like really good for our, our Relcraft in the Lost Cities. Um, until you get a sentient bow, then obviously the sentient bow is better. But yeah, you shouldn't really try to fight too much in the Lost Cities dimension. It just does not feel like a net gain. It feels like a net stress. <laughs> Just sneak around and loot and get out of there. Get out of that bad area. Sentient bow is cool, but you don't even need it. Honestly, like, when I play on my main world, even though I have this gorgeous sentient bow, that took me forever to get, by the way, I just don't, like, use it. I, like, almost never use it. Am I going to do the death village spam strat? Nah, I'm probably not going to do that. I could though, if I want to go get some more villages. It's definitely a good idea to do later. I might do it. We're, we're, I'm still thinking about it. Because like when I need to find more villagers to trade with, it's a really quick way to just find more villages. To just keep doing the tactical suicide. I mean, because we can't, we can't adventure anymore, chat. It's not, it's a lot harder. Going for an adventure is not as easy as before. What we could do instead is we just go make like a nursery, like a fish nursery, and like just fish a whole bunch until we get so many silexes, because silexes are gonna spawn as you're fishing, like in your nursery. So you just keep killing the silex, and then all of a sudden, you know what that means? Boom! Avian treats, baby. Because we can just make the avian treats with the silexes. So if we just like fish and fish and fish and fish and you do get a little bit of xp from fishing it's not much and we just fish and fish and fish and fish and fish and then all of a sudden boom avian treats yeah no probably not the, not very time efficient but fishing is kind of cool i used to hate fishing but then i realized that like the bobbers make make fishing so much easier dude if you think fishing is hard dude just like put on this heavy bobber it makes the tension bar size monitor three like so much bigger so it's actually easier to catch the fish and then you just like use like some of these like the shiny hook to give your bite rate or you can use the fatty hook so you get some fatter fishes for more meat i always use the fatty hook when i'm trying to like catch whales for example so you get more whale meat from them but like the shiny hook is pretty good for just trying to speed run fishing right and this will make fishing a lot a lot easier very very easy before i was like fishing is impossible but then i realized yeah okay that's the base rates if you will you got to use the fancy little bobbers uh. mm -hmm. you know you saw right you immediately do the death spam because you have a lot of locations and resources yeah it's like really smart to do that um it's like so good to do that like, it's, I used to always do that in 2.9, but I stopped doing it, um, on, sh um, I, I stopped doing it just because I felt like it would be a little bit more challenging for me not to do it. And I kind of like the difficulty of RL craft. 
but it is a good a good strat to do for sure. Um, since I haven't done it in a while, I think I think I might actually do it a little bit when I need to find some villages, because um, it's just such a good thing to do for resources. It is such a good thing to do. I don't need all that redstone, right? Yeah, I'll drop it. How much iron do I have, by the way? We need seven more diamonds. Maybe if we find an eight vein, then we can just go right up to the surface. What is death spam? So basically what it is, is you go, um, right? So you're at your village, right? You started when you find a village or a waystone. Honestly, you can just do it at a random waystone out there and just put your stuff in a chest. But so you find it like a waystone and you bind at the waystone by right clicking it. You sleep in a bed. And then you break the bed when you wake up, in turn breaking your spawn, and then you can just, like, um, then you suicide, and then it will make you spawn, like, in some random location, right? And you just keep suiciding over and over again until you spawn near another village or another place with good resources. I feel like Shiv actually tried to remove that method, though. Like, now that I'm thinking about it, didn't he make it so that... Mm, no, no, I guess... I guess he didn't break that method, right? I haven't tried it in a long time. I haven't. I legit have not tried it in 2.9.2. I know it works in 2.9 though, like 100%, because I used to use it all the time in 2.9. Um, but yeah, so it's like you don't have a, you don't have any resources. Just keep suiciding until you get a good spawn. Just suicide over and over and over again until you get a good spawn. Then when you find a good spawn, you know, get all the good items and chests, and then just. Bind of the waystone, sleep in a bed, break the bed, then suicide again until you find another good spawn with more good resources, and then you can just teleport in, be in between the waystones to so those places over and over again, you know? Get all the resources that you need. It's big brain! And I was like, this sounds like a good idea. I remember when I was writing that script for the first time, I'm like, are people going to think this is stupid if I say to do this? Because I do it, and I know it's stupid, but it's smart, you know? I'm like, I don't care if people think it's dumb. I'm going to tell people to do it anyways, because it's a good thing to do. But I don't do it anymore. Very much. Well, I haven't done it since 2.9, but I did a lot at that time. And I did not play 2.9.1 very much, because I didn't like it. Because 2.9, you could get OP with wine, right? You could you could get invincible with wine. That's fun. Nothing's, pretty much nothing's ever going to kill you. But then in 2.9, first they nerfed wine. But then more importantly, now that wine is nerfed, you don't really have a way to become quote-unquote invincible. You can still get snuck up and killed from behind. And I don't like having the idea that if I grind for like a few hundred hours in this fun mod pack that I like, that I'm not going to be able to destroy everything. Like, if I still have to worry about dying after playing, like, RLCraft for, like, 150 hours, then I'm like, well, what is the point? I grinded so hard and I still die to BS? That's dumb, right? But in 2.9.2, look at what we got. And look at, look at what we got. Now, if we do grind everything out and do everything well, we do not have to worry about dying anymore. Our armor will still probably break if we're not careful, but then we can just warp out of there, you know? Retreat. I have lost many a pieces of silver armor in my time. I am on hard difficulty survival, right? It's it's always hard difficulty. Like, in RLCraft, it's set default to hard, but I'm not on the hardcore config. Anyway, sorry, I'm talking too much. I need to mine and talk, but I'm dumb. Yeah, wine was nerfed, unfortunately. It's still good. It's still good, but you can only have 12 buffs on, and you have to have higher quality wine to get the same results as before. Yeah. Still good, though. I still use wine. Um, I guess you could argue that it was too OP before, but, you know, I didn't mind. <laughs> Yeah, there was a lot of changes from 2.9 to 2.9.2. 2.9.2 is really good. 2.9.1... Mm, we don't talk about 2.9.1. 
Still wasn't bad though, like 2.9.1 still had some positive changes. Still had some positive changes. Is this short? Oh, it's just broken. Oh, that's fine. How long do I plan on streaming? Um, I plan on being live for at least six hours, so at least another hour. And I still have a good amount of energy, so I might even go a little bit longer than that. I just know that, like, the early game is the most dragged on section. Once I start clearing, like, battle towers and dungeons and things like that, things speed up a little bit. Um, but I'm already, like, I already can equip diamond armor. So I, I've definitely gotten some good progression. And I remember in the past it would take me, like, at least until like the end of part three to be on diamond armor because i would get distracted so easily but it's nice being able to know that i'm going to be in diamond armor by the end of the stream um but more importantly i need to not roll the thing and make me lose my diamonds now that would suck if i have to roll this like spin the wheel and it removes my diamonds yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna morb have you guys seen morbius I'm gonna morb if I lose my diamonds right now. Um, I'm mining for XP. I, I just want a lot of XP right now because um, you get a lot of XP from mining cobblestone because you make levers. You get a lot of XP from smelting iron over and over again with that smelting method. And the most important thing is I rolled dungeon dive earlier so the next dungeon that i see i have no choice but to clear so i'm afraid to be on the surface because i might find a dungeon and then i'll have to clear it but if i'm in full diamond armor i won't feel as bad having to clear the dungeon but i have not found a dungeon yet thankfully What if you find a tier 5 dragon cave while mining and have to clear it? I mean, does that count as a dungeon? <laughs> does a tier 5 dragon cave count as a dungeon? If I have to kill a dragon, I wonder if I can still drown it. Do you guys remember when you used to be able to drown dragons? You just drown them while they're sleeping? I don't think you can do that anymore, can you? Surely not. Come on, I don't have any water. The further I go, the more likely that I'm gonna be like in really bad shape. If I don't find water source, I'm definitely thirsty because I had to drop my bucket earlier and I messed up my bucket. I can just dig up to the surface. That would be so troll. Digging up to the surface and finding a dungeon. Wait. There's, like, water over here. Okay. Um. In that case, let me just get the water here. Hopefully there's nothing dangerous in that cave. Let me go back here so that nothing too crazy spawns when I'm too close to that water. Let's do that. Let's make a furnace which i think i don't have yeah let's cook three iron it definitely counts oh my god okay well if i find a tier five dragon then i'll have to try to kill that thing how in the world i'm gonna kill it i don't want to, i don't want to think about it i'll think about it if i actually find one if i find one then obviously i have no choice but to clear it I just really hope I don't find one because I have to clear it like immediately and I have all this important stuff in my inventory that I don't want to lose, so. How to craft a saver? You need a little uh, handle and then three of the thingamabobber jiggers. Just click on a saver in this to see how it's crafted, right? Just click on the saver in this menu and you'll see how something's crafted. Anyways, let's make our new bucket to 
Oh, my inventory is so cold. So full. Hmm. I don't need the quartz. Okay. Let's just hope we don't find a tier 5 dragon gun. I want to think about what I'm going to have to do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why is there so much water here? Oh, wait. Oh, this must be a big water source then, huh? Nice. Okay, I actually have water. That was not nearly as painful as I thought it was going to have to be. Okay, let's learn our lesson. <laughs> Charcoal filter. And now we have clean drinking water. Tropicality, thanks for the subscribe. Alright. Let's keep on mining away. Man, our inventory is actually full, though. It's cringe. I'll start dropping some things that I don't need. I don't need dirt. And I think that was what? Two out of three? That's not three out of three, right? It's two out of three? I hope it's not three out of three. Yeah, I think we're at two out of three. Pretty certain. Pretty certain. Yeah, okay, it's two out of three. Thank you, thank you. Wait, I'm like way too close to this iron. If I'm here, does Geonauts even spawn still? If I'm too close to it? I should that's something I should know. But I don't. Okay. Um Oh, that scared me. Stupid pickaxe, stop breaking. There is a lot of water. You remember when you were talking to War Thunder and classified military documents? Yeah, former soldiers went to the old military bases to classify military documents to win an argument. Wait, that's hilarious. Is that true? That's fun. That That's as they should. Everybody knows that World of Warcraft gamers should always get military documents. Alright. Diamonds. Diamonds! Please be an 8 vein. It's probably a 4 vein because my luck... Oh, it's a five vein. Not bad. No, it was a four vein. Well, I called it. I calls it like I sees it. What can I say? Oops, my iron pickaxe is getting low. That's okay, it doesn't matter, but... It does matter. Rock. 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 Rocks. So we need one more diamond vein. Surely we find one soon. Once we find this next diamond vein, we're done mining for a little while. I mean, we could always just keep mining forever and ever and ever and ever and ever, but we shouldn't. But mining is like always just such a good thing to do. I'm just trying to showcase how nice it is. And it's not because I'm afraid of finding a dungeon in the overworld. No, I'm just trying to show off how good mining is. I mean, come on, obviously. Mining is so good. Wow! Wow! That's really bad. We can't actually find that because then I'm gonna get lost. <laughs> I'm gonna get lost on my way back and I'm never gonna find my way out. Wait, my atlas must be finding... Wow! Don't look at those! I never died! Let's erase those. Guys, come on. We never died earlier in the stream. Everybody knows that I never die. And those aren't real. Ooh, yeah, that's... That's back to normal right there. That's back to normal. I never die. This 
this is kind of tough. Huh. We're gonna wall off this. I, I do this, this is the high level maneuver I'm about to do. Now that I know that my thingamabobber jigger is up in the other direction and we do a big 180 or whatever, we're gonna do the high level maneuver. The next time we turned at a spot, that meant we went in a total circle. Therefore, now we wall up this way. And now that route doesn't exist anymore. And we turn and go this way. Water! Water! Now I understand why I keep getting turned in circles because of the stupid water. Can we even make it through this way, I think? Maybe if we go above it. I forge my own path. It's always cool seeing these underground water water sources. Okay, there's a grow in there. I gotta be careful. Two point six was crazy, dude. I love two point six. That was the patch that I started on. Right when two point six was brand new, I jumped on in and was like, "Wow, Yahoo!" Two point eight was point two was really fun. I liked two point eight point two. Two point six was wacky. You could literally do so much crazy stuff in two point six. And you could still do quite a bit of crazy things in 2.8.2. Uh, and now, it's like, no fun allowed. <laughs> no more fun allowed. Oh, wow, I have a full stack of iron. Shaish. Mining away. After we're done mining, after we get one more diamond vein, I'm going on an adventure. And we're praying that we don't find a dungeon. Oh, wait, maybe we shouldn't do that. Maybe we start doing some tactical resets. Wait, but, like, what if I find a dungeon when I have nothing in my inventory? Do I just run into the dungeon and try to clear it? I mean, obviously I'm going to die, but it's like, it doesn't even matter if I die because I have nothing to lose. Right? Dude, 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 dude. There's like water everywhere. Maybe we go above it. He's right next to me. Is, is ridiculous. This natural roadblock in the path is very, very ridiculous. Okay, so this obstacle is too powerful. Okay, so let's find a different way to cut off this path.
this turn no longer exists. We turn this way. High level strats. That's how we never get lost. Ah! High level strats. We turn at the sight of death. you'll die like hunger but if you drink unpurified water you'll get parasites yeah yeah you got to manage all of these extra little resources in in rl craft or else things do not go well you have a bad time just like sans undertale sans undertale had a bad time it's a good game well my inventory is full isn't it mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna drop these torches. What else can we drop? I guess we can drop this furnace. It's just eight cobblestone. Oh, oh, I'm lagging. Alright, let's go. This summer, streamer casualty gets lost mining gone wrong. We are not getting lost. And we are finding our diamonds. Ah. Turn right now for diamonds? Diamonds? Don't jump at me like that. I'm dying of the heat. Let's keep going this way until we start cooling down. Oh, I'm just getting hotter. Going this way and oh now we start turn now we turn. This is a strats, this is strats. Oh, getting hot again, getting hot again. Turn. Redstone, natural obstacle. Turn, 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 natural obstacle. Yep, now we're getting cold, we're getting cold. We hear the lava, we hear the lava, then we turn. Because we're mining around the lava sources, because this is where we find the diamonds. Diamonds! Diamonds! But the fact I'm not finding any is making me really sad. You know why your arcing orb dodge ability doesn't work? Um, so you have to be moving in a certain direction. Um, and then you press the little arcing orb attack. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I need to remember. It should definitely work, though. I just know it's a little bit weird to do. Yeah, you hold E. You have to hold E. To cast your attack or whatever attack you're doing. So what what's your arcing orb bind? If you change your arcing orb bind to like J, then your dodge arcing orb dodge will be J. But you have to be moving in a certain direction. Like if you want to dodge backwards, you would then be moving backwards and press J. Right? And you would like press them at the same time or something. I forgot how, how it goes exactly. Um, I usually don't use the dodge for the arcing orb. I usually just use the arcing orb attack since it's a little bit harder to use the dodge I usually just don't deal with it it's getting colder the lava source is somewhere over here ah whatever I don't care Leave the lava source. It didn't have any diamonds for me anyways. Oh, is that gold or silver? Hmm. Silver is really good too. I just know I don't need silver for a long time. Silver is like an end game thing. 
We're bare. We're not even in the mid game. But after we're done mining. Ooh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. That way is no longer the way. That way no longer exists. Oh. Okay, never mind. This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. We'll go this way. <laughs> Mining away. We may be surrounded by monsters, but they'll never be able to quench our thirstable, and thirstable, and unquenchable spirit and thirst for adventure. Words. Our heart shall never be defeated. They can break us down, but they will not break our spirit. Um, man, I wish I had more inventory space. Would be nice if I had a backpack, but no, I had to just keep losing my silk, my leather early on, because for some reason I'm just the unluckiest man alive. Literally every single time I spend the wheel, I lost my leather, so I have no backpack. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but dungeons will only kill me. As you can tell, dungeons are on my mind. We found another lava source. Please, I just want a little bit more diamonds. Just give me a little diamonds. Just a little diamonds, it'll save my life. Yeah, our craft servers take a lot of resources to run, unfortunately. Oh, man. It would be perfect if I get diamonds, like, right around this corner. If I can get diamonds, like, right here. Like, literally, if I get diamonds within, like, the next, like, 20 blocks, this would be the perfect mining adventure. But if I don't get it soon, I am not going to be in a good spot. Because I'm going to be angry. How often do I plan on streaming? Right now, I'm just going to... I plan on streaming every Saturday. Um, until I complete this playthrough. So it'll, so, so we do have, um, so I will be live again next Saturday. And maybe, probably not though, but I could potentially stream on Sundays, um, for a shorter time. But I kind of like the idea that the episodes are like long, you know? So I don't know if I'm going to do like a short, short streams on Sunday. I would add the Discord and let them know if I, if I am planning to do that though. But I don't. Right now, I'm not planning to do it. Next week, I might, depending on how well I do in the second in the second part next Saturday. Um, no, it doesn't host from the computer. You could do that, but most of the time, you would host from an exterior server. But you would have to buy like a really expensive server to make it run smoothly because of all the crap that the RLcraft brings to the table. It obviously depends on the scale, like how many people you expect to be on the server. Is there any purpose for dragon hearts besides canteens? As far as I know, no. Um, they used to be useful for crafting dragon steel gear. But Shabaxi doesn't want that gear because apparently it's too strong, even though he has like enemies in the game that one-shot you in golem armor. But hey! That's just a theory. A game theory.
mine left. You calling it? You think left? Think left has got stuff for us? Meal, thanks for the subscribe. Yeah, just three people loading chunks at a time would crash most servers. Exactly. I had to have like a when I made my server, I was able to have like 10 people loading chunks at different times, up to 25 people on the server, and it was running smooth, but I mean, like, this server was was so juicy. I was having to pay a lot every month to run it. And even so, it would still, like, give me problems. Um, what I can do, just to make things a little bit quicker, I can just leave some cobblestone in a chest, like, over here. Who knows? I'll probably never come back for this chest, but... I'll grab it on my way out. Just because I want to have inventory space to, like... function. Man, I wish I had a backpack. So, wait, do I have to spin the wheel? No way. Are you lying to me? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, man. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I don't mind losing that. That's not a necessity. Necessity, necessity, necessity. This isn't a necessity. I guess that's not a necessity. I guess I can put this stuff here. Okay. Are you guys ready? Oh, man. Oh, man. I don't want to spin the wheel. Okay, okay. Don't worry, don't worry. It's not going to be anything important, obviously. Ugh. Okay, what is... Wait, is that diamonds? Uh-oh. Please tell me this isn't diamonds. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh my god, it was one away from diamonds. Oh my god. God, I almost lost my diamonds. Please. Oh, I don't know if my heart can take it. I need my diamonds. My redstone. Yeah, oh, man, whatever, whatever. I'm not going to miss my redstone too much. I'm just so glad it wasn't diamonds. Oh, my God. <laughs> if I lost my diamonds, I, like, literally... All of this mining would have felt, like... Obviously, I would have gotten XP still, but I mean, it would have felt like a big, big, big bang blow. <laughs> just, or just, yeah, yeah, I pre-gen to my server, and it took me, like, days to pre-gen it. And, like, but the problem is, we pre gen like, 20k by 20k, just like you said. But then we opened it up after that, because we explored the 20k by 20k so quickly it was insane how quickly everybody explored that 20k by 20k like it was ridiculous and then people new people would join the server and we would have to uh no or no it was 10k by 10k it had to have been 10k there's no way we 20k no i preach on 10k by 10k but we 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 did that 10k so quickly and to keep everybody off the server long enough to pre-gen the 20k would have been pretty crazy. And not only that, we were getting this weird no generation bug where we would generate the, like, ecosystems, but nothing would spawn. No trees, just hills. No ores either. It was just cobblestone and dirt. As far as the eyes could see. And I don't understand why that was to this day. I have no idea why that was. I feel like somebody was sabotaging me. Why would you do that? I don't do anything wrong, man. Come on, man. I don't even hurt the fly. Here we do. Boom. Up oh, row. Boom. I'm starting to feel the fatigue a little bit, dude. I'm so surprised. Thinking back that when I first started my streaming, um, I used to stream eight hours every day 
and for the first like um, three months I streamed, I only took a single day off. I always streamed eight to twelve hours a day for the first three months I streamed, and it's crazy. I like didn't even get fatigued. Isn't that wacky? That's crazy. Now I'm like feeling it. It's only been five and a half hours. Mm. The wheel is cheating. Ban it, dude. We're gonna have to ban the wheel for not getting rid of my diamonds. <laughs> you keep dying in this pack. Never managed to progress. It's called never give up. Like, I think a nice thing to keep in mind is that as long as you're spending your XP before you die, then you're always progressing, right? Like me, I'm just spending my XP when I get it. Oh my god. If I do not get another Oravane without, before running out of torches, I'm going to be so angry. I'm going to be so hangry. But yeah, it's important just not to give up. Um, because I know that you're going to you're gonna definitely want to at times when you like die and lose stuff. But you can't. You cannot give up. Just go mining is a really simple thing to do. Or do those tactical uh, resets. And just do that. And you're going to have a lot of resources before you know it. And with those resources, you know, take your time. Lex, go into some little mini battle towers for even more XP if you need. And then all of a sudden, you start leveling up your stats and getting some crazy good perks. And that's what's coming next for me. First, I need to get 16 in defense, which is going to come really easily. I'm already, like, way past 16 in defense with all the resources that I have. But we're going to go even further beyond. But I need to be careful because I'm running low on torches. I guess I could just make more. But I don't have, um... I don't have paper for another, uh matchbox so I cannot light the new torches that I would make which sucks don't worry I'll find them three torches left Three torches left. I'm gonna stretch these torches out as long as I can. here I'm feeling it we got to be close to the to, to the diamonds I'm feeling it I'm feeling it mr. Krabs just around this corner I'm feeling it and we'll just keep going without torches I'm gonna go crazy We don't need torches. Mm. We'll find them. We'll find them. I know they're around here somewhere. Too much water, oceans everywhere. Is there a way to generate more uh, a world with more land? No, but w what you can do is just keep, like, at the start of your world, just keep remaking your seed, like, re-rolling your world until you get a start that, like, feels nice and comfy. Because, yeah, it can suck if you feel like there's too many oceans. And, and usually how it works is there's, like, a whole bunch of oceans that generate then a whole bunch of land that generates, right? Um, so you might have just gotten really unlucky and there's just too much oceans where you're at.
That is certainly not fun, though. I hate it when that happens. Okay. We're not placing down any more torches. We're keeping our two torches. Or we'll keep our one torch. Water. Is there no water and no diamonds in here? Nope. Diamonds feel so rare. We don't need torches. I'm just going to hold my last torch. Feel like we're close to lava again. I'm starting to wonder, am I even at Y11? Surely I am. I must be, I must be. Bruh. I love my crafting table. <gasps> no. They have but another. Ho ho! Saw a shader pack that had high trace lightings. It's fairly new. Oh, well, it's pretty cool. I just got this one because it seemed like really easy to download. And I'm like lazy when it comes to downloading things. But it would be cool to try a new one. Hey, thanks for the subscribe, Mr. Topaz. That's one step closer to me potentially losing my entire inventory. Barely beat 2.9 and struggle now to see there's 2.9.2 and I'm scared to get back into it. Um, I mean, it's better to get into it now than, than back when it was 2.9.1. Um, 2.9.2 is, is, is fairly fun. I would say the only thing that 2.9.2 um, that might be a little bit tougher than 2.9 for you is just that wine is a little bit worse than it was before. Um... But yeah, it's definitely it's definitely fairly fun. Um, and our railcraft is not supposed to be fun. <laughs> but it is fun. Our railcraft is supposed to be difficult and challenging. But I always have fun. It's fun. Haha. <laughs> okay, we're near lava. Come on, diamonds, please. My torch. Aww. My last torch. I thought I had blocks in my offhand. Well. That actually sucks. So what we're gonna have to do now is go all the way back up to the surface. We don't need to go full diamond. We, we can skip the diamond boots. Boots are overrated. So we're just gonna go up all the way. That's okay. We, we definitely got a lot of stuff. And we left a lot of cobblestone in that chest over there. I don't know if it's worth to go back and get it for a second trip. What do you guys think? Should I leave that cobblestone in there? <gasps> oh my god. It's the angels. They're coming for us, chat. 
I'm coming, Santa. I'm coming, Santa. No more torches. Nope. So we're going to have to go up to the surface. Our mining adventure is done, and we did not get all the diamonds we, we wanted, but that's okay. Yeah, if I ever do run out of cobblestone, I can just go mining again. And I'll just go grab those. There's that Aegis, bro. I swear, there's there's gotta be like an underground village or something. I'm going to punch my monitor, I swear. Goodness, we went so long. Uh oh. Drink, drink, drink. Top 10 anime betrayals. Thank you for the subscribe. How many chests is enough? Yeah, I might even be able to save and not even make the pants, yeah. If I can't have full diamond, then nobody can. The only good thing about it is, like, in case I were to take fall damage, like, the protection that the pants and the boots provide you really help you with fall damage. But I'll never take fall damage, right? Because I'll just catch myself with a water bucket. Oh, that's a dark Aegis. Hey, guys. What? What are these guys spawning? I'm gonna go over to this rusted Aegis. I don't understand. What is this cave? And why are these... Why did he go into the lava? You know... I don't know why I'm trying to understand the Aegis's. Out of my way, nerd. The Aegis's just want to, like, bathe in the hot lava springs, I guess. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. So we're going to make our diamond stuff. Then we'll cook them with gas. We made it back. Sheesh. Alright. Feels like I haven't been back at my base in, in years. Before I sleep, we have coal. Two, two, four. Wait, I have furnaces, right? Um, I'm so dumb. There, there they are. Nice. I love hearing the little, you know, uhs in the background. Makes me feel like I'm immersed in Harry Potter, the chamber of oh. We sleep. Yo, Yaxi. Hey, I'm glad you appreciate that you like the vids, man. I'm sorry I don't make more of them. I just feel like I like releasing the ones that I feel like are a necessity. I feel like the goal 
uh, for the RL craft, RL craft content on the channel is having like every information that one could ever need in all of the videos. But I try not to like repeat too much information in the videos. But it happens. It's like I don't like beating a dead horse. All right. So we have our diamonds. We are going to level up some of our resource sussies. All we need is 16 in defense, which is really, really close. And then all the other XP that we're going to do, I'm actually thinking about potentially leveling up some of my other stats in the L menu first, since they're kind of a priority. I don't expect myself to be using diamond weapons anytime soon. I could, but I don't think I'm going to do that. Stone over wood in our Elkraft meta, like and I blocks are the best. I mean, like and I blocks are really, really good. Yeah. I I really like my favorite block has got to be probably probably the basalt chain. Yeah, basalt is so nice. I love that. Basalt be be looking pretty pretty swifty. Is anything done? Gold is. Okay, we're 16 in defense. Boom! Now we can wear diamond armor. So now what we're gonna do... We pray that this is good. It's cumbersome. Lovely. That's what we love to see. Oh, the helmet's nice. That is brilliant. 219 still better though <laughs> this sucks I hate cumbersome re it's okay it's okay copium I'll melt these down too um in the meantime while we're waiting for everything to be cooked we could set up some more furnaces up here and do a little cooking Yeah, I guess we can. Also, heart crystal shards. We have nine of them. Do you know what that means? That's right. We have... We actually have an extra heart. I need to have eight in magic to use it, which won't take very long. Well, we'll get that really soon. But more importantly, I need to start making baubles. Now that I have 12 gold, I need to hurry up and make my baubles before... Something terrible happens, like I have to roll, and then I lose my gold again, which has happened already. Um, I do not want to lose my gold again, so I need to hurry up and use my gold. So, I'm going to use my bubbles to create... Let's make... We don't have an emerald yet, but let's go get emeralds. Okay, let's go put our gold inside our chest so that we don't have to... Yeah, we don't want to lose that stuff yet. All the stuff is cooking. Is that? Okay, still cooking, still cooking. Am I going to be live tomorrow? Uh, no, I'm not going to be live uh, tomorrow. I'll be live next Saturday, though, and I might be live next Sunday. We'll see. Kaz dying? Yep, yeah, impossible. It's literally impossible. It's never happened before. Um, if you ever thought you saw it, you miss saw. Your eyes are not working properly. Yes, you're literally missaw. You are miss. You're a missaw. You are missaw. See, you're looking into my forehead, into my soul. You have missaw. What you thought you saw is not there. All right, sorry. I'm just waiting for the furnaces to cook the things that it's supposed to be cooking with the things that it's cooking. You know, almost done. Oh, it is. Okay, boom. So let's take out all the things that we thought that we saw that we didn't see. Here we'll cook some more uh Irinesi? Do I have any? Did I already cook it all? Whoa, I did. Wow, that's awesome actually. Everything is already cooked. Ooh. Do I need iron for anything else? Think, think, think. I think the only thing that I'm gonna need iron for is going to be brainstorm, brainstorm, brainstorm. Okay, cool. Just for um, anvils. And I can get anvils later. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to use all of our iron. Yep. Literally all of our iron. And we are going to make absolute... How am I still with steel tools? Look, watch at this. You don't want to ask questions that you don't want to know the answer to. All right, you don't want to know, so you don't get to know. You don't know what you don't know, and you don't know what you get to know. I'm glad that we're on the same page. I'm glad that we know what we know. Uh-oh. But yeah, no, our XP is, is, is cooking with gas. And we still have not seen our first dungeon. So we haven't had to die yet. Haha. <laughs> should put on a funny hat. I should put on a funny hat. That, that, would be, that, that would be nice. But I'm not gonna put on a funny hat. And no, we're vibing right now. And just because I know a lot about RLCraft doesn't mean I'm good at RLCraft. I mean, let's be real here. <laughs> no. <laughs> Um, anyways, let's cook all of our iron and get, like, to an incredibly high amount of XP. Let's get magic up to 8. Very close, very close, very close. So we have all this iron. Let's put things in our, in our temporary inventory, which will be here, I guess. Because we're, because we're going to speed run. Everything is going to be in here. He's ready to speed run. What's this? Speed run. You guys have never seen anybody do get his get XP at the at the pace that I'm gonna get XP starting after I get my coal. Okay, now you guys have never seen the speed of the speed that I get uh, is never had this speed before. Okay, watch this. Because I've done this quite a few times, so I'm pretty quick with it. I'm pretty quick. With Let's do one stack at a time, I guess. I mean... Oh. The problem is I don't actually want to get too high. Ah, I can do the low one. Yeah, or, you know, words. I do the thing that I do. It's okay to have extra XP, you know. I just don't know where I'm gonna put the XP. Probably into defense for dragon gear. We'll see. Okay. Oh. Oh my poor, poor iron. But this is why we went mining. We went mining so that we could do this. And we're also potentially can go cut down some more trees and get more lever XP. But this is more important XP, the iron XP. Because the iron has electrolytes. If you melt iron, it gives you more energy. And if you have more energy, you get more XP. So your brain expands. That is why this method gives you a lot of XP. Um... Yeah, yeah, I also have a little bit of iron up here in this furnace, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, just a little. Um, I have a little iron right here. I think this is enough for... So now we are level 20, and we still have all this iron that we're going to turn into more chest plates. Oh, we still got this. Two more chest plates. Mm. 
You burn through your iron fairly fast. Oh, even more that I forgot to take out of the Furnasi. That's two more chest plates. Thanks for the follow, only Axie. Appreciate that, man. Never thought you'd see one again. Yo, what's up, only salty bruh? Yeah, it is. It's been a minute. I'm not gonna lie. But we're here because we have electrolytes to obtain. More crafting. Okay, let's just make sure that we have all of our things here. All right. Nice. Wow. We're not quite done yet. If we're gonna go all in, we're gonna go all in. What can I say? So we are level 27. Yeah, I can just cook it up here. How fun and exciting. So we have our diamond gear. Man, I wish I could equip a shield. Ooh, yeah. uh, anyways. Magic to 8 is important. Now, where do we put the rest of this insane amount of XP? We gotta think, we gotta think, we gotta think. I don't want diamond weapons yet, because I don't have diamonds to spend. Building. I do want to reforge things. Oh, well, that's right. Do I have obsidian? Or did I have to drop my obsidian at some point? I think I had to drop my obsidian at some point, but I could be wrong. Okay, I still have two. Can I even make the reforging table? I can. There is there an anvil at this village? I think that there is. Oh, the obsidian hat stand. I don't even have resources to reforge enough things. It's not worth it. Oh, it sucks not being able to make a shield. It's fine. Okay. Pog. Um. Put that in there. I feel like building to twelve is always really important, you're right. Because you're gonna want um, to use the anvil, and you're gonna need 12 in building for that. Getting getting this up is really important. Getting magic to 12 is also pretty important. But I think building to 12 is. Oh, we're so close, so close, so close. We're, we're gonna get to 12. Let me just send some... Let me use some sticks and cobblestone to make some more levers so I can hit the level 12. There we go. Okay, building is... So I can now use anvils. Let's use our heart container now. And we can obviously go get more XP from these uh, from these if we need. We have an extra heart. Let's take all this stuff. This is just important inventory items. I think what we need to do now is probably get some more wood. 
We also need to train these books with a librarian, but the librarian in this village died. But it's not my fault that they died. I definitely didn't stay up at night to make the village get overran by monsters. <gasps> Speaking of... Oh, I hate not having a shield. Okay, we sleep! I hate not having a shield. Sleep, 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 sleep. Purified. You def would have died there? No, you wouldn't have, because you're invincible! Why am I crafting levers? For XP! For XP! We do it for XP. Okay, see, I'm level 4. Boom! Now I'm level 7. Don't touch a backseat now. Nah, he already knows. <laughs> it's gonna be destroyed. We're not gonna get it anymore, but they won't take it away from us. It's gonna be so sad. Alright. Let's make some bubbles. Make some bubbles. I could go try to get some, uh, you know? Where is these villagers, I wonder? I need to see what villagers we have so I know what things I can trade with them. I think there's some over here. I just want one emerald for an emerald necklace. Oh. 24. Guys, stop. Stop laughing at me. What the? Give me back my weapon! Man, I remember when leather boots used to give you leather. Wasn't that fun? Can you not, um... What's it called? Yeah, you need to, to make a knife cutting. Yeah, I need a knife cutting. Iron knife. I can make a flint knife. Yeah, I'm gonna go skin this leather with my flint knife. And I'm also gonna go take... Watch out, guys. I don't want to punch you, but you're in my way. So we're gonna go skin our leather for more leather because we need leather. That was a really nice find that they had an our like leather armor in there. You turn leather armor into leather by holding a knife in your offhand. Yeah, I'm gonna make a flint knife. I should have a flint. Flint in here somewhere. Yeah, let's do that. So we got a flint knife. Alright, um, I think the knife needs to be in my main hand and the leather needs to be in my off hand. Boom! Let's go, dude. We have leather now. Did I have to drop all my leather earlier, or did I, I use it all for my canteen, didn't I? That's right, okay. Anyways, let's make a backpack. Because I heckin' love backpacks. The best heckin' bubble that ever done hecked. Ooh, and we got menacing quality. Okay, I gotta put it on like this. Is there anything that we can just store in here that we know we're not gonna need now. I guess I could just put all my books in my backpack. No, I'm just gonna leave it here in case I need space later. Yeah, you sent 95 memes into the meme channel. I'm so proud of you, Doom Slayer. Can someone tell you what class you should get when you reach level five? Crafting, so that you can make levers and get, and then they'll give you XP. 
Before, you make levers and it doesn't give you XP, but if you choose the crafting route, then you do get XP. Okay, um, next up we have backpack, and now we need to make some rings. More importantly though, we need coal. Do I have 22? Please tell me I have 22 coal. I have 14, okay. Do I even have enough? We got four, four. I have 13 gold. We got five. Um, potion ring is four, four, right? Yeah, it's four, four, five. I have just enough. I need, I need a little bit more coal. Six hours, yes sir. Once I get this coal down here, we we get the coal, and then change. It's gotta be coal closer to the entrance. Dude, these aguses down here are so confusing. My coal. Seventeen. The Aguses will protect me in here, right? Surely. I trust them. Look, there's a specter over there. Fun. Run, 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 run. I've got enough. Run away. Did you guys see how long that range on that pike was? Isn't that dope? Who needs a shield? Yeah, and the reason why I wasn't super afraid to go in there is like, look how much damage that skeleton did to my chest. Half a heart. We're in diamond gear, baby. Diamond gear. I hear a zombie. I'm not afraid of anything anymore. Let's go clear a dungeon. No, okay. Let's let's not do that. <laughs> I'm invincible. Okay, we're gonna go over to uh this is villager over here. I do still have to clear a dungeon. That'll carry over to the next stream. If I don't clear a dungeon this stream, or die in a dungeon this stream, we do that next stream. I'm so glad that this resource pack exists. Ho 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 ho. It's quite the video. You are a train? I know you're a train, Marcos. I've known this since the day I met you. All right, chat. So, right now, we're actually chilling pretty good right now. We have everything that we need um, to be confident enough to move forward to the next stage of the game, which is the mid game. We are a little under prepared offense wise in case we run into a blight or an infernal mob, but we can potentially start clearing battle towers. Um, without worrying too much about death. But what I want to do first is make some baubles and potentially a reforging station 
but I don't have enough resources to really forge the baubles. I mean, I only have enough resources to, um, to barely just make the baubles. Um, I guess it's this, like that, right? Okay. Hardy plus one armor. Nice. I'm hoping that we just don't get a bad quality ring. Athletic. Strengthening. Unfortunately, none of them gave me any extra hearts. I do need to reforge them later. But I need a reforging table first. Which I do not want to waste my hard mind iron on. Instead, I will um, find one around the village or in a future village. In order to get to that point, though, we're going to have to be a little bit ballsy. So, what we're going to do now is... How long have I been live? 6 hours, 16 minutes. I'm getting pretty tired. I honestly want to keep going a little bit longer, though. Um, so, what I'm going to do... Okay, because I know that I just want to do this at least a little bit first. We are going to start doing... I mean... I am pretty tired. I could do this at the start of the next stream, and I am worried about encountering a dungeon, but I could do it this stream. I think what I'm going to do... I'll roll the dice once... I'm trying to think. Do I want... Because what I'm going to do next is I'm going to do some tactical suicides. Because I want to trade with a librarian villager. Um, and I also want an anvil at a blacksmith's house. And I there, there's no blacksmith's house in this village. I want to... Oh fury. no. The Apex are on the prowl. Oh no. Wait. Well, that's always what I do when I get afraid. Is we just go into the ground and hide. Well, that's fun. See how I can get out of this. Primal Fury. That means we have to fight... Honestly, this is not a, as dangerous of an event as some of them. Um, that's really, really sucks. Yeah, 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 I, I, I will, I will, but I, I need to first. Yeah, I hear them walking above around me. Um, anyways, it's pitch black. I don't really want to fight anything right now. But what I do have is a dream. A dream that I will not die. Yeah, the, the problem is the Pharadons, but... Yeah, the bar guests. Pharadons. Oh, granite. I am Stin. Thanks for the subscribe. Quick, return to the light. I unfortunately am going to have to tank a monster from the darkness, I think. Let's just prepare myself for having to fight whatever is about to arrive. I'm trying to think. The Aegises are out there, but I don't think that they're actually going to protect me very well. And I legit am, am stuck at a point 
Oh, thank, th thanks for the subscribe, eh, bro. Oh, wait, does that... Wait, that's three out of three? Bruh. Okay, okay. I'm in a really tough spot right now. My entire base... What what sucks the most about this is my entire... Is my base is the only location in the game that I have unlocked. I have only a waystone at my base, so I could not run anywhere away from my base. I knew that I kind of needed to, but then I started running and realized, okay, I need to dig underground or else I'm going to die. So I'm in a really tough spot right now. My base is completely surrounded by these mobs. And now I'm spinning the wheel. <laughs> what am I going to do about this? Please don't tactical die. Please go up. Please go up. Please go up. Oh, okay. Oh my God. Okay, good. I, I did not want to have to tactical die right now because I would be I probably wouldn't be able to get my stuff back because my base is completely surrounded by pharadons. Um so number 14, what is that? 9 10 11 12 13 14. Okay, I have to get rid of that pickaxe. Nice. I was probably going to get rid of that anyways. Um I'm in the darkness. It's nighttime too. So it's not so not only like, I really wish I could make it over to my mines, but I don't know where those are. And looking at this doesn't really help me very much. Let's see, this is the farm. This is where I'm at. My base is right over here. My base is right here. Th this is my base. Okay, let's try to go over to it. Something is going to spawn in the darkness pretty soon, by the way. And I don't know if I'm going to have a means to fight it. I'm going to try to mine over to my base. On the bright side, these pheradons will despawn eventually. Where under my base am I right now? We need to go straight ahead if we want to be under my base. Therefore, my mine, if from this proximity, should be right over here. So this is where I want to go. I want to go over there. We are going to go over there. Because at least I'll have some safety. Um, sorry. We're almost there. Let's put this in my offhand so I can see if I'm going in the right direction. Surprised nothing bad has spawned from the darkness yet. Anyways, let me take off this browser. It makes my game look ugly. Okay, we should be like right under where I need to go. Okay. Let's go up from here. Should be like right outside my house. And I'll, I'll fight some pheradons if I have to. I just know that those things are insane and they inflict really bad debuffs on me. Let's put cobblestone in the offhand.
Do 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 do. Let's look around. The sun's coming up. Looks like we survived. I hate having to do that though, to just hide under. Um I'm trying to think. Because I know that there's gonna be a lot of enemies over there, but my base is right here. Eh. I mean considering this guy's walking around. Mm. That's what I thought. Yeah, okay, they all despawned. It's been five minutes. All right, okay, we're chilling. Sorry, I know that's kind of the baby way to get out of that situation, but I don't... I didn't want to deal with that random mob event right now. I didn't want to die and lose my diamond armor. So, yeah. When you get hit by a mob event, you just gotta hide if you're not ready to deal with it. I, I was not ready to... Pre I was not prepared enough to fight a whole bunch of Bargas and Faradons, so I decided to hide from them. Um... But yeah, considering considering that though, I think what I'm gonna do is at the start of the next stream is when I'm gonna do the suicide resets and things like that. So I'll, I'll end it here. Um, I really appreciate you guys for watching. Um, I'm sorry that I haven't been uploading more videos. I'm gonna try to get out a video for you guys this time, uh, sometime this next week um, before Saturday. I will go live again next Saturday to continue this. I have a lot of things that I need to do now that we're re that we just reached the mid game. Like, we pretty much just breezed through the early game. This entire stream was the early game, and now we're into, like, the quote-unquote, like, early mid-game, where now we're, we're gonna go look for, like, battle towers and things like that, right? Like, I want to go through battle towers right now, um, because I need more resources. I also need more villages. I need to start trading with some villagers. I can use my anvil now. Literally, all I need is a little bit of XP and anvils, and I can start enchanting my armor and my weapons, which is pretty insane. Like, I have a Sharpness 1 book in one of my chests, or maybe I had to drop it earlier in the stream, I don't know, but I can, like, I can just start putting things on my guy, and we can start getting uh, a little bit more beefy so we can clear battle towers with ease. And that dungeon that got claimed earlier in the stream on the spin the wheel, if you guys didn't see, we do have to clear a dungeon because we rolled this earlier. Um, so the first dungeon that we see, we have no choice but to clear... Um, that's mainly why this stream I've been grinding so much like passively just trying to decrease the chances of me seeing a dungeon because I know I have to clear it when I see one but next stream since I'm going to be walking in the overworld more and exploring around oh I I guess I I, I didn't mean to, to roll that but for fun's sake <laughs> I guess I'll I'll get rid of 19 um, I mean, 18, 19 would be my canteen. I really don't want to get rid of this. I really don't want to get rid of that. Okay, well, I'm getting rid of it. Well, we just lost our canteen. That's fun. I'm just going to make another one before I end stream. But man, I'm going to be all out. Of, I'm all out of leather now. Man, that, that really, that really sucks. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's what I get for accidentally spinning the wheel. The wheel of death, as we say. I'll probably bring it back for the next stream. I think, I think it's kind of fun. Um, since we started the stream with it, we might as well finish it with it. I'm kind of worried about keeping it, though. <laughs> but, yeah, so I'll probably keep the wheel for the next stream, too, because I think it's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. You want to remove the wheel? Maybe. We'll see how I feel next stream. <laughs> we'll see how I feel next stream. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, my brain is, is fried right now. It shouldn't be. I don't know why my mental fatigue is not better, but I really appreciate you guys watching. We're going to continue next stream, which we're going to be jumping into the mid game. So early game breeze through it was kind of, kind of boring for a lot of it, but I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys had some fun too. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.